they go, I just escape and exit. Wow. All right, well, I'll start the stream, and we'll we'll give Pat those four precious minutes. Oh. Pat, how many uh, how many legendaries did you get in the two minutes that we've been talking? Uh, I'm gonna go with two. four. <laughs> you paid her, right? Thickening. <laughs> Where the fuck are you even playing in there? Uh, Flack. Not who? Like, what are you doing? Are you just doing? Oh, I'm doing the Krieg DLC because I finished the main quest. Mm. Dude, it it doesn't matter. I started up a new game recently, and I and one of the enemies just randomly dropped a uh, fucking um magic. I mean that's mm -hmm. that's the literature for you. Yeah, I didn't have yeah, yeah, the literature. There are a lot of enemies that drop that pistol. I played this before on the uh, Epic Games, but I didn't buy the DLCs. And Kieran pointed out, oh yeah, for like almost nothing, you can buy everything in Steam. And I was like, you not? Know yeah, it. you could buy the entire fucking franchise, aside so, yeah. from like one game, I think. Yeah, I think so it's I'm aside from the newest game with a new character. But yeah. The point was that it's ridiculous with the uh, how quickly you can get legendaries in that game. I do enjoy, like, I got a weapon. It's like, you know, I enjoy this weapon. I went to see where I can get, where, like, I get it to get one to keep updating with my level. And it's like, oh, you can only get in this boss you haven't fought yet. I'm like, oh. And every time I finished a main boss and went to the vault, they just gave me the gun. <laughs> I will forever think of that awkward zombie strip about Borderlands where the guy is, like, looking at the gun. It's like, this thing's got... 45 times zoom. This is the best fucking gun ever. And he zooms into somebody from across the map, fires the gun, and like a shotgun blast comes out. And he's like, why would they make this? I, I remember that far too much. It's just yeah. because the weapons are randomly generated. Sometimes you're just like, what the fuck is this? I think that's more on the... I don't know if that still happens on 3, but that's on a... The fantasy one, I'm missing the name. The tiny I mean, two for sure. Yeah, Which two. sucked. <laughs> it was a bit dull, I'll agree. Because, like, I was playing with Pedro, but, like, I... I was, like, very happy to be playing with him, but the game was not, like, make me want to play it more. Have you seen the DLC for it? No. Have you played the DLC for it, Josiah? We haven't even we never finished the main game because Joel. Wait, you mean the arenas oh, that you get to do? Yeah, the the randomly generated arenas. Oh my fucking god, they're so fucking boring, dude. Hey, remember those arena quests that everyone fucking loves? Let's just make all of our DLCs that. I also just don't like how the fucking characters work in that. Like, I don't know. And that's not even before. That's even before we get into the freaking chaos level bullshit. Hey, oh, you want the best. Indeed. You want the best gear? Beat this. Beat these randomly generated uh, rooms twenty times. Oh yeah, that thing. Yeah, the the, the carnival thingy. No, that's the DLC. I'm talking about the chaos levels that are part of the main game. Oh, I know. I'm. I'm I mean, I thought that was the carnival thing where you just have that one part that's like outside of reality or some bullshit where you can just go do for challenges to for gear and spend oh, no, no. their way. When you beat the main game normally, right? Mm -hmm. We never did. There is uh, what's known as the chaos rooms, where you can get, gain uh, basically you gain chaos levels, and that's how you get the extra loot. Huh. So that way you get like you get all the special like uh, modifiers and stuff to your game, so you can get like it's like the uh, it's like the OP levels of the original game. Hmm. I mean, no, the uh, second game. Sorry, second game. But you have to do the same thing twenty times. I've only finished the second game. I've I've played the first a grand total of like two hours and a half in the house of a friend about a about like ten years ago. And I've played Tiny Tina's Wonderland for I think, if I remember correctly, is like we did. We got close to half of the game. Mm. Yeah. Because we had two saves. In, in one of them, we got close to half of the game. On the other one, we stopped at the goblin place. Yeah. It's not really worth playing all the way through to the end. 
I mean, it has the same sort of gameplay as three, at least mostly. So it's not bad gameplay wise. Aside from like the other shit of like trying to loot things, like. I don't know. Well, the main problem with it is the repetition between the actual like. And none of it seems feel very interesting. You know what I mean? It's like very. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, all of the missions kind of go to the same thing. The enemies in the same spots don't like vary a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Thing, I think and the, guns aren't, and the guns aren't as fun. Mm-hmm. In my opinion. Yeah, I, I can agree. The Borderlands 2 was just really for the story because yeah. it has a bomb ass story and the missions were kind of interesting. And the problem is. This is why Ford is, the, is so bad, right? It had the gameplay, mm-hmm. but people didn't like the story. Uh, Borderlands 3, that's yeah. part of it, but it also had a lot of issues with the gameplay at the beginning, too. Oh, okay. A lot of balance issues. The it wasn't is, until like. All... Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, uh, what I was going to say is, the comedy in two for one and two was sarcastic, but after like the comedy after the the Ansem Jack centered game that had like just a better story overall, the rest of the comedy on the remaining games was just more tacky than anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, they lean too heavily into the fact that they're. Uh... That their main villains were uh, streamers. Um, it's like, guys, these guys are streamers. Isn't that funny? I mean, yeah, they latched so onto yeah. like a specific thing, which is what caused it to be bad. Pretty yeah, much. you see in this chat? <laughs> you <should have> been... <laughs> <All right. laughs> you the only thing chat? I say about Borderlands is that pre sequel isn't as bad as people apparently say on the internet. I'm going uh, to go mean, get more of this. Were... Bad until they released uh, some updates to it. Once the updates were out, it was it was it got better. That game was good uh, from the beginning. Anyone who says otherwise is just casually wrong. What happened? Pre sequels <laughs> fucking always good. I don't know, man. Yeah, it, it I, I feel like it needs very... balance issues. That was my opinion, yeah, though. Man, you know what I mean? Fucking, it's a single player or it's a fucking co-op game. Balance doesn't matter a fucking. A slight bit, like sure it does. When the when a character is objectively bad, yeah. if you're playing with friends. It doesn't matter if a character is objectively bad, so long as you're still having fun. The only point I can see that's being right, objectively right. a problem is if you're trying to do the you know max level where any enemy can kill you if you fuck up. Well, at the same time, like if your character if the character can't be leveled in a way that actually makes it so that you can beat the you know like the final boss, yeah. It's bad. Is there really a character that couldn't finish the game alone? Um, not anymore. I think Claptrap definitely had issues with it. Okay, I well, can. The see issue was more so Claptrap. Like, yeah, yeah, I understand not liking it for that, but I'm pretty I sure I, I there was no one that was expecting like... Claptrap to be a. Uh, yeah, Claptrap is supposed to be the funny one. You yeah, to clarify, I didn't I say five. the game was bad. To clarify, I didn't say the game was bad. Yeah. Just that I think it, that it got better when it had some updates. That's fair. I don't know. I just uh, feel like I, the people that would yeah. possibly complain about that is just like, oh man, they got duped into picking Claptrap. Right? Those fucking idiots. <laughs> Personally, I when playing it, I chose a, uh, Athena, and it was really fun. Oh yeah, Athena is uh, a boss in that ca- in that game. Yeah, I just activate the shield, a bunch of damage, and then I just Captain America blow everyone in front of me. It's I, like an exploding shield. I'm blow like, everybody in front of me. Fun. I do, I do, I do wish that Claptrap was like there was one more character that was not Claptrap, and Claptrap is literally just hell difficulty. Although, it, it's, uh, I I gotta say the Jack's body double is playing the game on easy mode. Oh really? Because uh, he some he gets like the uh, jack doubles, which just increases your DPS. Yeah. So pretty sure they're mm. just like objectively good. Yeah, I mean, I never played with the other character, so don't, I only know about Claptrap because I saw the yeah. video originally when they announced the game. It's like, oh yeah, you have five him and something happens. It, you know what it is? Um, Jack's <sighs> body double is quite literally just flak 
from Borderlands. He's the flack of Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Hmm. Well, like I'm Flack's curious, not even the I most busted one, I'm pretty sure. You guys no, hear Flack was, Flack's definitely one of the most busted characters because of his uh, uh, his fade away. Oh. I guess. I guess not. I, no, we the best know. characters are definitely, though, is definitely Moe's and Flack. So I would definitely... the one I played the first time. I enjoyed just going on a fucking mech. I was like 15 or 16 when I first played Borderlands, so of course I picked Zero. Mm -hmm. oh, Zero is fucking amazingly powerful. Yeah, he's like with the at least with the boar he is. In my case, I only played Borderlands to when the DLCs were out, and I played the uh, Gauge. And goddamn anarchy, which is the pistol, like a Jacob's one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, gate. But the problem with Gage is that there is literally only one build for her. Anarchy. anarchy. That's it. Yeah, that's the only build that works on her. He has an everything else is correct build, and everything else doesn't work. Yeah, that unfortunately. I, don't know. I, just, no, I just remember I was like, okay, I want to go because this started start when I had a bad computer, and I never realized until I got a better one. But that was yeah. why. I sucked at a lot of shows, or at least I didn't enjoy them. Because just the walls. small small levels of flag just annoyed with the mouse movement. Yeah, when you said that yeah. the only thing correct is anarchy, I want to make a game and have Skate or Die be a character. His upgrade path is Skate or Die. You click, you click the first thing and die, and your character just fucking falls over. You gotta, yeah, I mean, restart, you gotta restart the whole game again to rebuild them, too? Yes, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so I started with the idea of like, yeah, I'll go the bouncing bullets build, the ricochet, so every time I miss, it's not a problem. Speed yeah. Then I realized, oh, I can actually play the game play the game with a decent computer. But I was still going that build because that just sounded fun. I saw Anarchy, I was like, wait. And it was just me looking at a boss, me with 400 Anarchy, me just spam clicking my pistol into them. I was like, yep, this works. I don't yeah. even need to aim. I mean... Wait, you know, if you ever got into like the high tier, like taking on the Seraph enemies by yourself, all you'd have been doing is shooting the same freaking box over and over again to get enough anarchy stacks to go take it on and one shot the fucker. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Well, shall we start, David? Since Pat's uh, not going, he's running. Wait, he's done. I mean, I guess for for the thing, let me do this. Wow. I thought I heard like that. Like I said, I can just quit the game at any point because I'm not in like anything important. Yeah. Well, you guys got to uh, discuss what you're doing because right now you're standing inside of the Cave of Wonders. The lamp, I believe Ur was holding it or did you hand it off to somebody? Uh, Ur is currently attempting to hand it off to Kieran. Because is, if you... Uh, Ur hold on. Huh? Sorry. It's just a thing, so I don't forget. When we see the vampire mist... Leave the bag, we double bag, don't forget. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, okay, no, okay. I'm about to right now. Sinful. Yeah. I am I am about to bluff the share of evil. Alright. Um so Scriven yeah, Seer, you walk up to a bag that's releasing a fart cloud and uh you know Ur is trying to like noodle arm some lamp towards you. Uh, uh, Scriven, I guess uh, I don't Scriven know. Here. I have the lamp. I stole it before they could summon the fucker. Oh, well. Jason, are so, you sure you don't want her to be like, I stole it before they could do this? Rub, 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 rub. <laughs> <laughs> I stole it before they said, I wish to summon close. <laughs> <laughs> don't tempt me. Do not tempt me. Hi, Pat. <laughs> Hi. All right, you're getting, you're giving me way too much bleed through here. Okay, Ur's gonna start doing some very Jason things in a moment. <laughs> we don't take yeah, this no, lamp. I mean, I guess quickly we'll just... give him the lamp then. I don't I'll think just... we'll notice. <laughs> I mean, I'll just kind of like stare at the bag that a far clouds come out. And, like, is and I has okay? the lamp. But then I'll just pick up. Are you gonna, like, gonna are you gonna you fart it? in the lamp? <laughs> no. Was, was... I was thinking about. It. <laughs> I hand no. you the lamp. Somebody who the person who asked. Yeah, for I'll it. take the lamp. Thank you. And just, oh. um, right, he's holding it out to me, but otherwise, yeah. like if you want the lamp, like fucking here, take it. Don't. I mean, it. I'm going to use it for the deception. Excuse me. I've been oh. weird. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess in that sense, like I was about to say, you better not be like, 
I want to get a plus 20 to Blanc. No. I wish for it. I mean, couldn't we just use the power of the lamp to end this all at once? Just be like, yeah, we'll leave us the hell alone? The issue no, is that we want to word it as best we can. and We need we time and Ebenezer's probably. dying, bro. Yeah. 30 feet up. Okay. Oh, shit. Is that the cloud? I did mention it. God, I meant to give me... No. Uh, Whatever you're about to say, no. It was give me a bear, but I guess... Mm -hmm. I mean, here, no. here you are. Well, I, I give you grab, got... grab the cloud again. All right, I, I got it. I throw you a bag of holding one. Gotcha. Double bag it. Double bag, David. Get back here, you fucking fart cloud. Out of jail for those strats. Can we just put him in our magic pockets? That's that's Anything essentially what we're doing. That is what you're doing, except you're putting him in two layers of it, which you so, never yeah. do. So th this is the re this is what's happening, Jason. No, no, we I get that. I, mean, I thought we were putting him in like a normal bag of holding that he escaped from. I thought things couldn't escape out of our magic pockets. Oh, they no, can. Because that's, that's just a bag of holding, but the backpack. Okay, okay I was right. just I was not understanding it properly. That's all. You're, those magic pockets for the game gives you those those turn into handy haversacks. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, that's where I was confused. That we're good to go. Yeah. I mean, oh, we man. we could have used the hole, Jason, but that has all of our shit on it, and I thought it would just smell it like a dead vampire. Hole, right? I mean, yeah, no, I thought... you just put it in the bag and then put the bag in the hole. Oh wait, no, that won't work. That very much yeah, won't the, work. Yeah, we created a black yeah. hole quite literally. Yeah, that's why it wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, but they just I mean, put the bag in the bag, and the bag stops working with the things inside, so it's it, stuck it, in a bag that doesn't. It bag. Would, yeah, it would solve our issue, but it would create a new one. It's like, yeah. where's our shit? My, I forgot for a second that it was the bag in the hole that did that because it was, it's two specific things. And I'm like, you're putting an extra dimensional space in an extra dimensional space. Might as well just do it this way. I'm, so yeah, I'm taking the lamp, and as they're doing this, I, like, I'm going to try and trick them. Yeah, and I'm the, going to say that if I fail, they're going to follow me. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking go with. Uh... With I'm my intro, sure. because I don't yeah. want to watch them fucking abduct a vampire. Uh, um, I will also go with Maestro in case it ba this plane backfires on him and they try to I stab think we should, him. I think we all need to go. In case I mean, yes, yeah, but you guys know, are fucking clearly fucking around with a fart cloud. I mean, you can finish that and then follow. You'll just okay, be the fart cloud? You mean the vampire that tried to kill us? We're trying to keep him from resurrecting? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm I mean, not saying it's a bad thing, but as opposed to fucking around with the fart cloud or stopping one of our friends from dying right now. I one mean, yeah, we're going now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I think like, we double-bagged it. It, it finished already. Right. Double-bagged it. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even if we keep running, there'll be like one or two runs behind. It's no biggie, really. I'll just so fly right. outward. Okay. Let's go. Okay. We're starting to go out, David. Right. Do those fuckers that were hiding in the corner try to stop us for some reason? No. Are you looking Good. for them? Still there, though? <laughs> no. They know I mean, they're probably not there anymore. You ascend, escaped. you ascend up the staircase. As you are doing so, you see several ghouls and guys. Uh... On the top of the staircase, as they like turn to you, it is dark up there. Ah, uh, shit. How long have we been on here? No, it's dark, like black, right, David? Yeah. It's a dungeon. Oh, no, Damn. I don't understand. Conceptually. Oh, shit. Wait, just. These just became a dungeon? Are you saying this out loud? It should If I see a door, as, if I see the black thing that looks like it, yeah. I mean, if it's reminiscent, too. Otherwise, you I mean, know, the, the, black the thing assassin I'm talking about probably is ended the... up wanting to talk past darkness or something. I was gonna say, like, the darkness I'm talking about is, like, you know, the lighting. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's why I made the joke about having something darkness. to fuck with darkness because there's an assassin fighting right now. 
They so, tend to like it better when it's dark. You're on the staircase. There's a bunch of ghouls and gas looking at you. Uh, they're they they're like waiting to see what like. you're doing because they're they were running away from you in the first place. So they they got their like a couple of the ghouls got their like claws up, like the you know you make a move I'm gonna hit you kind of thing. Don't worry, David. I, I got this. Scares, you mean the ones that go to the exit, so the spiral ones? Gonna put. Sounds like somebody David? died in an old pixel game just now. Yeah. Did. Yeah, I mean, David, better did ask you a question. What? When you say the staircase, you mean the ones by the entrance, or the not so much spiral, but the the big yeah, ones? Yeah, the the big staircase that you came down into this cavern. I take out I take out a scroll, David. I'm gonna oh, cast okay. daylight on that darkness. Uh, damn it! All right, all right. Gotcha. I was literally about to use my. I have daylight. Oh, sure. Well, Go then, ahead. That's what I was saying. I'm I sure have you it can as a date. more thing done before you get to scroll out. Right? No, no, I mean, the, 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 you can't do it, Steven. You just said, I got this, and I thought you were talking yeah, about the I, no, I was No, I got this. I was waiting for Pedro to get his question answered. I attacked the darkness. <laughs> he attacked it. I was like, I'm turning on the halo, and then let's just daylight it. Okay, go ahead. I don't. It's like, might as well use this so you don't have to waste a scroll. Darkness oh, yeah. is out. <laughs> Fight is back take her in. Out. Oh no, he's Imagine pulling it. his Zello out. He's pulling out his, he's pulling his cock out. Is that how you pull your Halo? <laughs> hey, 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 you guys can't use that word. That's not your word. It is. Um, when Pat says darkness is out, I'm just seeing the ghouls do this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what that's what they call Pad. They call him Horny. Or for the Horn Reaper. Horn. Does that light automatically counter darkness, or it's the thing of like, oh, it depends, it depends on, on the it's level. It's the spell level. So... Okay, before you cast daylight, was there anything else you were asking here? What was Pager's question? You already answered. Okay. He was asking if it was similar to the dungeon. No, no it's it, a bit it, late because of I forgot numbers. where we are. You're in a cave. Thanks. You're, we're at the entrance of the Cave of Wonders. We're going to help Abanazar and trick him into saying that we got Colest. Okay. So the uh, I mean, no, not, not trick at all. That's exactly what happened. I'm gonna say to the cultists, I guess, to get like before we decide to finish them, get out of here. Okay. Really you want to intimidate? Sure. Is, is Steven, are you that. casting daylight first? Yes. Okay. So, uh, you can give me an intimidate still, Joe, but this is changing. You're like, before we do anything to you, you get out of here. And followed by one of them going, you, oh, the fucking, like, they're going blind because there's a ball of light in their eyes. I mean. I mean, let me. Daylight doesn't hurt them. Before go, I before you I want, you go. I can intimidate and you can assist. Oh, go. Me yeah, go ahead. I'll assist you. Yeah, this was Steven's uh, assist on your intimidate by being like, "You're a bunch of ghouls, right?" Oh, <laughs> whoa! Not assisting you then, <laughs> whoa! I mean, daylight no, upon the. I only have a plus seven, yeah, Steven, so you can you can do it. Uh, going from dark to light, pretty quick. <laughs> me, all right, David. Instead of that, it's just me fucking immediately. Shut up! Halo, the halo behind me. Shut up, evil beings! Get out of my way! All right, go ahead. Disgusting, disgusting. Oh, uh, so Joe, you were assisting Joe, right? No, I was no, assisting, assisting Steven. Me. Oh, I'm sorry. I see Yellow Dragon 14. I think that's you, Steven. It's because I haven't. It, I need to change in all of the games I was previously in. Yeah. Yeah, 37 is a, a so, much different no story. There you go. All right. So you cast Daylight, and thanks to the light of the uh, ball that you've created here, you can see way up on top of the stairs as it continues, as it's crowded with an assembly line of ghouls and, you know, let's call them goblins, despite they're human. Uh, there is a wall in front of where the door used to be. Well, I guess they probably did that to block people from entering. Yeah, and now you're being like, get out of here. And one of them, like, one of the ghouls is, he's, like, rubbing his, his eyes, like, we were trying! 
Dig no, faster. No yeah, push was, that was, wall's yeah. nuts. He really was just like, think fast, chuckle nuts, throws flashbang. Yeah. Yeah. It's better than the other Act things he could have thrown. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, let me just, as a, as the Pokemon trainer, I'll send out Nold and cast takedown on the wall. <laughs> cast out of power. Gotcha. Use take you yeah. takedown. Brick, yeah, brick break, I guess. I take no, si out. Seismic toss one of the, the fucking things into it. <laughs> Yeah, but I the wall, what Pat did to the the tower yes. yesterday. Yes, no, Steven. Where's that? Let me use that. Uh, where's the little fuck? Where's the? Do we still have the the Titan Mall? The fucking. Oh yes, the uh, uh, Pedro oh, had that last time I checked. Yeah, but I think I gave it back to the. Uh, yeah. Oh, then I yeah, I'll I'll hand you the hammer. Someone me? has it. <laughs> Which hammer are you talking about? It's the Mall of the Titans. It deals triple damage to structures. Okay, I didn't know if you were doing that or out of bounds. Out of bounds is... I mean, out of bounds also work, but oh, I feel like in non dungeon break, it's together. a bit of an overreaction. Here, I'll just hit, I'll just hit the fucking... Uh, let me hit the wall real quick. Oh, by the way, Kieran? Uh-huh. You guys didn't notice we leveled up in Claire de Lune. And then it's... Cool. But it's probably like what three times this or whatever. So yeah, yesterday Pat Pat simply clutched like the whole part where, where Pat needs to go inside for the mission. Pat just clutched all of that. Also, he, we were right about he was that trying to kill the giant that I needed to possess. Uh, yeah, it turned out get... that was the giant to possess to get through yeah. everything. He According was third in charge. Yeah. <laughs> so he was allowed basically anywhere without question. Had to Easy. keep it's Joe from. Had to convince Joe stop, stop coup de grawing him. <laughs> I stopped. On me. Stop. I was blood raging. I was in gear. <laughs> you know it's your, it's but, what my character he, would have done. I mean, but then he told me it was Navier now, so I stopped then. See, Pat, it's scared. He hesitated. Growth. He hesitated. Yeah, if it's it was good. earlier in the campaign, he I would have killed it. He thought about it. I thought about it. <laughs> Joe almost, almost made the easy plan a lot harder. I love I love how your friend Pedro here just throws you under the bus, Joe. Yeah, it was only me. Don't don't check this VOD that's still up. Don't check the VOD of me going they, like, they I really the... want to kill. Yeah. True, Steven as well. I was with Pat in possession. Weren't you still attacking? You, no. you, 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 also, no, I you didn't. I've been doing things like drop your weapon because I'm gracing it for the third time. I oh did yeah. Zero damage to the giants. I'm playing and getting the. It's gonna be like the fourth or fifth limit break for me, so that's gonna take a bit. Uh. Yeah. So there's four, Is that you? You triple that damage, right, Kieran? Uh, Kieran, Steven. Yeah. On the wall. Oh, that damage is tripled. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bonk. Uh, actually. I mean, actually. Pause. Okay. How uh, do you do we, that with that wrong? mall? What do you mean? The mall isn't... It doesn't change to your size, my guy. It changes if he polymorphs while you're wielding it, doesn't it? No. He, not if it's a large person. Mm. Yeah, not so unless it's a large person. Yeah, if oh. you change it as a dragon, don't forget, Pedro, if it doesn't have the thing, it simply becomes uh, part oh, of shit. it. Mm. Hold on. Oh, yeah, right. That's why you have to add the enchantment to the one he's using right now. Yeah, and the one he uses is he, he puts it down and then he picks it back up because if not, it's, it's true. Still going it's true. Uh, hold yeah, on one yeah. second. I'll, I'll, I'll redo the damage. I, it's still thought... big as fuck anyway. Hold on. What yeah. size is the uh, what size is the ha hammer need to be? The hammer currently is medium. Okay, hand it to me. I'll enlarge myself and then hand it over to the dragon. Uh, it's really you lose it's your strange. hands, it'll become back to. Yeah, medium. I was gonna say it becomes medium again. What he can do is uh, he can pick he, he can pick you up with it. <laughs> no, don't worry, I got this. I got this. I got this. Yeah, yeah we just give still, enough damage. I have some. You, you ever seen the guy swinging those flexible hammers? It's just gonna be like that. <laughs> I had the floppy hammer. I was just thinking of you as a flail, really. I mean, with his arms, yeah, that's probably how it would go. Worst flail. It doesn't matter. I still have a uh, a thing for this. 
actually do to my stand. My so, stand. Uh, what I'm actually thinking of probably going as the crafter is probably the arcanist. I think it's one of the yeah. better options I have. I mean, you can still use our well, charisma. Used, so yeah. You get the uh, the dumb fucking wizard arcane thing. The what now? Arcane builder or whatever it's called. I mean, I can go like if I wanted to go full, full, completely full crafter, I could become a dwarf too. I guess. But no, no, you, need to, you need to be the one that never changed the race. I know. Which but is we need, a, we need a st <laughs> I mean, which Whoa, is which is he's the only one who hasn't done that. I've never changed my race. Yeah, same. Oh yeah, true. I yeah, think I mean, you and fucking Steven are the only two that have consistently changed their shit. We always had two tieflings, one elf. inconsistent. Yeah, I mean, my my only thing for if I become an arcanist is I just look at the fucking elf plus one arcane reservoir like, ah, oh, beautiful. Here you go. For me, the only thing I've changed is my class from that boring ass archer build. Jesus Christ. I tripled it up for you. He okay. says as he's the boring ass trip them from uh, half, halfway across the I room. Mean, to be build. fair, there was really is is a lot, lot of fun, fun things. Like yeah. the one that he did last session where he just yoinked <laughs> the lamp. The yeah, one time. Like, there's yeah. been plenty of times that I haven't been able to trip people and I've just gone, all right, I steal their shit, knock their shit out of their hands. I'm protecting you guys at all fucking time. You're do, basically do you remember... like a high school bully. Yeah, do you remember when he cooked a dragon from casting a teleportation spell and you killed that him was for it? Fucking hilarious. Yes. <laughs> you remember See, when he you... fucking destroyed that old man because he couldn't cast like one of his spells? <laughs> oh. Even what's what size are you when you're doing this? By the way, I want to make sure that you didn't forget how narrow the hall is for you. I think it is uh, large. Okay. Uh, so this changes it from, like, if you were a medium-sized dragon, you're this cool swoop everybody to attack it, to you're this large-sized dragon, and you're just above everybody going, oh, uh, uh, I need a goddamn cheeseburger. Uh, uh, and just, it just says, like, it shows Abenazer outside fighting off this gargoyle, and this demon is Akame keeps flying him towards him, and then he looks towards the wall, and he's like, what's that, what's happening there? And just the wall slowly with the imprint of, like, the dragon head going through it. <laughs> All right, so there? <laughs> I, I love the idea of you just like taping the, the hammer to your fucking hand and just charging four legged at the fucking wall. <laughs> I'm Jimmy, no. whether you like it or not. All right, can't stop. Oh, so, not around. I mean, first off, only Steven is up here for like the first like okay. five rounds. Because unless you guys want to kill the Congo line of people, that's fine too. I'm just gonna push them all. Can Ur just grab all of them and throw them behind us? Uh, David, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a ray, and I'm ready. I, I can hit some people in front of me if I need to get them out of the way. Do you wanna? Because right, you pull up the wall, and they immediately start running out. If you just want to let them, but I also am cool if you could kill them just to get them out of the way. Or I like Jason's idea of tripping everybody. And then trampling them up the stairs. <laughs> I am also, also like fine with one. that. Everyone use our enemies as stairs. Yeah, so like, I like that one. So what's happening? So you see the light of day. You start seeing them running, and like the first guy, the guy that was right next to you, as he was like backing off and got flashbanged. As he turns to run, you just hear like, Neh, and then Ergon, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, is that what you're, you like what's, what's going on? What are you doing, Jason? Are you throwing them behind you, tripping them? What? Sure, I'm tripping him. You know, I just stick, I take the uh, whip, uh, roll it around uh, Noel's tail, and do a fucking uh, jump rope with everybody. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm sorry, that was bad. Uh. No, that's the thing. You told everyone duck, and they're duck. And that just makes it easier to fall. Whack. <laughs> Oh. Hey, you, you want me to actually roll this just to roll a trip down? down? Hmm. Holy shit. I, I I wrote a whip on the fucking gif hmm? thing. It's not good. Oh yeah, no. I'm not surprised. I mean, some of them are not bad. I'm seeing some... I, I, I saw this one. Oh. I'm not seeing that one, I'm just seeing <laughs> this one. Which, to be fair, it can be er in the future. Depending on how oh, the advances it like, I don't know, because I'm seeing all the goes, and, 
And then but sure, when, I typed in, well. when I typed in this, when I typed in uh, Smithers Whip It, I had gotten... <laughs> Oh man! Oh, I'm sorry. Thirty-four. I forgot the plus one from the whip. Oh yeah, it's child violence. Whoa! Wait a minute. What? No. Oh. This is almost. <laughs> this that? is almost not safe for work. You should be careful, streamer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember this one. Oh yeah, that one with the. I don't think that's even a whip. That's just a chain. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Chain whip. When the white men learn how to whip, whip with chain. Whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. When the white men learn how to whip with a chain. That was. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to stop this because of this. As you trip the first one. Alright. Wait, sorry, what are you doing here? <laughs> Just, just the fact he has armor there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Dude, I just started. I, I was just imagining literally like a, a TV like ad for armor against whips. Jesus fucking Christ! Especially for the South. Uh, um. But yeah, I, I guess as soon as I get there, I'll kind of straight at Abenazer. Like, Abenazer, we took care of Colest. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, I was, yes, do, yeah, do, hold on, with time out, I'll give you this because I was going to say, sorry for taking a moment, I was finishing my salad. Um, so yeah, like, er, like uh, Noel explodes out in dragon form out of the wall. As Abenazer is turning behind, he's just like, Noel! And then you see, like, one, like, ghoul, like, get outside, you know, for the thing, and then you just hear him go, Psh, no, as he's dragged back into the cave. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so you guys can all run out, and now, Joe, you say Colest, 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 right? Like Beetlejuice? Oh, no, sorry. Not Colest. We got the genie. My bad. It's just, we, we just refer to them as that. Uh... Yeah, we spent so much Outside time of the game. just saying his name. Yeah. They're like, wait. <laughs> My bad. We, yeah, we took care of the genie. We took care of the genie. And then Steven says, really? but I really want to fight Coleste. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My bad, David. Thank you. All right. So you, you turn around. You go, <laughs> we, we took care of the genie. So this is where you bluff. Yeah. This is where you put your lying pants on. My lying pants are always on. Don't forget to, you know. Buff yourself, drink something. I You say that to me, Pedro, and I just imagine it's like before I speak, Sam just goes up to me with it, like that little spray that they put on the throats of singers. Like, <laughs> a bit of this. Make sure um, you... If only I had the Scarlet Crush of Buffy, I would just go with that. So, uh, as a swift action, I'll activate, uh, I will draw upon Ravana's bloodline <laughs> and use Silver Tongue to give me a plus five on one bluff check uh, to convince someone of another of the truths of, of my words, similar to Glibness. I just imagine you just do the thing of like when you kiss the finger point to the sky, like, this is for you, uh, Ravana. It's like, yeah, wait. <laughs> wait. Pop, pop. <laughs> pop, pop, I know you're always with me. Damn. I'll re-roll that. Oh, okay, you got a re-roll on you? Yeah. The, oh, that, yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, better. Funny, actually. Like, out of character, that, that mattered, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Do you have the I matter. Like a, bon a flat bonus? Just in no. case. I matter. I matter sometimes. Hell yeah, baby. All right. So, as the wall explodes and you guys run out, and Abenazer turns to you, he's like, "Noel." The gargoyle like glides up and starts punching like uh, Abenazer, and as like a couple of fists just hit barrier, like one really just decks a tooth out of Abenazer. And then you go like, we we stopped the genie, 
and the gargoyle looks up at you, and Akame is standing there, and she, like, just kind of turns her head towards this tiefling fellow in the back that's all bloodied and everything. And, uh, he just slowly nods his head, and, uh, Akame just kind of fades out of the nuff, like, like, just like a desert wind just blows, and she's gone. Just disintegrated herself. And the gargoyle is just gonna start flying straight up, and he just kind of... Now we wait a minute, and then just look at him and say, "Be light." <laughs> yeah. If you, if Steven wants to go after the gargoyle, I mean, he is actually just leaving physically. Bye. Everyone has their cool fight away, and this guy just starts running. Basically, <laughs> he starts he starts having to do evasion maneuvers. As everyone starts fireballing him since almost everyone inside was immune to fire. Oh. Ab well. Abanazer is gonna like. Is he's like wiping his chin from the blood from his new uh, dentistry appointment he just had. Uh, he's going to go. It's amazing that you guys were capable of defeating such a powerful foe. Oh, do we want to stop the gargoyle guys or no? No, let him, uh, okay. leave. Let him leave. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, the check. I, I was like, Ebenezer, Ebenezer, come closer. Hmm. Ebenezer leans in. I lied. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I mean, kind of. This is a half lead. Like we got the uh, lamp. Half they, sees blood. Yeah, we got the lamp. We just. I figured it. We might as well go at him at full strength. It's uh, so I lied. <laughs> they fell for it. So I guess it worked. Because what do you mean, go at him at full strength? Oh, we still have to defeat Celeste, and. Probably Take stuck him in that cave. Sorry. Yeah, do you and want to correct yourself? Well, this, this is the last correction yes. you get. Okay. <laughs> Let me. Excuse me. Okay, as we all know, at some point we're going to accidentally say his name. But yeah. Genie. <laughs> Would you like to correct yourself? This is the last idioms. fucking chance. <laughs> no, let me let me delete that. I'm mostly fucking around. My my bad. God, I was like, man. we still we still need to. Defeat the genie, but I. I believe we need the entire ritual and probably a fight for that. Yeah, I mean, we we also needed to think correctly on the uh, wording of the wish. It is also so we the didn't... case that we can set the stage now. Yeah, yeah we can. We can. We kind of came. Spent. Yeah, we kind of came here because we were a bit worried about you fighting too many people. Nazar goes, well, I, I thank you, but thanks to that Nova scroll you had given me, it quickly made short work of several of their members. And Soriso just kind of like, wait, like the wind blows and Soriso shows up and he's just like, and I was helping. <laughs> <laughs> and I was also here. The yeah, but pretty time. much Soriso's just like, don't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. By the way, that man with some strange way of speaking, did you kill him? Like the one that showed up first. Avanazer goes, Well, I'm not sure because once the Nova Blast had hit him, there wasn't any trace left of him, so I had thought maybe he had gone invisible, but I still haven't spotted him. Let's hope that's the case then. Who are you talking about? Hey, cool Uncle. Oh. Yeah, cool, cool Uncle <laughs> has like a Nova Blast scroll hitting him, and he just hears like, Not of this shit again. <laughs> the fuck uh, this. It's just a Power oh, Ranger explosion. Full English. Fuck <laughs> this. <laughs> no, no. What's the one where it has the uh, the the smiley face where it gets like exodiated? Oh. Like it. Uh, it's the smiley face where it looks like a uh, this. <laughs> Yeah, war gets exodia. I swear there's one where it's that, that little face. Exodia. <laughs> well, that doesn't give me what I want. Oh, well. Uh, oh, I... I mean, I have this one. <laughs> My favorite one is watch out to him, motherfucker. I'm putting it in the memes channel. 
This is Exodia straight up, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, it does the end. It does change at the end there. <laughs> Oh, I also a... just found one of my new favorite ones. I just I just found this one. Nuh uh. Oh, I remember. No uh. No uh. Well, cool uncle at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that's the case then. We need, yeah, we need to start preparing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> David, that's him. And then we need to oh, okay. a lot of people on a lot of games. I love the guy next to him who just starts losing his shit. <laughs> you, heard, you heard him off and say, ah! He was yeah. like, excuse me? <laughs> You just, I still, you can see him just start losing it in the gif, where he just starts, you can see the smile get bigger. Yeah. He heard him say, he heard him, he heard him make the fucking noise. Yeah. And it just <laughs> fucking got him. He was like, oh, okay. This is the most peaceful hood. That's, a, that's all like the, the card game thing. That always, there's always some music to blood in there playing. You yeah, they love it. I mean, it, it becomes a bloodbath when someone starts using proxies, though. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I'm fucking with you. It's just a fact. I mean, I, mean, so, like, like I think the proxy thing really depends on what local you're at. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it also depends if you're playing with like someone random from the thing, or if you didn't tell them about it. If an impermanent. I would Shit. like to commit a That's war. That's long last impermanence. <laughs> I, I sorry, he said something about the game, Kieran. You said you'd like to commit a war crime. Is that what I heard? I mean, that huh? basically huh? seems like how it is in the fucking <laughs> Yu Gi Oh world. You decide to it's... be a decent person or you commit a war crime. There's no in between. No, no. Yeah, there, there's no in between. So, you either use a, an ancient ritual to try to control the world, you're a normal person, or you're the main character. There's. There's a three types of people in you, you. Oh, and Joey Wheeler clones. I would like to yeah. use my card yeah. to destroy. No, he's them. part of. The, uh, sorry, I should say I should have said main cast. You're right, Jason. No, no, I mean, jo there's what I mean by Joey Wheeler clones is that there's literally like four different characters that have his exact voice. Hmm. I mean. Well, that's probably more of a stage direction than anything else. For from the yeah, like, who else has a Joey fucking voice? Be, be right back. No. All right. No. <laughs> In any case, we have an idea for what. I mean, I guess he'll kind of like gesture over to the lamp. What the wish? this presumably can grant will be used for the genie is uh, going to continue to be a pain I believe Sereso anyway. gets a bit closer to you and he goes it is eternally bound to its wishes it's not going to stop quest so long as that is what is Goes, what exactly is your deal with the G? He haunts That's us. Part of the thing we were going to. He's a jerk. Explain in more detail, but yeah, he's hunting us for uh, the TLDR right now. Source was going to go, but what, but what wish made it do that? The, the wish to hunt us. Like, mm -hmm. what? The, oh, yeah, it was okay. To kill, like we so... said, it was to kill all the summons you don't know but i guess if I you mean, tell him that no if you tell him that sarissa is going to go with the summons yes okay let okay i'll mention summon in, before in, in, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 We kill. This out? yeah we told them last session i mean yeah, so we don't we have any way we're going of to explain over. in more sure. detail later yeah so i'll i'll start again I believe you told so, uh, Avanaz or not Sarissa. Yes. And he was also that, there when we were talking no, about it. No, he wasn't. Avanaz went to get him later. Yeah. 
Oh, but I, I think we still use the term summon because that's, I believe that was how we, the wish that we were that summon. That doesn't explain it to him. Yeah, Evan yeah. Azir is going to put a hand on Sarissa's shoulder. Sarissa, like, looks at him, like, moves his shoulder. He's like, don't touch me. He doesn't say that. It's that kind of jerk movement. And uh, Don't fucking touch me. So, Evan Azir's going to go, it seems that their, their wish has a rather iron-clawed contract in that the genie must hunt them. And then Cersei's going to go, well, then there's no escaping it. Well, I mean, we're going to seal them, yeah, essentially. We're going, to, we're going to wish for the... Probably this place at that point to the cave to become basically a... a, 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 a I guess, should we call it a dungeon in a way? I mean, the certainty it's a, by it's which... It's room that is to seal him. The certainty by which the genie is made to uphold his wishes is what's going to both put us in danger and probably keep us safe. So this is going to go, but what stops someone from simply finding the lamp again, in much the same way that you had found it? He could be its guardian. Yeah, it's gonna, he's going to guard himself. Basically, if anyone wants to grab the lamp, they need to fight him, but he can't leave this place because he's still there. Guard your lamp. Done. So Risso okay. is, uh... Problem of... Is Risso's gonna go, I mean, perhaps you might be able to outthink it, but if you've known any stories of genie kind, that's not likely. Believe Avanazer's... me, we've Ab... heard enough stories about genie kind. Avanazer's gonna go, I'm going to agree with him here. The... Genies are notorious for twisting even the most well-executed wishes. They don't know X, do they? They don't know what? X. I'm referring to Twitter. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm no, referring to the monkey spa that is Twitter. And Noogie, if you, even if you say X to like me talking about Twitter, I'm not going to understand. <laughs> it's Twitter. I mean, that was kind of X, the joke. Yeah. Fucking, uh, you could just see uh, Null in the background. The monkey paw finger curls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's kind of the point, David, is I call it, I also don't call it X in real life, but in the future, it's like, right, Twitter's been too long. In the future. <laughs> but you don't think the future exist. is named Twix. <laughs> Twix. X, X doesn't exist after what happened to Elon. I was going to say, you, you're not calling it, like, Elon Memorial Site? I mean, Elon becomes Lord Xenu. Elon and becomes Elon's god, god of Scientology. All right, I, re I refuse. I refuse to allow this to be canon. <laughs> you can <laughs> fuck that. I refuse for that. Man, will you stop t uh, talking about those freaking Scientology points? I know that that's what they said would happen. It's definitely not though. The man just had a nervous breakdown and ended up killing himself. Okay. He didn't this ascend to a higher plane. Epstein or Epstein. He descended to a lower plane. Instead. He descended to a lower plane. That's a really good thing. <laughs> Come on, man, ascended to a lower plane. God damn. I'll see you in hell, bitch. When you have dyslexia and you need to read the contract. Uh, oh, uh, I, I was ready for President Kanye, but not President. Man, let's not talk about. Become let's not he talk about some well. of the books I read. Okay. <laughs> Where that's um, actually a plot point. <laughs> I, I, we, so we as, get President Mech Obama. So as as Evan, so as Cersei was like, "What do you mean, X?" And you're like, "It's, it's not important. What do you guys do?" Thank you. I mean, we we will draft this wish to be as foolproof as we can, and even if it's just buys this time, it'll be enough. It is largely our only option, sadly. Russo's gonna look at you with big old people's eyes, and he's like, <laughs> if you believe you are He's just gonna like put a, a hand to his like uh, covered mouth. He's just like, I'm not going to say you shouldn't, as I've seen you guys accomplish more than I would other creatures of your caliber. But this is—you're playing a dangerous game. What an odd oh, way everything we do is dangerous, bud. What 
Also, I mean, like the alternative is that we just keep getting hunting. You can hunt what it. Odd word choice. I mean, or this is this is the thing. There is there's also the point that there's no other choice. The genie is immortal by nature. Us trying to simply fight it won't do anything. Us not fighting it yeah. will result in either our deaths or the other's deaths. Evan the answer says, who said anything about fighting it? That if the stories are to believe, that thing has gone toe to toe with the gods and what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> no, and, and no in the background. Yeah. So, yeah. so now Sarso, we, we come turns. back to the issue of why we're doing this. Sarso turns to him. He's like, "I thought I lost against the gods." He goes, "That was later." <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, but like, crazily enough, <laughs> crazily enough, we also have to tangle, tangle with some. So, we're even a footing. <laughs> Like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Later on in the dungeon, we gotta do that shit. No, not later on. We're almost there. The yeah. next the boss, we have to fight. Let Again, me... Let me we be, told let... you a few hours ago, the explanation is going to be long. Yeah. Man, what? just leave me with my illusions, okay? I want to pretend yeah. that it's not until much later in my life. <laughs> Benazar, do you know... <laughs> Benazar, do you know... Um... The tail. Yes. <laughs> Evan Azer goes, yes. The the Ratchasta god Ravana. I've heard of him. Yeah, he's been sighted in the dungeon. Avoid him. He's hmm? the boss. Evan Azer goes. Incorrect. <laughs> no. no goes, no goes. Incorrect. Correct. It was a recent change, and by recent... Uh, remember when I said they were coming as we were having the coffee? Fair That's when coffee. they found out uh, that, yes, he's now in the dungeon uh, fist fighting whoever reaches that floor. I'm pretty sure he won't use his I don't his think fist. he was only using his fist, yeah. Yes, I'm sure he... Yeah, so fist, magic Ooh. weapons, etc. Et what reason would the god mean reach him? I mean, I think at, until since Jules had reached the bottom of the floor and some adventures after that, the only the most recent floors I've known people to reach as of late is like the mid two hundreds. That's where he is. That's yeah, that's preposterous. Yeah. And that Sirius is going yes, bullshit. Or it's. <laughs> I mean, I agree it's preposterous, but <laughs> Bullshit. would you think that the Dark Gods would be kind to us because of the challenges that they would impose to us, that they would play fair? If they would fundamentally change... There's no way they would be able to supersede the magic of something that so many gods had worked together on. No one god is stronger than the rest to do something of that. No well, intersects. Yeah. No goes. It's the fact that they're not. They're using the dungeon to get into these rules. They don't have to break. They don't have to say have to break the rules, but they can bend them. Basically, he's becoming an actual boss, so he won't be full godhood there fighting you. I do believe. And it's also yeah, not going to be as easy as probably Ebenezer's probably. like gonna like turn around away from you guys. He takes a couple of steps, puts his hands in his hair, and like brushes up as he's going. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a correct yeah. sound. <laughs> <laughs> not exactly. Sir, Sariso yeah, goes. This nonsense aside, we have the issue of the genie first most. Oh yeah. yeah, I have. We have the lamp, so I we just need to rest. Sorso goes. Sorso, what hands is all? He like, holds his hand out. No. <laughs> I mean, we're goes, gonna we're gonna steal him. He goes. That's yeah. fine, but you've said the word wish so much that I'm worried you're going to accidentally do something stupid. I mean, it's on no, my hand. I put it in the bag. That would literally never happen, bro. It's in another dimension currently. The one with the vampire? <laughs> no. No. Different one. He wishes. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> he wishes. 
You can't rub it. You can't. Right, yeah, even, if, even if you put it in the same thing, what am I going to do? Just float around it? <laughs> He's going to go inside like, and speak with yeah, Go inside, inside the thing. Hey, <laughs> this is a pretty nice bachelor pad. <laughs> He's like, I mean, he's like, hey, it's pretty, oh, it's pretty nice in here. You just hear, a, you just hear a tiny toppy voice. Is that a jacuzzi? <laughs> I think, I think oh, that's God, one of the crazy. alternate ways for a vampire to die is to try to do that shit. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be like, he's like, I should be in here. <laughs> like, oh, Les, this... Les just pops up like, hey, hey, this is my house, bitch. Kles, this your crib? Kles just snaps him out of resistance. Oh. <laughs> so, um, well, we we gonna need a lot of fire resistance. Yeah. And... So looking at you, and he slowly turns to Avanazer that's just like a couple of feet away from you in the desert, as he's just kind of you know moving his hands around and counting on his fingers, like far away from you guys, like. I'd say 30 feet's a pretty far distance socially. Yes. You okay, Abanazer? He's contemplating Ab the life choices that are brought him here. Yeah. Abanazer goes, what, what is it now? You okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you understand why we didn't do this before we came here? Do what before you came here? Explain. Explain what? I'll just he's, he's in denial now. Yeah. I'm just going to whisper the party. So should we still tell them about the summon part, or are we just going to leave that until he hopefully never remembers it? I mean, if he wants to, though, he can ask, but... It's just like, we'll be honest with you, it's not great, but we'll, we'll fix it. Probably. We kind of don't have a choice, so... So yeah. was looking at you and it's like, so how do you intend to fix it? So I'll this is right the back. thing. Uh, Our full existence depends on us doing it. Yeah. So so like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> so we kinda don't have a choice. You may hear broken You you see? Um So do you know do you know how your job in this world is to make sure nature thrives and that the oasis stays safe, correct? All right, yeah, he fucking furrows his brow at you, the, the angry white eyes. Yeah. Hmm. Our job is to kind of fix the mess that's happening oh. in the dungeon. Who found that? It's... All right, he'll go. It's a bit presumptuous to... The gods themselves have assigned you to this. Yes. Kinda? So Okay, yeah, um, we, he he stops doing his angry eyes. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, Do you want to hear oh. the second part of the story? A divine ritual was made for the gods to summon heroes from another world to come here and All stop right, yeah, whatever's he, happening. He goes there. right back to looking mad at you. He's just like, stop making shit up. I wish I was making yeah. this up. I mean, you guys could just show him our uh, care, our sheets. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, Here the, you go. The weird, the the weird... Inconsist inconsistencies. Yeah. yeah, the inconsistencies would probably convince him better than anything else we say. Yeah. First off, look at the age. After that, look at the LBS. Alright, who, who's showing him the age? Sure, I'll show I'll him show the mine. age. Yeah, I mean, we both have six years old, so... Technically, I'm seven now. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Er shows him his, like, four-year-old... <laughs> show him right. my now 21-year-old account. Cerso yeah. is looking at... Cerso is looking at these for a moment. Like, his eyes are growing, like, a bit wide, and then he kind of, like, looks, like, mad again, and he's just like, you're very... clever for beast folk. He's literally I, a human. That's new. Last time people said we were goblins that became humans. Was, I mean... He was, you're a human now. And then I'll explain this, and I start scrolling the LBS, and I keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Same. Keep scrolling. 
Show the man the stats. Remember, we have like godlike stats. Yeah, I mean, the problem is he's a, a boss. Like, this is the thing to normal people, sure, but like to the boss characters, that doesn't work good much. Yeah, for like, oh, you just like me. Well, even more than that, don't just scroll through the LBS. Go to his fucking LBS. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. he's a, yeah. So, so he's looking at the thing all white. Go to his LBS. He goes, What do you mean, my LBS? <laughs> hey, here it is. Yeah, the Mirage thing you do, is like point to it. Okay, so Sarissa goes, It's uncommon, but other people have been blessed, such as I. Just all yeah, just whip it out. Yeah, Everybody whips it, it out. <laughs> we all whip really it out. Yeah, we would be blessed in such a way. It's that thing it's like, where we're uh, in a line, we just snap our fingers and it appears in front of us. It's, like it's right the Yoshi slap. It's the Yoshi slap over there. Yeah, it's the Yoshi slap. <laughs> Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we kind of show him that all of us have it. It's like, there you go. <laughs> like the wheelchair like, one is uh, Ur. <laughs> what's, up? what's wrong with Ur? I said, you're the wheelchair Yoshi. <laughs> the last one is probably Steven because he's in large dragon form. Yeah. <laughs> damn it, why am I the wheelchair Yoshi? Am I the uh, you're, you're, I guess you're, you're the one with the magic hat. Yeah, you're Boshi. You're just funny. <laughs> Jason, don't we call you Hot Wheels all the time? All right. <laughs> no, <laughs> you've literally funny. never called me Hot Wheels before. Oh, uh, you're so funny, Hot Wheels. Anyway. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew it was as soon as he said it. I was like, he's gonna call me a ghost. I saw one that was really great from someone else's D D campaign where they had some crazy weird wizard where he was going like, Friends call me whiskers because I'm so curious and then he's saying all these like weird things like, What would you rather have? To be free of your horrible torment and reunited with your friends Whoa. or be eaten by a giant spider? Oh, it's like me. be free he goes, Oh, I thought you were gonna pick the giant spider. Good gosh. Why would I pick that? Why would I pick that? Well, I, I guess I'm just a warrior. That's why my friends call me Whiskers. <laughs> I get shards of those guys all the time. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was That's great. That's the one with the uh, Chuckles the Clown. Yeah. yeah. Chuckles! Yeah. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I love, uh, I love Chuckles back. Yeah. I, I love the mouth. I love the war cry. I'm going, going to commit, commit, uh, commit various war crimes. No, no I said I a war cry. No, no. Oh, I war crime? War crime. Yeah. Oh, oh, I've been committing various unforgivable war crimes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to in every country. I'm like, oh god. Got I love worse. the one. It's so much worse. There's one where they made like a crossover, and then it's like a bunch of this giant things, and then it's like a little mouse from like the Burrow game, and he's like, he just has a 12 gauge. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Where? Just to make things worse, I like Joe's character, like, turning to you guys, and he had a 12-gauge, like, whoa, and then someone goes, oh, hold on, Sarissa's coming back, too. And he's just like, this is, <laughs> this is making insanely good sense. <laughs> yeah. Sarissa's like, oh, shit, then you guys aren't just telling me bullshit. <laughs> so, that's the thing, is... They suck right now. And Unfortunately, somehow, the divine ritual was leaked, and various nations started bastardizing the, the first one and summoning people from our world for sometimes inane fucking reasons. Sarissa goes, like that strange man speaking that strange language. Correct. Yes. He was summoned to kill us. That they were have... summoned to stop. They have... Yeah, yes. no, as soon as, as, soon as he said he was summoned to kill us, you see Sarissa turn over to the spot in the desert where it's a piece of glass. <laughs> yeah. That's it's not that good at his job. It is yeah. also the case that they have elevated their efforts to go directly from him to the genie of the lamp. He goes, I suppose it makes sense for them to make that escalation, but... Really, they went from him to the genie. It depends. Well, to be fair, Akame was there. She was first. And she just chose the wrong target. This is the thing. Not all, not all people that are summoned are doing their jobs. Like we came here on. I'll say this: we came here with an opportunity to grow in this world. Some people came here far too powerful than they should be, and are abusing that power. We're I trying see. to curb and that, but... Which one was that strange man? 
Dead one? I, mean, I point to the Polifash. He was technically of the second group, where I don't think he was allowed to grow stronger. Yeah, he, he, he was not allowed to grow stronger, but he came in stronger than us. Like, we came here in level one with nothing to our name, and grew in this world, like... I, I suppose doing... it makes sense, considering you're only four years old. It's, in fact, very impressive for children to be no. that. I... We've been in this world for a year. Yes, oh, we've been in this world for a year. Uh, no, it's us... four or six. No, it... Yeah, but that's different. That's another different thing. It's the point that I, myself, in actual age, I'm about 23 years old. I'm you're still four. You're still so young. Not you. That Your level makes more sense. Yeah, I'm around 23 at this point. Yeah, we're the same age, I remember. Yeah. So Sirso, younger, but I, Sirso's I gonna, like, weapon. put up his hand, he's like, you don't need to tell me all your ages, it's alright. He's, like, 60, uh, as I point to Null. Sir, 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 it's like, alright. <laughs> I'm actually older than that. <laughs> you don't have to tell me your ages, tells him. I mean, I, I'm really trying not to tell him that the elf is 40. <laughs> I'm not have 21, me, according have to Have him meet Bladestorm, point at him. That's a girl. No, he's not. Lightstorm says she one thing. Sarissa is like, all right, maybe. You want to see your art? <laughs> You'll understand immediately. You'll just wrap back to this man's just gay and has problems with degeneracy. <laughs> that can also be accurate. First of all. Sir, so is gonna be like, no, okay, see, I understand some things must be very strange for you, but in this world there are two genders. Your friend is what we call a homosexual. Well, Man, this world's pretty good. Yes, May I might stay. I kind of just, um, I kind of just look at in the distance. Yes. J.K. Rowling calling one of her characters gay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I I kind of want to look that at the distance. Like, main. how are you doing, Ebenezer? He's not even hearing the bad parts of the story. Yeah. Yet. Is he not? Uh, yeah. So, how are you doing, Ebenezer? Ebenezer goes, I'm doing all right. Just thinking out how to do, do, do some things. Man, he's uh, the first person to have a reasonable response to this bullshit. Do you want I a mean, mushroom? Uh, Ray also had the reasonable one when he mentioned the at least the Ravana being the dungeon part. Oh, yeah. I have. I, uh, let me just say, Avanazer sense motives. What the fuck do you mean by a mushroom? Like, are you, just a food uh, item, the buff, or like drugs? Like, <laughs> I mean, it's the the food item that gives him plus to will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want a mushroom? And he he looks at you for a moment. He goes, that, that's all right. He goes back to. <laughs> you want a magic mushroom, not the drug. Oh uh, yeah, it's the ones that increase your willpower. I'm fine. And sir, so okay. just like. In the meantime, do we plan on just standing in front of this cavern until they return, or? No, we should probably no. go somewhere first. For that, so. We should probably go. Either back to the dungeon so the gene doesn't show up, or to the guild, since we have a a guild all. I'm gonna be a hundred with you. I don't think he's showing up. Well, if he does, it'll take him forever. He didn't seem very motivated to kill us, yeah. despite the. But we need. We should go to sleep somewhere safe, anyways. Yeah. But yeah, sleeping in a bed would be good. Kind of yep. taking a step back and looking at Abenazer. Yeah, I mean, everyone's looking at Abenazer, I think. It's, it's a riot there. Yeah. Abenazer's like kind of just quietly freaking out. He slowly turns to you. He's just like, what now? So now I mean, we're gonna have to, well, we're going to have to concoct some sort of. Uh, Wish that gets us out of all this, but we have 
something of an idea. Uh, you remember word for word uh, that one wish, right? Yeah. You remember the lore wish, Scrivens here? Do I? Like, you, you still that you... saw the whole song? What was that? Oh, you read. <laughs> just... I was going to say, if, if you want, Kieran, but it's an incredibly simple wish for just a cutscene. Like, you know, genie of the lamp, I command you to be sealed here for all of your days, kind of thing. It's just, you know, it's a. Uh, arguably, it could have even just been like a type in, like, you know, when a uh, prompt show up for you to put in a cutscene and they're all technically correct. Uh huh. So, I mean, you can construct whatever sentence you want, is what I'm saying, but also, what do you think is going to make Coleste actually listen to the essay now? I mean, like, yeah, the... Like, like, you don't, like, you know, the simple wish that you made in the game, it might not be enough. Yeah. Get the thing. Genie of the lamp, I invoke your wish. Yeah, I Sealed as you really... are by the gods. This cave shall be new your new lamp. You got to do is you got to throw in as much like 22nd century slang as possible so that he can deny your wish, but he doesn't understand what the fuck you're saying, so he doesn't kind of skirt. Oh, <laughs> one sticky. Like, what the out. fuck are you saying? The last by my bussin' decree. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. You trap. You got to stay, stay in here. <laughs> No, you can't say it there. Forever this tomb shall be your skibbity toilet. You, you get the forever box because you've made an utter fucky walky of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what like, they need to I, do. I don't know. You defeated me. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, I don't know what many of those things said, but it hurt me. I know a very simple <laughs> wish. That's, that's you just see Coles doing the genie pose. Sorry to interrupt. You. Just like, Coles doing the genie pose, and you just see like a pit of blood go down from his nose. <laughs> this go is on, not though. a natural idea that my sister will ever say, but I'm just thinking. Well, guys, I have a plan. This plan would get rid of two problems. Let's just say that before he can arm anyone else at all, ever, he needs to kill Rat Trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, this is true. Yeah, and you won't catch him. Yeah, I mean, I guess conceptually that would work. I mean, I, I, I'm saying this out of character, because it's not something my character would say, but it's funny to me. I was like, yeah. we can send a snail against him. <clears throat> yeah, but that's just like... It's not just morally fucked up, like, that is an evil sort of... Well, like, that is a legitimately evil act, like... Hey, go kill this guy specifically. If you want to be fucked Ascend up, you could you could try and do something similar to that okay, wish. Like you cannot to hunt to us to until you kill long. our firstborn child. Never Just have one. Yeah. None of you guys are fucking anybody. You I'd be terrified. I, I feel a family. like I feel like David does that, and then he's like, "Where's Cles going?" And he's looking at me. I'm like, "Wait, hold on. Yeah. You said my grandson wasn't in here. Yeah, your grandson's not in here." <laughs> you can't hunt us until you have flown physically to the sun and back. I, Actually, I Steven just admit. Steven makes it. Oh, sorry. No, what did I say? No, I was going to say the the more more fucked up thing, where he just goes to the last place we masturbate and just goes incinerate and then comes to kill us. That counts. Hold on. Hold on. Gonna, he can't. Hunt, he can't hunt us until he kills chaos. <laughs> Yeah, I, was, I was thinking way worse with the firstborn child thing where Calista starts coming at you. It's like, I said you can't harm me. He goes, bend over. All right, so... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Firstborn yeah. child coming right up. <laughs> All right. So, a lot uh, of stupid ideas. You're standing in the desert still. So. Perhaps we should think of it over overnight, at least. Yeah. Verso goes, you teleported us here. Which way to the oasis? I mean... Ebenezer, can you teleport us back? Ebenezer goes, not anymore. Oh, yeah. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay, everyone take out the baskets. 
Yeah, all right, come on, guys. Get in the basket. Just a second, I need to shift some things over. Some people will have to go on top. I mean, I can go if I fall, I can just turn into a bird. Fair enough. Why don't you hold somebody why, over my head? Yeah, why don't you turn into a no. bird and just go as a spoiler for the dragon? Teresa goes, I'll just wait here and you'll just kind of like fade in the middle. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're technically not here in person, so yeah. Yep. It really must be convenient. Yep. Yeah, so I guess we go on a uh, no mobile. Yeah. No guys, airlines. You guys have one rank in survival, right? You know which direction north is automatically? I mean, yes. I have a lot more than that. Yeah, but Pathfinder says if you have one rank, you just. Yeah. I, I, I got this. Puts a stick on the ground, lets it fall. It's that way. Right, right. So the thing is, let, let's say for the sake of you just arguing which direction you'd go, if I say, okay. no, just up point is point north, point which direction point. are you guys flying? Do we know where the city is? I would like to fly into the You know where the city is, but not in order to relation to you. You just teleported it. Hey, in the pre... <laughs> In that other place, we can say because it's around. What direction was the city from the Cave of Wonders? Oh, it's like in the game, like where in the map was right. it? David, before right. okay, before everyone gets to the thing, I'm going at really high, and I'm gonna get a look see around. I'm going very very high, so I can get a really good perception. Okay, uh, Kieran, I remind you. you Talk to like one either Avanaz or Sariso in the Oasis city. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There are different okay. instances. You don't fucking walk anywhere. Yeah. Fair enough. Even give me a perception. Yep. Bye bye. Soliloquy. <gasps> wow. Soliloquy. So their waffles are not either just. Go get them out. I know, I know the direction. Then come on, I know now. I can get us there. You know the direction from seeing one person. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go their way. Oh, you're just going to them, okay? Yeah. I'm mean, okay, like, I saw Liliquay, so I'm going there. Knowledge is right. reaching, reaching Liliquay, and she's like, dodge the basket, and throws us at her. <laughs> this fucking yeah. halfling. So just, just to remind people, she's a halfling. She's an adult. But this fucking child just walking through the desert with her fucking, like, teeter wagon full of scrolls. And she's just walking by. Sees a yellow dragon. She's just like, wow, that's... that You don't see that every day. Why is it coming at me? Yeah, why is it carrying a basket? <laughs> how, how very odd. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, look where... All right, so, so the, ha the halfling moving, turns like... and starts running as far as her shitty little halfling moose beetle will let her. <laughs> hey. hey. Don't run away from me. Yeah, I just like that there's a bunch of people screaming, hey, hey. I was uh, just like, peaceful. we need directions. Literally, we need directions. Stop running. God damn it. Should have no. <laughs> no, it's not making this easy. No, it was like it's funny right. this way. You are way faster than her, so as she's running. I'm sure you guys could. Like, what is the plan? Just to land in front of her, like to cut her off, or you guys want to do this? I have this stupid idea where you're just skirting right above the sands of the basket and there's just a bunch of people and Abanazer, both hands on his face as he's trying to hide his identity from sheer embarrassment as you guys are just like stop running <laughs> I'll just teleport just like next the, to the her image of us flying by her side like it's like a car yeah. chasing another car yeah exactly I'll just, yeah I'll just teleport in front of her because I have time hop okay <laughs> so she's running and then she goes ah <laughs> So sorry to spook you. We, we need the directions. We don't know where town is. We got teleported. It just so commonly comes up in this fucking situation. Oh god damn it here. <laughs> I 
Turn on all fours that would make it resemble a friendly dog. Girls love dogs. <laughs> so <laughs> fucking stupid. Cure <laughs> dog. I, I love the one where it's like, and like, then this lady starts running like I was gonna rob her. I mean, she's right, and he starts sprinting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're doing a survey. You know, would you mind taking it? It's like, yeah, sure. It's like, if you were approached in the street, do you think you could defend yourself? No. Good. Give me your money. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately, damn. Uh, I mean, oh, it's I'm a good way to. It's a good way. Like, it's safe for you. <laughs> it's just pretty rough, but still. Right until you find out they were lying. He was racist. That's what I mean. It's bad enough that there's like some dragon, and then she sees a cart full of men going, Liliquay, Liliquay. She's like, oh shit, this is bad. And then she runs, ah, hey, we're lost. Could you have some directions? <laughs> so I mean, stupid. I apologize. Yeah. I mean, it's like I, I, I'm sorry. It was like we, we really didn't want to scare you, but you're the only person we've seen right now. Liquid's going. All right. Do, do we know each other? To be fair, we in character haven't said her name. Dude, some people were screaming Liliquay, weren't they? I, I think, think so. Was so was a there's Liliquay to our each other. Me, oh, me, me. I mean, even if it's Steve, like Steven was going, we'll look away. Oh, I guess, I guess my friend has heard of you. He don't don't let it, let them fool you. It's a divine gift that allows him to turn into a dragon. She she's nodding. She goes, yeah, I, I've I've out. heard that that's quite common among lizard folk. He's an Azimar. Yeah, it's true. You guys see a oh. giant fucking halo behind me? Oh. Yeah, it's it's uh he is he's a good person though. I mean he has a <laughs> halo. Yeah. Lily Quay goes and what's wrong with him? Is Avanazers was covering his face? He's, he's embarrassed by us. Filled with shame. He's he, yeah, he's embarrassed <laughs> by us. It's That's also Ooh. terminal. Yeah, we're on group. Evan Ezra lowers his fat hands for a second. He's like, Terminal, what are you? <laughs> Look what he's going to go. Do you, do you want to buy a map? or? Sure. Sure, what do you have? All right, so she sells you a cheap map. I, I'm not asking for money from you guys. Um, <laughs> no, we're going to give her money. I mean, if you want, she sells it to, like, you know, and gold for a map of the desert kind of thing, where it's like the only thing of interest is an apology. that you're basically like going for buying the cereal. <laughs> I mean, I'll give her one hundred as an apology. I mean, I'll ask her. If, I, I'll ask if she has like if she has accurate maps. I'll ask her what kind of map she has, and we'll buy them off of her. It's very actually useful for us. Yeah, Liliquay goes. Well, I'm something like an archaeologist. I uh. Go around looking for, you know, old treasures that people bury. No relic, a uh, relic seeker. Yeah, that's that's what you could call it. Is it lucrative or is it a passion project? Yeah. You, did you want to buy some of these? I can't go through looking at all of these myself. I mean, sure. May we check them? I mean, it's like, no, the whole point you is can, that you can't check them. <laughs> yeah, you can buy them and then you can have them. How I mean, much the are they? Region. I have quite a few various ones. If you, just, you know, your friend gave me a hundred gold here, and she'll just kind of pick one up and go, "You can have this one." <laughs> Noel takes out a little. Noel takes out a little pocket and, like, as a big dragon, drops a hundred gold. I would like one as well. <laughs> All right, you have another one. The one, the, the one scroll, the first scroll she hands you seems to be some sort of strange, uh, like pacing thing where it's like ten this way, ten that way, and there's only like two objects to describe where in the world it could fucking possibly be. 
I'm not getting into a lot of detail because I already know fucking Kieran's character's looking at it. He's going to go, <laughs> yeah, I've solved this one quite a few times. And mm, This one sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you probably look at it and you're like, like, oh, this one. Mm-hmm. This one on. sucks. You have to dig. Out of curiosity, <laughs> what's the most expensive one you have? I fucked up counting on this one like 13 times. 100,000, 10,000. I guess she wouldn't have passed those. She wouldn't have the gameplay like million gold items. There's Logically, she shouldn't have that. So she would say like, well, I have a couple of hard ones that uh, are definitely part of old empires. You know, like the uh, good old... He looks down for a second and he goes, you know, whatever's north of the dungeon used to be. Yeah. I mean... You go oh, ten, yeah, ten. Names, the, uh... You'd go. I I par a few of them for ten thousand gold. Like I mean, the treasure up there, you know, is going to be tenfold that. He lied. Do you think but you're it's also really dangerous to go and divide them. I mean, do you think they're worth it? That's that's part of the thrill of treasure hunting. I mean, bro, we've, fair, we've been there already, so big if true. Yeah, she, we've been there already. She goes, yeah, yeah. See, you guys already have visited it. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you think, Steven Sierra? Are they worth it? Evan Azar just yeah. threw his hands. He's like, what are we doing here still? <laughs> They're <interesting. laughs> Let's just They're get definitely them for a later. bit of fun to have, yeah. I mean, okay, I here you go. Evan go. Like, dude, I never know what's going on. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> a, thousand, a thousand platinum. You gotta find fun in life anyway. Alright, you give Maybe her. You, you okay, a thousand platinum. All right, she she starts slowly counting it out as she's throwing coins into her like bag that disappears into the void, and she'll hand you a um, a, the the ten thousand one says uh, it it is in a weird language and then it like like moves about to make it look like how it would be in the game, and it basically says like forty six is my number. My body is the color of burnt oranges and crawls among those with eight. Three mouths I have, yet I cannot eat. My blinking blue eyes hide my grave. Okay, g- give me, give me the whole phrase. We got spiders, baby. Yeah, yeah. I don't like spiders. <laughs> I Let me put that on my inventory. I don't get burnt oranges. What? What? It's more of a amber what? color. Are, if you burn, burn it long o- enough, are we talking about black. burnt ochre? Mm. And I think Steven bought like a a funny little like a uh, hundred gold one, right? Yeah. Yeah. You you look at it like the the map it seems like a, a strange treasure map, and then it just reorganizes and says, "Dig near some giant mushrooms behind a grand tree." Okay. These are in uh, the the world or in the dungeon. The world. These are tr- these are treasure okay. hunts from the game. Like this is something players okay, did gotcha. for fun. This was just basically well, excuses maybe. for players to like go to areas they've already visited and bring a shovel. But yeah, the thing yeah. is, what I'm saying is, when you look at these these things, they actually seem like real maps for a second, and then they turn into game bullshit. Yep. Well, we'll, we'll oh, we have this. three maps to check later. I mean, I think the one you bought, Peter, is an actual map. Well, his Big was like tree. Nice oh, yeah, sure. No, no, it's like the the one Stephen bought is but the first map, which was the Pedro, was what we were asking, oh, which yeah, was a map no, of a desert. Another... We then uh, David did also then gave us another one for the another gold. I know yeah. where to go for those oh, yeah, two yeah, yeah. objects. So yeah, 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 we have yeah, three yeah, maps: sure. two of yeah. hundred gold and the one with. Okay. That so, I know where to go for mine. Well. Thank you. I guess my friend said, as he said, he already heard of you, but uh, my, my name's Maestro. He goes, Sorry for the spook. He goes, That's a strange name. I, I, I'm Ionicus. I'm no. <laughs> so I suppose you already know I'm Liliquay Ionicus. Your reputation precedes you. He goes, I didn't know I had a reputation. <laughs> yep. 
She kind of smiles, just, like moving her head around. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I'll just, I'll just, yeah, other gears, just let her have that. I peer behind Maestro. I'm Vincent. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do like, that. <laughs> I peer behind Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Vincent. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, Maestro. Vinso. Vinso. Yes. You're behind Vinso. She's like, pre. She's like, pre. Dang. You guys can fit a lot of people in that basket. I keep noticing new people. Thank you. I mean, not enough because I need to be up there, but yeah, it's pretty spacious. <laughs> I'm Samuel, by the way. Thank you. Ionicus. Yeah. Wilfred. Hello. Does a little bow again, you owner kiss. Oh, and she she turns to Abenazer. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> you, me, me. Look at Abenazer. Like you see, like because he's in the thing right now. So I turn my oh, neck wow. to him. And yeah. Like you say it. I, <laughs> I turn my neck. Don't be rude. Yeah, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't do to be rude. Nor Abenazer goes. I I don't need this kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need rumors. My dragon face gets closer. Mm. <laughs> you you want to intimidate him? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not this, this is more it's a just fun a kind of conversation. Yeah. But I don't mean like scare him shitless, but the fun you want to diplomacy him? Is that what you make you feel better? <laughs> diplomacy, yeah, I, got, I, got, I can do a diplomacy. Don't worry, he just feels embarrassed to be seen with us. Yeah, the liquid goes. I I can't imagine why. Yeah. Oh, you don't know half of it. <laughs> her her eyes widen when you say that because she's already being like kind of like politely sarcastic. Yeah. You don't even know the half of it. Oh, geez. <laughs> That's thing. Half of the things are accidents. Other things, yeah. And so Sam. yeah, Abenazer's like because you're forcing it. No. Like, I'm I'm Abenazer, and she goes. The Ebenezer? No, I'm, I'm named after that one. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, and I just, I, my dragon, I bring my dragon head down to her, and I go, I go, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just actually uh, Abbot Loser. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yo. Vincent, the fuck? Yeah. I have all... Yeah. Yeah, it's obviously <laughs> Pat, because Vincent doesn't exist. Vincent yeah, was Vincent part of... Doesn't, Vincent doesn't snark. <laughs> Vincent tells you that he his wife sold. is dead and little more. I just like the idea of, from, from her perspective, from her perspective, Evan Azar, more like Abba Hefla that he's here, she's just like, that's not clever at all. That's <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> you okay, Karen? This is the fuck I'm good on. Alright. So, I mean, assuming you guys are gonna get back on the thing, she'll wave you off, but otherwise, yeah, yeah. she's gonna just keep, she's gonna keep standing there seeing if you need anything else, because technically yeah. you're customers now. Yeah. Thanks for the map. Yeah, so gonna see go, Good luck finding those things. If you ever have trouble finding them, I could take them back. Oh, sure. no. Okay. All right. That's she'll start, <laughs> she'll start pushing her, pulling her, uh, like tinker wagon of scrolls again as you start taking off, which is so funny because I'm thinking you could have just robbed her, <laughs> like realistically, just she's just here yeah. by herself. Not not smart not like I know you're not an asshole. I'm saying she's just not defended at all. <laughs> like we're stupid idiots. We're not assholes. Ratchet comes down, give me your scrolls. Scrolls turn from weird treasure maps to actual clues. He's just like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> but you, you, you're saying like, yeah, you're saying like, you would like never paper. want to do that. You couldn't yeah. fucking. Well, that's why I'm saying, it. even cool, even in this hypothetical, like uh, her having an actual map would be easier for Rat Trip than him looking yeah. at a, a puzzle he might have probably solved a hundred times already. It's like, like, literally the case that oh man, you just need to go running around in the desert, and instead of doing it smart, he does like the pixel hunting of like a point and click game where he runs full speed, like 
uh, I'm going to run down this line, and then I'm going to take a step forward, and then run down that line, right and eventually is going I'll run to, into whatever it is. Right Trip is going to pull out, like, the easiest fucking puzzle thing, where it's just, like, it's just going to change from a map into, like, dig under the barrel in the kitchen of, you know, the Empire's royal kitchen mess or something, like, dig under that. And Right Trip's going to end up destroying the entire kitchen, because... The barrel has either been moved in real life, or he just doesn't know which barrel it is. I just like to imagine he gets it one. It's like, how the fuck should I know? And then it's like flashback to the game, and that's like David. he has a house right by the place where the the chest is. David, he's trying to fucking press the button to buy clue, buy the uh, skip the clue thing. He just keeps pressing the empty space. How come it's not letting me buy it? <laughs> that's so he's funny because he's slapping the ticket against the map. Solve it. Solve it. Solve it. <laughs> That's so funny, because I do like the idea of it actually working, where he has, like, this cheap-ass clue scroll, rips it, a treasure chest appears before him, and, for, like, he did this in front of Liliquay, and she's just like, you just... That ticket was... What's inside the... What was it? What's inside that chest? And he opens up, he's like, sweet, an old chef's hat, and he puts it on, and she's just like... A chef's hat and seven copper. Yeah, and she's just like, you ripped a... You ripped an artifact for that! He's just like, yeah, totally <laughs> worth it. <laughs> yeah, that makes this hat worth worth an artifact. <laughs> He's just like you don't understand this this old dusty chef hat that smells like mothballs has embroidery on it, like it has like HC on it for head chef, head chef in charge. That that makes it worth it. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh man, I would love the head chef in charge hat from the Clue Scrolls. The two oh, assassins. You can All just right. go get it. I got the ninja one before they removed it. Ed Ninja in charge. <laughs> before they removed it. Please. They removed just... it and then they put it back in. I was thinking, like, please, just, we'll give you compensation for it. You're like, no, no, I already paid money for this. <laughs> Cosmetics worth. Alright, so you guys are flying to the city. It takes arguably a couple of days, so, you know, you guys do some campouts. Is there anything you'd want to uh, discuss with Avanazer on the campouts, or are you just going to, like, Probably the let wish. him... Okay, you want to talk about the wish, then? Go ahead. Talk about the wish over your campouts. As well, not like we have much to do I mean, while we travel. As soon as, soon as we get the map, I think it is fairly important to talk about this. It's like, because... First off, why would we have to wait that long if in the second day Ebenezer will already have teleport? If you want to, yeah, but you'd still have yeah, to sleep well, one night. I mean, the, yeah. yeah, it's just more to the point of, like, it's if it's farther away than that, I'm going to ask everyone, do we need anything from the city to do this? I don't think so. Yeah, because th that's what I'm seeing, is we're just going away from this. Because the idea was to simply sleep on a bed. If it's too far away, and we're going to camp out either way, what's the point? Mm -hmm. I guess I need to ask, does camping outside count for me to change multitudes? <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, would yeah. you... Would, no, I thought it had to be in, like, a city. It needs to be a spa a safe space. Like a rope trick, or yeah, I was, hard as an oh, I was going. Oh, oh, oh. I was going to say well, uh, if if you get attacked, then no, then it's not safe. <laughs> if we don't get attacked, then he... <laughs> yeah. We'll just draw a circle around him, put up a sign with his trigger warnings, and say, "Don't sea bears." <laughs> yeah, he could be attacked by sea bears at any moment. It is true. I've seen a shark on land before. Heaven has returns as you really? I, I summoned it, but yes. Heaven has shut the. <laughs> I've seen the truth. I've seen a shark on land before. Heaven was like real. I mean, I summoned it. Heaven has goes. Mm. I believe. Dave, I believe bullets are called land sharks. God damn, I can't there. believe nothing on the internet anymore. It's all staged. <laughs> looks guess... at you, other character looks at Vincent's like wrong edition, motherfucker. I know bullets are the theme, Pathfinder, but I'm just fucking. But... 
But yeah, do I get do we get attack or do I get to change it? Wizards of the Coast. I mean, we still have to speak. Uh, yeah, fair. Yeah, that's. Vivian or so children, I guess let us discuss about this. Yeah. Mm hmm. The, this is the thing. Well, we want to complicate the wish in such a way that it would counter certain easy ways that the genie might get out of the deal. We don't want to make it so complicated as to where it's very easy for us to mess up. Yeah, we should limit the facets of attack while making them as, well, annoying as possible. I, I guess very much we need to... We need two ver we need to two the two things we want to do is what we want the wish to do and what we okay, want the okay. wish to stop. And then so, make it Yes. Technically we can locking him in a place pretty much ad infinitum does fix at least though can do both, arguably. Ebenezer eats a raw mushroom. From where? Pedro right. gave him one of your magic mushrooms. Oh. I don't know why you're reaching into my bag. Fine. Yeah. Wait, how'd you do that? So he turned into gas. No, isn't isn't all the food in the portable hole? Probably. All right, then let me Which would require you Bye. to open it. Fine, then let's put it this way. As pay, as you as see Pedro reaching for the portable hole to slap down and reach inside, you guys can stop him. So you can keep the precious mushroom. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I will give him the mushroom. It's just, David, can you can you imagine you're having a conversation, like a serious conversation about something that might kill us, and your friend starts reaching inside of your shirt, and is like, motherfucker, <laughs> what? Exactly, <laughs> it's like, there's, a, there's some, you know, you some things there? here. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, yes, you could also, I thought you were going to go with, like, I was. I thought you were mad at Abanazer, I'm like, the man's hungry. How about the no, no, that's, that's right, but, like, Sam, what the fuck? Surprise, not even don't mess with Get yeah, off of me! <laughs> Stop touching me! <laughs> I mean, I raised my hand to ask you, you but no one noticed, so... So you well, stopped sure, raising your I yes. raised my hand, but I didn't make it clear out of character that my character was <laughs> yeah, raising yeah. my hand. Okay, I, it's more of the joke that this was happening in chat, so I just didn't interrupt I, the conversation. I love the idea of Sam in the desert with his hand up, and as soon as no one talks to him for 30 seconds, his hand starts going down into my shirt. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What the fuck are you All doing? Right. All right, so you guys are having your conversation, and the side conversation of Ebenezer's like, may I have it? And Pedro, you know, you see uh, you know, Sam go, all right, and he starts reaching into you, like, towards you, and you can stop talking to Scrivens here for a second and go, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what, Sam? Uh, I need the hole for a second. You have one. Okay. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Here, I mean, here you go. I hand you the anchor, Chief. Thank you. Going stop. I'll plop it down and give him a, a mushroom. Yeah. You guys Man. see Evan? You see Evan as you eat a raw mushroom. Yeah. I mean, good. I told him to do it. Good on him. Yeah. Was it uh, any good? Well, Evan as goes, not particularly. Sam, can you make us dinner? Ebenezer goes, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I probably should. Uh, why don't you tell me something light as an appetizer? Yeah, you're a chef. Why did you just tell him that? I thought you wanted it for uh, the. Sorry, guys. We effect. sell the ingredients. Yes, but you but... just show them. <laughs> yes, but if you cook them, it could be better. <laughs> the ingredients are on the menu. You just couldn't pick them. <laughs> I mean, I guess going, this is my fault for not waiting. I'll make you something no, that's Clearly, really Sam has put you into an insane fucking hypothetical I'll, that should have never existed. I just I'll imagine. Make it, I'll make him something that can be eaten cold for tomorrow. I I love the I love the imagination of Ebenezer's flashback to his mother just telling him, "Don't forget, don't snack before dinner." Yeah, and he's like, "She was right." Ebenezer's just, if only I had listened, <laughs> taking it way harder than he should. 
All right, that's a that's a joke, by the way. Abinaz was just sitting there being a polite boy, looking all sad. He's like, oh. Anyways, you guys can keep talking just, about the lamp. <laughs> as I make dinner, I'll just also make something for him to eat later. Something like a sandwich that can be eaten cold. <laughs> Oh, David, I just thought... Now that Abenazer isn't hungry, he can help you with your conversation. Yeah, no, I, I was just I was literally thinking, <laughs> don't worry, I have learned this from the School of the Arts and teach him how to throw up on command. <laughs> so, so that's what was stopping him? Well, he was so hungry? Also... He was, you guys weren't talking about it earlier in for a while, so yeah, he wasn't joining your conversation. I got rumblies and tumblies, so... So yeah, so we need. So as I was saying, we need to find out what we want to wish to do and what we want to wish to stop. Those are the two real good factors that we need to hammer out. Because what are you going to do about wishing itself? What stops the genie from just killing you as soon as you bring him to you? I mean, he's probably going to try and kill us. She well, she to be fair, what stops it is preparation beforehand. Yeah. Elias is also, powerful, uh, but he's I, not I mean, powerful. Goes, well, if you could say it fast enough, potentially, I suppose, but aren't we discussing a very ironclad wishing spell here? Usually, the, oh. I would assume the genie would stand there and listen because it's, kind of moves his hand. He goes, jailing. That's a thing. But. Yeah. He has specific orders to hunt you. It's the thing. From when we first saw him, he's doing this a bit all fast. Yeah, currently, we're using the point that he as oh, he doesn't care about really killing us. He's just doing it because he's forced to. I will uh, say, if you do try and put another wish on him, he's going to start caring a lot more. Oh no, I believe you. It's just the, the fact that he, when he arrives, I think because of his blase attitude, it might take him a second. Or, to that end, preparing beforehand is basically our best way to do it, but also it might very slightly be worth it to uh, oh. okay. seek out uh, someone that can actually like, withstand his HP, HP. Uh, wrath, even if for a, a short time, to mm -hmm. take the brunt, as it were. Everyone someone that would be similarly oh, benefited from him not being hunted. Everyone looks at her. Cannot survive. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure her can hold on for a while. I mean, if I if I make him resist fire. I can I do that so you can save your spells for more useful things. I, I don't have anything else, man. I was more so saying Red Trip's a bundle of hit points that almost assuredly will uh, have. Red Trip is also a bitch-ass coward. Sure. Yeah, but if really it means that he's not being hunted forever, we might be able to weigh his bitch-ass cowardice by making him do a courageous yeah. thing. I'll Evan try. Azzer's, Evan Azzer's looking at this and he goes, and where is Red Trip right now? Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, still running, yes. List. So Bear. anywhere but safe haven. Uh, currently, last time I was remembering, he's in the, he's running in the land of planes. I don't know if he already left it because of how fast he is. What if I just wait for him to be? I'll hop and back over. So this is the thing. You might do that, but that will probably kill us in several ways. Because of how he is, Red Trip might try to kill us out of spite. There's or you. There's also the chance that he teleports while running. He keeps running. There's also a fact. Contact yeah, I don't want him to run. He might not get past his spell run. resistance. That too. Yeah. But he might just kill us by running through us. Like or, he might, or he might try to kill you. Like, no offense, but you're a bit spent. Yeah. Honestly, I Obviously, prefer plans with a right threat now. trip involved. I'm just saying, he very much so can take a hit. And if he was I mean, in he the way of us and the genie trying to stop us from... Uh, I also fear that threat trip will just grab the lamp and I, try to wish something. I like the, uh, the using Ur for the wish, though, because I just imagine the genie hitting Ur like this. <laughs> 
<laughs> Reagan yes, smash. No, I mean, I, I mean, I. Please do tell if you do not agree with the splinter, but like with resistance to fire, I don't think. I don't think the genie can harm him as much as we'd believe in such a short amount of time, even when he attacked us in the land of night. While his resistance to all physical attacks was rather impressive, he himself did not. He himself, while still hurt Noel quite a bit, wasn't very impressive a striker. Maybe it's because he wasn't taking it ser seriously, but still. He was also medium when he No, he enlarged himself. I mean, you got, I guess you saw some of this. Yeah. I believe we can... I mean, I believe we can buy some times with, like, protection spells and things of the sort. I'm wondering if he needs to be. Well. You're a death war. That way he won't. Hell yes, or... I mean. I believe. Death war. Let me think about it. Sorry. Opens up BFSRD. Death war. I believe it gives you a plus four against energy drain and death effect. Uh. Yeah, I can. I can... Does, uh, yeah, and just a morale bonus. So, uh, fortunately, we do not need this. We we have so, so the that bonus. That, I mean, in character travelers are um, a death ward spell will not will not uh, synergize well with another magic item that we are using to make ourselves more effective. Ah. Uh. Sorry, I'm not. That is fair. Yeah. We have a lot of shit. We've had a lot of stop gaps to make up for the shortcomings in level with how far we've been going down in the dungeon. But where did you I also level? generate gold like Aren't no one else. That's so. quite impressive. I mean, yeah, but stats can only get you so far. Yeah. I mean, this is the thing. It's the like it monsters don't exactly play fair either. One can have 30 intelligence, but if the maximum you can do is cast a magic missile, that doesn't really evaluate. You can't really think your way out of getting the shit like I've out of you. I'm very targeted right now. <laughs> I mean, you have very <laughs> magic, <laughs> magic prowess, like, and you clearly have many spells. I meant mostly that a level 1 could have the highest of stats, but you will still die fairly easily. Yeah, so level one is just it. Yes, <laughs> we, we understand. It, that's just mostly the, the point. I, I was exaggerating on purpose, of course, but still. Right, I, I understand the idea. Times in situations such as this, other extreme. Well, we have this T set. It helps us uh, with most offense, defense. Uh, yes, it 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 basically enhances up to six people per day on a it's great really level. Tea. Yes, it needs to be prepared with a special ritual, but otherwise, it is. I, I mean. I understand. I just, I'm not gonna. I'm good. Ignore me. I'm not gonna be pedantic for this. Are you? I wanna be, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Path resisting his urges is primal force. Heaven as goes, that's quite an impressive piece of equipment you have there. Yes, oh, the pain in the ass to make. It's one of my we favorite also, We also have magic food. Yes, that too. I think too. he knows that. I mean, unfortunately, against the genie, this won't work. But we have many scrolls that we have, and... 
<laughs> it's like, I just kind of... <laughs> it's like the flashing of another 10th level scroll. It's like, ooh. <laughs> because you are quite stocked with those, aren't you? I had two. You got one of them. And I am going to have to go through hell and back to get one of those again. Yeah, we have the fact that you had two at once. Just... One, one is from the dungeon because of this fella, and I, I just show I had towards him, and the other one was made by a wizard that owes us some, but... Yeah, as soon as you say made by, God your eyes are like, what? So, uh, and I go to Sam's like, no, that's an artist Don't for the early 2020. <laughs> Better just call him 6 9 Oh, no. <laughs> so six, yeah. fuck. No, I, I thought you were saying God damn it because I was interrupting you, but I was trying to say as soon as you say it was made by a wizard, like, you see his eyes, like, widening. Like, somebody made it. Sorry, yes, I, I, I will stealthily hold back. my invisible ish hand over Sam's mouth. Shut up. I, even though we have a close relationship to this wizard, it is still fairly hard to convince to make any of these because it takes a while. Major, start licking his hand. Um, I'll bite him. I'm poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> You're poisonous, but not venomous. <laughs> exactly. I'm both. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see uh, about that. All right. Well, they're doing that. Um. So yeah, he's Damn just it, gonna. I missed, I missed Damn it. I missed it. I'm just. I'm just doing it to print for you from saying the name of everyone we know. Yeah. <laughs> I just missed. I missed Pat saying I'm poisoned. I was gonna say that's geeky, but I was like, yeah. fuck, I missed it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, all right. I I just won't translate. Like I, you guys understand what he says when just you as as you're explaining all this. You just hear uh, Evan Ezra being like, "Sagoy." <laughs> yeah. I just, I just love the idea of he's just hearing me talk to Sam, and suddenly he just hears it's like, it's like, a deep, a, 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 like, a stop doxing, and he just hears doxing. <laughs> he's doxing six ten right now. Exactly. No, but... Every every time we're talking to something, when we bring up a very important person, Sam's over here going like, "Yes, the emperor." Or that one secluded guy who doesn't want to be known. <laughs> All right. Um, you carry on with your conversation. But yes, I am lucky. I am alive after meeting him a couple of times. It's tense to speak with him. But, uh, but, yes, it is... We are... Item-wise, we are mostly prepared. We could be more prepared for the genie itself, but we are unaware of some of the intricacies of the powers that make him immune to physical attacks. Hmm. Without seeing it firsthand, for all I know, that's just how he is. You have any of these servants here? If it's some kind of magic or just something for pro of genie proper, oh, Kieran's muted. Kieran died. Shame. This is how Kieran dies. <sighs> but yeah, I believe right now Kieran's the only one with the. Or kind of check. Probably. Uh, otherwise. Well, it's fair to say that these mean to fire, so that's already something. I know even else spells would work on him. Perhaps cold. Uh, that's usually the trick and things like that. I mean, true. I meant mostly in the sense that he might be resistant to magic. Well, if he's resistant to magic and immune to physical attacks, there's not much left on you. I mean, yes, but we need to get used to it, because a lot of things are like that. 
Hi, Jason. Welcome back. I mean, the secret to all of these is always to prepare for them one by one. I'm not thinking, I don't know how this would work special with wishes. But if you were to wish for it to work like a dungeon, do you think his power would be limited to a way you could actually fit him? I mean, I don't know, because trying to limit him to a dungeon, it might not be dungeon of our level. It's sim it would mess with his HP. Do you think he can understand the concept of where we come from? Could we be like, make this like a dungeon in the game, except you know, on on our level? I mean, seeing how we've seeing of the our experimentation in the dungeon with the mirrors, I don't believe so. Things like that tend to crack, like the mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, see, like, I'm sorry, Pat, but every time you speak like that, just lost li these little things, I just imagine it's like Vincent just come out of the sand and it's like, like the mirrors, it's like, yeah. And then he disappears again into the sand. It's almost like a second Cerezo. Hey, look, one of these days, it's going to be very nice to what know the fuck? that. There's always one guy that they didn't see. <laughs> uh, I mean, I like Manchester understands the point. It doesn't stop it from being unnerving. Is anybody else having issues hearing Pat? He's a He's bit, a bit low, low. low. Hello? Hey. Hey. Yeah. You okay, Jason? No. Okay. We can't hear you. Oh, okay. 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 I clicked off and clicked back in to see if I could hear Pat better. I was thinking, you know, he's really, really low on my level, on my end. Yeah, right now he's just really low. Pat, speak. Why? <laughs> I mean, because we want to see if it's fixed. What do you mean, why? It wasn't broken. <laughs> and he could barely hear you. We need your check. I mean, yeah, to be fair, you could be speaking low, and you could be having a problem at the same time. You, you yourself said it. Discord is shit. I mean, yes. Discord is shit. Okay, then don't... Don't speak, like, why? Like, there's no reason whatsoever. Re. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I was attacking you, man. I was just trying to figure out if it was on my end, your end. Discord's just being Discord. That's just not screaming, so. Er, you have my permission to kill Vincent. It'll I don't win that fight. I don't think He's... you realize. I don't win that fight. No, I realize that. I mean, I don't. I. I don't know, man. I mean, if you disarm me, dying for him. If you there's... disarm him enough times. There's nobody in this par party that I win that fight against. Okay. And oh, there's. I'm sorry. You'd kill me. No, I don't think I have a way to out. kill you. No, I'm sorry, dude. I just don't do enough damage to actually import the matter. I guarantee you. But that's the thing. I also don't. That's the issue we're in. Yeah, your fight would be very boring. Yeah. That's fair. You're... Yeah. I, I that was, was asking... the most exciting fight in the game. <laughs> I... I was asking you to see if you could uh, check um, with your arcana check to see if there's any anything we know about his in uh, about the genie's invulnerability to physical attacks. Uh, yeah, sure. Arcana or Truana? Uh, it's still the night, right? Exactly. So let's just uh get these uses out of the way. Where is it at? There you are. Nice. Uh, Arcana. It's 10 higher, so 38. 
That thing I told you. Now in character. Okay, I don't remember. Please tell us again. Made of smoke. He has like a, a kind of gaseous form. Oh, oh yeah. Literally blow away. Any way to compress him then? If that's the case. <laughs> Spell it. Put him in a bag. Yeah, I think we're going to use one of the. Was it the major junction or something else? Yeah, I have a major junction scroll, but I, that's going to get expensive fast. The double bag method. <laughs> I, mean, I remember we had the, you had the plan for that specific I don't remember what it was. I mean, to give you some idea of what you. You didn't want to keep dispelling it from. Apply because it's constant, which you can choose to get rid of fires, by the way, mechanically. If you have a say, I don't want this money right now. Okay, so, but if you were just to continually put them away, maybe trick them to get off of them because obviously it's detrimental. Yeah. yeah. Um, would this be a very specific magic effect that would still be affected by things like um would this count no no i, I know I, would this still count as um the spell that turns you to mist or would this count as something else yes would it count as yes's form would it count something else a different spell but it's basically Do we, do we know the name of it? I, I mean, it's important. Okay, fine. Go up. I can open up a sheet. That's why he didn't want to tell you. <laughs> Gene Eye of the Lamp. Senile of the Lamp. I, I need this specifically, David, because I have a solution. It just... It needs to be right. <laughs> I mean, care to guess what my solution is, Kira? Uh, it's gonna wrong, break... Man. It's gonna break his back. Uh, hey, yo. Spellbane. Body of smoke. Okay, thank you. So Spellbane needs to be this very oh, specific spell, because it, ex it, it essentially explains that if you choose Summon Monster, Summon Monster, or Summon Nature's Allies 2, it wouldn't stop Summon Nature's Ally 1 or 3. <laughs> so it needs to be very fucking specific. Yeah, the point is that it's not acting as a spell, it's acting as a, like a defensive ability. It's like if um, I, have I mean, I asked if it's a spell that can be the spells so or can be spellbane. It's like if I had named bullet, I couldn't just say the genie. I suppose. Very <laughs> close. Less saying, like agreeing with the fairies, remember, names have power. Named bullet is a great example of that. The power is I can just shoot you better. <laughs> So, what other spells do we remember the genie having that were fairly useful for him? Wall of Fire was real annoying. Punch uh, somebody from like 15 feet away. No, oh, it's standard. He's but got he... ghostly punches. He's got that, uh. Wall of Fire. Kind of Wall of... Instead of wrist slot things that Dakosh liked. Bangles? The the thing those, were actually, those were actually gloves. Yeah, whatever. I mean, they're still wrist slot. Or no, those are hands, whatever. Yeah. It, I mean, it's more to the point of I was trying to see because Spellbane allows me to restrict a few spells rather than just one. I mean, you could just go down the line with the most, like, uh, destruct. I guess... You should probably hit the top before you hit the bottom, because if you hit the bottom, then he's going to start using the top. I mean, if we really want to do that, we could just try and keep casting Spell Crash on him. I mean, I think 
that won't work because if you can well, do them at will, it doesn't matter. Not unless you probably save. Ebenezer's going to go trying to erase all the spells from some powerful creatures. Uh, foolish endeavor. So Spellbane would get rid, but then I would ask Ur to link with me so I don't get... Guilt? Yes, because Spellbane oh. will emanate from me as soon as I cast it. So I'll have to be in melee. What if we try and spell blight him? Would that work? Probably pass that too. Oh, he only has to fail it once. I mean, sure. He just needs to roll 1-1, one, one, and David never goes up. And I gonna go, I, I understand that you guys sometimes have a strange accent, but give the correct term you're looking for. Yeah. Yes. That. I All mean, right. it would fail to affect him. Ebenezer just yeah. keeps like looking back, like, "Yeah, I've made the world a better place by correction, correcting diction." <laughs> <laughs> Not even diction. <laughs> I, I, I'm not doing this in character, but uh, like, out of character, <laughs> out of character, I just imagine like he just we all huddle up. It's like we, we didn't know he was a grammar Nazi. What the fuck? No, but ever <laughs> back, just looking at like I wish they would let you. <laughs> <laughs> just our our approaches him and just goes Kinder. Uh, it's a shame you said out of character because I could only imagine hers neck snapping. Someone said Nazi. <laughs> yeah, that was the <laughs> joke. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, Strevan, can you remember what else he normally did? This one kind of locks like three spells, and just using it for one feels like a waste. I mean, he was doing a scorching ray. I, I mean, it. yes, but we're gonna be resistant to fire. I don't think that's gonna be the issue. Mm, that's really probably that's can't do enough. Do I pass it? I mean, didn't he like disintegrate something once? Did he disintegrate something? I can't remember. Did he? I don't I can't remember. Nevertheless, I don't want him to ever. I don't want to ever see him do it. Yeah, it's fair. Fair. Uh, preparation is key. Can that block wish? <laughs> you don't want yeah. to do that if you're going to be making a wish. I mean, I can step up after. Fair. But okay, also, don't. Goes. Wouldn't blocking him the ability to grant you your wish detrimental yes. for your goal? Yeah, that, 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 that's what he said. That's yeah, why we that's... said we can do it after he does the wish. Yeah, you can just stand 30 feet away from him. and The, the emanation is fairly short. Wouldn't I mean, do you not... Casting yeah? it to have him at all make him attack you? Oh... I mean, it does not cast it on him. It emanates from oh, me. Man. That's why I'm going to have to be in the thick of it, and I am very scared. Which is why he's going to remain next to me the entire time, so that way I can move him out of the direction of the fire. Yeah, that way we can shit bricks together. I mean, I'm not going to be scared. <laughs> I am but... scared. <laughs> also, currently Ebenezer, with my... Ebenezer applauds you for your... Because that's quite colorful vocabulary. Well, current... That's shitting bricks. But no. currently... <laughs> currently yes, it's, also... it's conjured up quite the image in my mind when you say it again. Yeah. <laughs> it Thankfully, that was very easy. Easy. thanks to my efforts in the dungeon, I do have the feed Incredible Healer, which will allow me to sustain myself for a lot longer. Since uh, all healing on me will, uh, all healing that I make will be maximized. Very nice. 
Oh, but yeah, other uh, be beyond getting the scroll spellbane and making body, of, yeah, body of smoke. I'll say probably disintegrate and maybe dimension door. Anything that can get him out of there, so yeah, teleportation of any sort. I mean, if he had teleportation, I think he'd be faster at doing this, so I'll say Dimension Door. Yeah, but him having teleportation doesn't mean anything if he's not motivated. I mean, but that's the thing, I'm saying Dimension Door, because if we do the wish, he's still going to have to be there. Uh, I, don't care. I suppose. Uh, this is not me speaking to Devin, the funniest thing you could do. Genie, I wish you had access to the teleportation spell. <laughs> <laughs> Genie, I wish you could summon the Dragon Balls. I want to wish without worry. Ask him to summon Dragon Balls. You're not going to end up coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> Noel, there. Oh! Yeah, Why? <laughs> Noel, Noel goes, wait, wait, what are you doing? Oh, no! <laughs> my balls I love I, I love the fact that instead of that at the speed that he's been coming at us he just starts going only after no uh well let's see what else can you prepare for beyond the resistance to fire and uh me standing next to him now I say it out loud it's not great None of this is great, bud. Yeah. I mean, the rest of us are probably also going... To, well, the rest. Probably me and Null are going oh. to be by you to stop him from... I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I mean, how far... How close do you need to be? Yes. It emanates for 10 feet, so probably hugging him. Jesus. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's some shit luck right there. Yeah. I mean, it has to be me, so... Yeah. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go, um... When I go there, I'm... I have the necklace, so I don't die immediately if they put me to zero, so that's another thing that's good. I, uh... Should you have, should you have more than one? I mean, I, I don't think I'll have time to put it on during the fight, but... If you put them all on and one disappears, does the other one just take its place? No. Um, I mean, this is the thing. I also have more than one, actually. I bought spares. Okay. I was l looking at my thing, and, and um, I just read Talisman of Life's Breath times two, and I'm like, yeah, I, I thought about this. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to, when I go buy the scroll, I'm also going to buy a shield for myself. A buckler. There. An enchanted mithril buckler, mind you. I'm not losing that thing. It's just, I, I want to live. You're right. Yeah. We also need to still think of the wish, though. I mean, yes, that is true. The, the plan to fight itself is made, but the wish is not. So, let's separate... Let, as I said, so let's separate between these two. So, we want the wish to... make him stay... Uh, make the, that cave... a dungeon where he'll be stuck forever. That's the main objective. Basically. And, we'll, for someone, but... and now we want it, and basically the what we have to word it in such a way where it will stop him from weaseling out of that to try and do those requests, uh, do the other requests before doing this one. So we need to include the fact that he'll be stuck there, that he'll be stuck there forever, Actually, and that he'll do this wish. Uh, this wish will take priority. Uh, priority over all of his wishes. 
I don't think it, we should try and do that. I think that's going to be an impossibly hard sell. What we should do is have it so that he guards his own thing, because that is at least, like, I guess kill any trespass or like combating trespassers would be better than stay. trying to get him to stay here assist. and. Yeah, I mean, like, stay here and defend your lamb from all trespassers that want that will try to get it. I feel like that would work better than trying to get him to supersede any future wish. Fair enough. If nobody ever gets the lamp again, they'll never get the wishes. But of course, somebody's going to eventually probably like. We just need out. time. I mean, yeah. And as long as it's not them, that's like as long as it's not the cult that's doing it, then it's fine. To be fair, we said we took care of them, and they didn't check, so. Uh -huh. Sloppy work, end, really. It might be smart to not put him... In, I don't know where it's best to put him, but... If we put him in that cave, they know where it is. They'll never check the scene of the crime. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -oh. To be fair, it's in the middle of the desert. You won't hurt anyone accidentally unless they're treasure around them. It's... I mean, yeah, I'm more so worried about them eventually coming back to check and, and then uh -huh. hatching up a well, sinister well, escape or stealing plan. Why would they come back, though? I don't know. I mean, that's the they thing. They know about this place. They might end up one, doing so. One word about I mean, they might end up doing so, but by that point, yeah, they but... might find it if we put him somewhere else. Sure. It's more of the point. We it's only need time. We don't. We we don't need to lose much time thinking about this because it's in in in, in the future, like in the long run, it doesn't matter. We're gonna have to fix this better anyway later. Yeah. Uh, so, you're the word man, Scriven. How should we word this? I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, That's putting a lot of Scriven. hope in Avenazer. You're the word man, Scriven. See, Avenazer's like, oh, they got this. I don't fucking know. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> We just got done fucking talking about it. I'm not going to immediately have an idea. I mean, that is fair. We can workshop it. It's more to see, like, if we have the base. But I know, putting too much on you. Along the lines of, like... Like, along the lines of, like, Genie will be fucking... Uh... uh what's the word? I don't want to say interred, because he's not dead, but... You know, locked can be a bad one. Uh, um, you will be, I guess, shackled is a bit too literally, so maybe bound, bound to a specific place, being this, uh, <laughs> this cave or that cave, I guess specifically. The cave that. Oh, well, we're gonna have to be able to fucking refer to what the actual cave is. I mean, the cave where he's in. I mean, I just, yeah, if we're summoning it in it, like we can say this cave. Sure. But at that point, this cave is very. The I mean, in the cave, I'm more so cave, worried that he's going to be able to fucking uh, start, like, yeah. destroying the cave. And he's like, oh, well, technically, this is now more cave. Avanazer I mean, agrees with you. He goes, that's within the confines of a teeny twist. I mean, words. You can say that he needs to protect the lamp and the cave, or just the cave and its contents. Which then would include the lamp. I guess we could be real shitheads and stay within, say, stay within the current dimensions of this cave. Mm, you could just make the, the cave bigger. I mean, yeah. <laughs> mm. And as goes, plus for every complication you add to the wish, this is just more time for the G to hunt you. Mm-hmm. How about this? 
Genie of the lamp, we wish for you to seal your lamp in the cave. We are in and defend at both location and your lamp from interlopers for a millennia. There's a time frame on it. Yeah, I'm putting in millennia because, like, my question is, after... why did you say? Why did you use that voice? Uh, <laughs> you want Pat? Why didn't you wish the genie to give me, me a better voice? <laughs> Vincent, go back to the shadow realm. <laughs> well, no, it sounded like you were just like, <laughs> this is what Maestro sounds like. It's like, jeez. I mean, I agree. I was a bit hurt, but I was going to tell you about it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hmm. I don't know why. Go I don't know why. Like... How many voices can you do, GM? I got a dwarf, uh, angry Scotsman, the uh, the and antagonist from Samurai Jack that becomes his friend. Um... <laughs> the samurai? No, I said the... that. That could be like everyone. <laughs> I'm talking about the Scotsman. Stupid! I only have one voice. That isn't this one. <laughs> my problem is I'm just a man. Like a... David, David sees me like this. That's my issue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm as God much it. effort as I try to make Sariso and Ebenezer have different voices, I'm pretty sure they don't to you. I would say that. Sariso seems a lot deader. Yeah, well. There's <laughs> there's the way they speak, but not the actual like Vocal tones, you know? Yeah. I mean, this is the thing. I say a millennia, because if we haven't fixed that in that case, wh who's he gonna hunt? You say a millennia. Unless... He's like, he just goes pawn stars and you. I can do ten months. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll be I can back. Do about I can, ten I can days hear before you I lose it. Yeah, Alright, I'll be back. I'll be gonna, I can hear you guys. I just, just don't ask Ebenezer a question. <laughs> Hey, Evan Azur. <laughs> I know better than to speak to you. <laughs> well, bat it away immediately. I don't, I don't even Once know again, means. like, rather than just saying in the cave, if he just spends his life, like, expanding the cave and then collapses, like, a city under it, like, that'd be not cool. Um... Maybe the current dimensions of the cave we're in, uh, once again. Uh, defend both the location. I, I mean, guess, defending the location would stop him from destroying it. I guess. Defending generally means against someone else, though. Which he'll fucking twist words. He's like, oh, you used language wrong. I mean, uh, if you say if you say intruders, then he'll just go come inside. Yeah, you also did say from interlopers. Uh, from I everyone. I guess that should be. We from just... everyone. I guess. Ev I mean, I guess if I do this, this includes himself. From, from everyone and anything. Okay. I mean, yeah, depend, depend both the location your lamp from everyone who enters. Or... I mean, no, and if I put everyone and everything, that includes yeah, I was himself. About to say, you should have everything, otherwise a golem, a golem shows up, it's like, that's not a person. Exactly. There you go. Okay, w w what other... Once I again, put... like, the, I don't know, fucking... <sighs> If he convinces... No, he can't. If he's fighting, though. I don't know. He's... Yeah, he's forced to fight, so even if he's like, I want you to take the lamp, but I can't let you take the lamp as he punches them. I'm going to, you to seal your lamp. I am more so worried about, like, oh. what the fuck he can twist it with for seal the lamp. Ebenezer is smart, and since he's with you, he goes, what stops the fighting somebody? I, I I mean, did you hear the the corrections? I didn't hear the correction. I heard. Yeah, we we took out the interloper and intruder part. Okay. okay. So it's from everyone and everything. Which one is the last one here? Genie the lamp. We wish for you to seal your lamp in the cave. We are in and defend both location of your lamp from everyone and everything for millennia. That's gonna fuck up. I mean, sure. Yeah, 
Well, if you say everything and everything, doesn't that just give him full reign to destroy the cave? No, I said everything. The cave's not. Uh, the cave's not attacking the lamb. Y Come he also on. needs he also to protect. Also the cave. And there's also the fact that he has to go through the first part is that he has to be protected the cave. So what the fuck? Is He's in the protect the camp in the cave, destroying the lamp. I mean, destroying the cave would in fact fuck up the part where you're supposed to protect it. In the cave. Yeah, well, then Ebenezer's yeah. going, the genie's gonna twist it in some way. If that's your argument, then what stops him from just saying that if no one is attacking it, then they're not, he's not protecting No, there's no need to protect it. You, Godric? No. Zian? Or Gids? Gideon? I mean, I like that. I mean, hmm. it's not really a seal, then, is it? <laughs> no, but that's the thing. You said seal the lamp. I guess we need to seal him and the lamp. I guess. Can we, just, can we just forbid him from acting on the material plane? I love the memes. Have you seen the like uh, me get Ed. stabbed in the immaterial plane? Ah, different place. I mean, so that might be goes the material plane. I mean, everywhere. Is that the fucking thing? Yeah, that's Weird. the other How thing. Get that? <sighs> can we just make a simple wish that commands him to be? A certain amount of distance from the summoned at all times. Restraining Everyone order? Was, yeah, well, an Omega restraining order. Just what you I said. mean, won't the Danny oh, just, you know, fucking... find ways to attack us from that distance? I missed mm. everything you said. Okay, I mean, we were talking about the Omega restraining orders, and that, that does the, the caveat where you can do shit from a distance. Uh... Distance and other planes. Kinda... I mean, sure, but like, you'd have to make something that's unbelievably long if we make it a su like a suitable distance. Like, even a mile means that long range spells would never reach us. It just cracks me up imagining Coleste outside a safe haven with like seven catapults. <laughs> I'm, I'm still Destiny. I might just be still hitting the wrong key, but I just imagine. What if we just ask him, uh, ask him, what if we just wish for that to become a dungeon and him, and for him to be the boss? Like, Wouldn't he then just be stuck there because he's the boss of the dungeon? His first time. And then how will we progress if we can't kill him? If he can't leave, we don't need to progress. What can the just leave. fuck? It's bypass XP. That's the thing. If he can't leave and we can. It's just it's the same thing as us just leaving a boss fighting the dungeon. <laughs> we can do that at any time with teleportation. What? What? How about this? Make him the boss of the dungeon floor negative one. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not saying Pat, I didn't say for him to be in the dungeon, I said to make that a dungeon. And for him to be the boss of that dungeon. I'm not saying for him to be a boss in the dungeon we are doing. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm being facetious, Pedro, but Pedro's wish should be like. There you go. Let's see what happens. God damn it, I just... If, if, you, say that, if you say that verbatim, I, I might have him do that. <laughs> <laughs> From the I mean, it's incredible. Uh, like, can you imagine we just tell them at, that to him as the wish, and then we suddenly level up? Like, level up? Like, oh. But he tried. Just go stumble around in the chaotic void until you find and kill chaos. He's like, the what now? Huh? <laughs> wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. No, it is, it is Perfect. I just feel like oh, no, even like... better. Perfectly map out the chaotic void. <laughs> but just think, I may be in the wrong key, but I will be just making that a dungeon would solve most of the problems, since by being a dungeon, it already comes with uh, uh, limitations and rules. Yeah. I mean, he... if uh, if Ravon yeah, is able saying, to yeah, lower himself into the status it... of a dungeon boss, if we wish him into doing the same thing, he might lose a lot of his power. 
Well, yeah, you might not. Right. So what I'm saying, because if we okay, make that a dungeon, we say he needs to be the boss of it. He can't leave because he needs to be there to be the boss. Oh, so right. the Depending how, how you say, even if you beat it, down. it resets, so he can't leave just because someone beat him. Yeah, and I just imagine, even if the lamp is a drop, the, it will just be a copy turn, of the lamp. And he turns around and starts flipping again without the break. So I feel yeah. like that that by itself already blocks everything we need to block, and it doesn't have a time limit. All right, your camp goes silent. Uh, I think Joe's typing, so it's I mean, it's everyone looking at Master as he writes down whatever he's writing. I should just do a really deep inhale for like ten seconds straight. I mean, it could be the case that trying to turn it into a dungeon would work, or I guess a miniature dungeon. But eh. if we wish you to seal your lamp in the cave. We end this turn this cave into a dungeon. You are to defend both location and your lamp from everyone and everything, so no one might obtain your lamp or ask any for millennia. Okay, I think after dungeon, you can just say, and for you to become its boss. No, no, we're not doing that, because that shit's going to free Because that's the thing, Pedro. Bosses can't exit dungeons. We have seen this. <laughs> Hmm. That literally got us an LBS. I'm not falling for this. I will say that technically by that same wording, him needing to defend it does not mean he needs to stay in it. Give me a second. I mean, uh, could you say for him to seal himself and the lamp in the cave? Because if he's sealed, he shouldn't be able to leave, right? I don't want to use that word to him. That might fuck us up. Mm. Monkey. Because my thing is he's sealed in the lamp. Yeah, so, so he, I don't can know the... That's the, he can walk away from the lamp. That's what he's been doing right now. So no, the I... lamp in a play... Hmm? I understand. I'm just worried that the super, like that his seal in the lamp will supersede me saying for him to be sealed here. So I'm more comfortable with just telling you that he can't leave, rather than being sealed here. Just because of wording. You know this, the Cave of Wonders is now a dungeon, and you're its boss. Get wrecked. I mean, fair, but this I don't believe that place is called his Cave of Wonders yet. Hey, shut up. <laughs> I just think the problem comes for we after the dungeon just have a lot of text. I don't know if while having more details out because you're uh, cutting away uh, loopholes, you're also creating some the more text you add. Okay, simplify those then. Because that's the thing, like shortening it opens also much more loopholes. And I'm trying to close out. As soon as we close out most of the loopholes, we can see what we can cut. The problem is still have the issue that he can exit it still. So, I don't know what to cut. Okay, the, really. thing I, the thing I think we can cut is that if this is a dungeon, you probably need to mention the defend part. Because the dungeon um, can't be broken. I mean, who knows? He might not have the magic to make it an actual dungeon. Okay, it's the same material as Ratio, I believe. Maybe, yeah. I've missed you. Oh, You, you. Yeah. Okay, yes. You need to kill one, uh, the gatekeeper. That's the boss material mm -hmm. that the train asked for.
Evan Azra asks if any of you guys have like a sleeping bag or something. Yeah. I've got the materials for that kind of stuff. Uh, there you go. Huh? The lamp. We wish for you to seal your lamp. I just changed the last part. You don't need to do this to me every time. And turn this cave into a dungeon. You are to defend both okay. the location and your lamp from everyone and everything. So no one might obtain the lamp or ask any more wishes from you. You must stand vigil without leaving the spot for millennia. I swear I'm not putting on a voice. He says. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Same thing. All right, fine. Let me, let me, let me do it with the voice. You need the lamp. <laughs> I guess straight up saying you can't leave works better. Even for Galver. So. This is the thing. The reason why I'm seeing in millennia is because that's a long ass time, but I think that's nothing significant time for him. I feel like him standing in that he's... spot probably makes it drag on, though. <laughs> you know what I'm, the stupid loophole to you saying a millennia is? What? Oh. Doesn't have to be this Oh, as soon as the millennia yeah. ends, as in. No, shut up. The next. Uh, <laughs> that, David that said one, that... he would be. That one would not even be a stretch. It'd just be you're no, you're breaking it. <laughs> yeah, so let's just say for a thousand years or ten thousand years, whatever. Absolute. Give me a second. For a millennia from this point. For a thousand. a thousand years. There's no way you can say, oh, years pass different inside here. Honestly, at this point, your wish is so long. You might as well just fight him first and then cast the wish. We can do both. Yeah, uh, he's a, his ass if he goes back to being a bard, surely he can speak it quick. But yeah, are we going through a training arc where Joe learns how to do rap god? He's going to go like, Shamalan of the Dungeon of the Lamp, we wish you. Probably a battle, then, to be honest. Oh, man. If we can survive the fight. How many class level levels in bard do you have to be before your MM? At least ten. According to some people, probably like none. Oh, look at wow! <laughs> I'm not saying me, but you know. Here, there you, you hear that, there. Marshall? Kieran's hey. calling you out. This is his address on screen. <laughs> yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> some people just like to go onto the internet to talk shit about things they don't know about. That's true. So, David, I'm going to ask you this. <laughs> the years here there is an imperial calendar correct yes there's like 11 calendars going on as you might recall I mean yes but I'm specifically saying the imperial because they have the closest to our years alright why don't you correct. just say a thousand years why do you need to go for calend calendar and millennia <laughs> Because Joe is trying to avoid him from being cheeky and saying in this calendar that I made up. Yes. Well, I technically, mean, I don't have to go with an Imperial Millennia. <laughs> I am. thousand of the Imperial calendars, calendar years. This is the thing. I've played the cash for far too long and fall for this bullshit. And then you should make it for the next thousand of the imperial calendar years. <laughs> <laughs> At least you just You're need to right. place that next. <laughs> Ebenezer is going inside the sleeping bag somebody provided, and he's just like, good luck. <laughs> Genie of the Lamp, I wish you would also hunt Ebenezer. Have an right now. Genie of the Lamb, send me back in time. I want to stop the first wish at all. Uh, period. Genie, tell us a good wish, wish that'll get you to stay in this fucking cave forever. Genie, can't you just not? Genie, Genie of the Lamb, read my can can you the not? Genie of the Lamb, <laughs> hear my <laughs> decree of wish. Can you don't? <laughs> Leave not. <laughs> Hold on, here's the wish. Genie of the Lamp, read my memories and recreate the dungeon that is this place, just like in-game. I would no. like to promote you to unemployed. <laughs> promote yourself is, to dead god. 
as soon as you go read my memories, the genie of the lamp's gonna go unalivent. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I read, I said read my mind. I mean, it reads your mind on that one spot where you get killed in the dungeon and just immediately tries to kill you. Yeah. You're gonna make it like that, Pedro. That's, see the fucking loopholes you can make? With simple wishes. Hey, I never died in this floor of the dungeon, I'm sure. It's, what? it's not a floor of the dungeon, this is a side mission. Sorry, the dungeon period, yeah. I don't know. I came after all the guys that already told us how to get this place. Is it up? Is it... Come on, Dave. <laughs> Come on, Dave. What? <laughs> you mean what? Can you my one word? Yeah, I couldn't pause this at the right moment. There we go. That's good for the stream. Linger on that <laughs> shot. <laughs> God damn it. No. <laughs> Yes, because uh, I've the word in the middle. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> there you go, fixed. You might have it in troll. You might have it in troll screen. People aren't gonna know that this isn't woman ass. <laughs> <laughs> Shit ass. <laughs> Shit ass. It seems I need to restart Final Fantasy. All right. So Ebenezer goes to sleep. It's just you guys now. <laughs> So, is there anything else that we need to put in this? We need the lamp. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a typo, but, oh, yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> Minor spelling well. mistake. And then the genie goes, I win. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to vote. Steal your lamp in the cave. I assume that's supposed to be cave we are in and turn this yeah. cave into a dungeon. Yes, Kieran, I'm sorry for a second. I felt actual ire. You are to defend both the location and your the same, and I don't know what to pick. From everyone and same everything, so anything. no one might obtain the lamp or ask any more wishes for you. Yeah. You must stand vigil without leaving. Hey, I look at this Scrub Daddy gif. It looks like it's frowning first, and then it gets cucumbered, and then it's happy. It is. Okay. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, that could be fine. I don't know. Probably not, actually, but you know, fucking theoretically. I, I'm, I'm, okay I'm trying it. my best here. I mean, yeah, I think theoretically it should work. Maybe. I, I will ask it like this. Does everyone in the party think that there is a major mistake with doing it like this? I still don't like the word seal, but I don't think there's a better one. I can't wait till the cave becomes this. Okay, I'm back. A powerful steel <laughs> guards the entrance. Or for fuck off. I I found a better one. I've not been giving complaints from this. So beyond... Aside from the typo, yeah. Okay, where is the typo here? Cave, we Minor turn this cave. Mistake. Cave... So please tell me where I'm still uh, lying. On the second line, you have the cave we entered. Oh, okay. We probably just forgot to remove the we from the previous uh, iteration. Or, yeah. The yeah. cave, comma. 
Come on. And they're in need to fit a semicolon in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The reason, and, I, and I'm not saying and 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 turn it into a dungeon is because I don't want it to twist it, so I'm saying cave again. I know it sounds wrong. This is the thing. I consciously made the fact that this will sound wrong to be more specific. Because I would prefer to simply put it and turn it into a dungeon, but I don't trust the bastard. Also, you need to be wholesome 100 about this wish, and you can't fuck with it. So glad Evan Ezra went to sleep, but as soon as you said wholesome 100, you saw him go, eh. <laughs> <laughs> the point was to put a slang he won't get, right? Yeah. Put it in green text form. <laughs> no. <laughs> be me. Garden no, let's go. Cave. Let's go to. Let's go backwards. Uh, la me. <laughs> oh, God, please no. <laughs> All of la me and my. Ah. All right, let's look at patch 1.9. Genie of the Lamp, we wish for you to seal your lamp in the cave, turn the cave into a dungeon, defend both the location and your lamp from everyone and everything so no one might obtain the lamp, or ask any more wishes for, from you. You must stand vigil about leaving this place for the next thousands of the Imperial calendar years. <laughs> Jesus, is there anything else you'd like to add? Might be better as May. Let me know today. <laughs> Sorry, what? It's a black screen. Right? I, I blacked out for a second from rage. <laughs> oh, I, so this is my paranoia, and I understand this is won't be a problem because like this won't matter for a while. But just my fact that if the imperial calendar gets erased, we're fucked. Uh, it makes my head spin. I mean, sure, but like if something's around that's collapsing, fucking. Society's knowledge of something that fundamental, it's like, well, we're fucked anyway, probably. As long as yeah, one, of the, one of the problems about this world having so many calendars is there are still people that use this calendar here from this place. It will still be the next thousand years from that Imperial calendar. Yeah. That can't be less than a hundred years. I, I said the millennia. Years, the gene still... Knows no. the time that the, of the calendar, like how the time. No, works. knowing no, so Pedro so is so not so what this contract is about. Well the genie <laughs> can know exactly what you want. That means Jack Diddley shit. <laughs> okay, that's the thing. That's here's the solution. We we'll go back to the empire and say, okay, new rule. For a thousand years, no one can change this calendar. Fucking Shut up. Straight up. But what if? But if not? But what if he changes all these fucking what ifs? There you go. I made a previous one, which is... Yeah. Catch zero. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> That's zero. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you were going to do, don't. What is that? Patch 0.1, the words from the game. So, is patch 1.09 the one we're going with? No. They uh, no. That, that was the number one in screen. It's a brother, Joe. I know. Okay. <laughs> 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 I, I understand, but you need to understand this. I am not great. What the fuck, David? What? Hmm? Better, do you see that? What? Look at the last gift David fucking put there. It's sick. Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> That's that's a that's such like that that's a fucking thing from no, Dragon Ball. No. David was taken from a Portuguese channel. So oh. I was like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> he, he sees the little thing. He's like, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, I didn't. Even, I noticed there was something green, but I didn't pay attention to it. 
so this is this this is like the channel that's like it has all of the edgy stuff and anime in the morning and like it had like the thousand ways to die and all like in the jackass and everything like that so it was one of our like it was like channel news 3 that was called sick so the the, the yeah. subtitle the subtitle that's right beneath it it's radical <laughs> well, this oh, yeah. is Joe a second ago. It's radical. Yeah, that, that yeah. Fuck off. It's fucking rad, bro. Fucking rad trip. Gasps in Portuguese. All right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a Brazilian. I, I I'll let it slide this time, Stephen. Like, uh, fucking dare you. Since it had stuff like that, they just put. It also had. Yeah. I now went to check my favorite gifts and. God damn, I only have three, but I think that... I can't wait to check out Portugal. Some places of it are beautiful. But most are... Eh. But I lived here most of my life, so who the fuck I knows? I can't wait to get robbed in Portugal. That's less likely. Yeah, that's less likely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Gregory, I need you to find Roxy's OnlyFans like password. My gifts. <laughs> Gregory, kill yourself. <laughs> Roxy's OnlyFans password and deal with it. I, I mean, to show you my, fa my favorite. Yeah, let me go to my favorites. <laughs> the these are my favorites. I don't want to post a screenshot of my favorites. Me either. That's what I said too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to post a screenshot. People on stream can see it. I mean, let me get some of my worst. There you go. <laughs> mine, oh, mine are go. all pretty tame. The sword one's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I got my lock in one ready. Let's see. It's... One of yours, David, either didn't load or no longer exists. It's so funny because when I look at favorites, oh, when I look at favorites, it is visible still. Like you can see it on the know, stream. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, get it. What are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he, he had, these, these are all saved. I'm, going, I'm stealing both of these. I need that. Oh, he's got more. He's got more. I know the end in the kiss. Yeah, the kiss one's down here. <laughs> <laughs> we posted. Oh my god, it was immediate. Both posts. Um. Oh, I have this one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's so fucked. I have all, I have all of the dab me up saved already. I, I don't know if I already posted that. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. The, I'm not wearing any diamonds. Alright, so you guys, I think, as you make your wish like complete and you try, you guys start talking about memes for the next hour until you fall asleep, going, I miss memes. <laughs> I'm right, but <laughs> my life's the meme. I have Jason. this one, I, and I have the response to it, so good. Jason, oh, does, one of my oldest. does Ur talk about memes with his friends? It scared me a lot more on this. Uh, of course. Cause, uh, what I what great I memes do his Ur bring up? <laughs> Ur brings up the fucking newest iteration of Pepe, whatever the hell that one is in the future. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just, just the worst memes. You guys are looking at him like, this, this guy sucks. No, never mind. This, this is pretty good. Here's, here's your Pepe. <laughs> there you go. Right. I was. Let me. Where the hell are you? You guys go to sleep, presumably. Do you guys take watches? Go. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Probably smart. Yeah. There's enough of us here to still do some good watches. So. Alright, 
it. I now wonder, if Steven sleeps as a huge dragon, how many things will look at it and say, yes, we can fuck with him? Eeny, me well, he has to suppress his fear or so you guys don't get hit by it, so... Oh, yeah, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, Joe. Uh, no, wait, that's Kira, my bad. Oh, thank goodness. It's always me. Uh, by the way, Steven. I'm like, you know, I, I saw the thin little elf boy, and I'm like, that's Joe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, uh, Kieran, give me a perception for your watch. Sure. Don't forget, you have Don't prescient, mind me. prescient. Yeah, I know. Damn, yep. <laughs> Bitch, I know. Yeah, this okay, is that's, that. that's yeah, no, I love that one. Kieran. I love it better. Yeah. You... Here and you see a group of giant scorpions like approaching the party for like you know yum yum morsels. Uh, in case you don't know what a giant scorpion is, it's a scorpion, but big, but giant. Mm, how far away are they? <laughs> They're approaching you, and you have a thirty-eight here or something. Uh, so fair distance. <laughs> what spells do I still have left? Hey, uh. I don't think I'll be able to give them heat stroke. I mean, that's a fair <laughs> assumption, I guess. Um, how many scorpions are there? Or is it just like a little entourage of them? So you know, we're talking seven, apparently. Still uh, not a uh, still not a threat to you because I mean you know they're they're like fucking trash mobs. Yeah, sure, but it's never going to be good to be doing that. I'm gonna, I guess, since they're walking over, I'm gonna pull out a pearl of power. Settling, I guess. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna pull out a pearl of power and I'm going to use it to get. Um, it was such a pain in the ass the first time. One of my oh wait, I have to actually check if this is how this works because I might be using a pearl of power. Pearl of power. Uh, recall. Okay, yeah, I can't get a different spell, so never mind. I'm not going to do that. I will instead. Uh. Yeah, I guess they'll just start fucking waking people up, and I'm like, hey, yeah, there's scorpions scuttling on over. Uh, I'll be. You know, like waking up Avanez or two, or are you letting your sorcerer get to sleep in? Uh, I guess I'll Wake let him get up. No, sleep. I can go murder them. I mean, yeah, if you want to go do that, mm, that'd be fine. Otherwise, crunchy. like, I was just thinking, like. <laughs> I got you, David. I'll go over there and deal with the scorpions. Uh, I was just wondering if any of us still had, like, a rope trick thing that we could just have done. I do. I guess that we don't. I don't know. I guess if Noel wants to go kill them, that's up to him. The reason why I didn't pull out the rope trick, do you want to know what? Why? How was that? Because I wasn't going to wake up Avanazer. Just drag him in. He already went to sleep. Yeah. Can you imagine Abnazer waking up in the middle of us putting him in the rope trick? It's like, like you're smuggling hey, him. Hey, what are around. you doing? <laughs> guys, it's why like, am I upside down? Like smuggling a man inside of a van while he's in a sleeping bag, like he's already rolled up in a rug. <laughs> guys, are you kidnapping me? No. Happy little smile. Not yet. Oh. <laughs> fair, Jason, fair. We might need to in the future. What did Jason say? No, the yeah. 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 No. Okay. <laughs> never, never say no, Pedro. Never say no. Yeah, that, it's that all, is fair, yeah. It's always a possibility. I have an answer right now. <laughs> oh. Wake your shit. If I can't be happy, no one can. Take him. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Ebenezer, Ebenezer. I love that you know. one. <laughs> me, every time, me every time Vincent appears behind me with, with no warning whatsoever. Hello. Okay.
Can you imagine how creepy it would be to have an actual, like, Vincent, like, knowing a person like Vincent? I mean, knowing a person like Vincent and having a Vincent are two different levels of creepy. The fucking cat yeah. jump. Yeah. My my thing is, I I kind of feel it a bit, David, because when I was a kid, my parents told me I walked too loud because I scraped my feet on the floor as what I was the walking. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. I, yeah, I mean, because I scraped my feet on the floor when I was walking, so like I made noise when I walked. Right. So, unfortunately, telling me that so much had the opposite effect, where I didn't make a single sound when I moved. And I am short, so I scared a lot of people. That still happens in my house. I don't try to be silent, I apparently just am. Oh, hold on. David was streaming, streaming. Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of it. I just left, so I got rid of that. <laughs> but, but yeah, essentially, there's a bunch of my friends that told me I should tell them when I'm approaching them. I should wear a bell, because it seems I was too silent. But yeah. Uh, so... Can we assume the giant scorpion is to Noel? Yeah, if Noel's waking them up, uh, Noel, give me a fort save. Ooh. If you're actually eating them. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, are you eating them, Steven? Yeah, you don't have no, to eat them. You them. don't have to. You don't have to. For some reason, I, someone said yum yum, so I just thought that was what you were doing. <laughs> yeah, but why yeah. would he have to... Make fort save scorpion, it's scorpion venom, and like that's not a that's not a poison. I mean, yeah, there even then it's injury poison. It's injury. I mean, if you, I mean, if you eat the kind of poison, that's still no, no, you're fine as you long as you don't have any open. Like, yes. Yeah. What's the huh. question? Are you are you fully healed from your fight in the cave, Stephen? Dude, I, dude, I barely took any damage. Well, all right then. Enjoy your meal. Yeah. And <laughs> even then, mechanically in Pathfinder, he yeah, can drink yes, can all that, the actually. injury poison he wants. As long as I don't have a cut in my mouth, then okay. I'm fucked. But I was, I was gonna say I might still kill him if he just keeps <laughs> drinking poison on stop because eventually his stomach will burst. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, Pat's saying this. I just imagine we're in the middle of the dungeon, and one day Pat, like Vincent, simply keels over. And David said, "For not consuming water and only consuming poisons as liquids, yeah. you get this." I mean, no, I'm gonna go. You drink a gallon of poison, you're completely fine. Your character starts going into the bathroom. Like we don't usually discuss this. Uh, your character starts going, "Uh oh, uh oh." Right. And they also said one thing that is not. Is it normal to shirt black blood? Another player goes, no, that's not normal. I only shit red blood. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys wake up. I assume you harass Avanazer to teleport you guys over, which I believe is a sorcerer. He just gets his spells back for sleeping, right? No preparation work. Yeah. So yeah. you guys go to town. I assume you want to actually rest the day to get your stuff. Is there anything you guys want to do with town, or is this just like a chilling out time? I'm going to the premier fucking scroll shop because Spellbane is a ninth level scroll. Okay. Yeah, I'll do do you, do you sell this? I look at the person. Which scroll shop are you going to? What's premier? Are you talking about the one of the Empire? I mean, if there was one here, like yeah, Savin is just like, are there any good scroll shops in here? If not, I'll go somewhere else, but might as well ask. Alright, well, let's save you time, Avenir. There's like, sure, there's some good scroll shops, and then he takes you there, they don't have them, and you go to the one of the Empire, and it has it. Da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I absolutely beat the fuck I, out. Yeah, I'm in the, the Empire store, and it's, uh, yeah, we have it. I'm like, yeah. I just, like, you lied to me. You lied to me, they what, Avanazer Lloyd? Yeah, I'm, I'm just yeah. being a bitch. 
I just like the idea that that's just how you waste a couple hours. I was like, I'm sure we've got them somewhere. I mean, we have quite a large mercantile, and he just cuts to you talking to Lynn. You got any uh, spell bane? She's like, right here. And you're like, thanks, Lynn. <laughs> At least someone here is trustworthy. Right? <laughs> At least someone hasn't toyed with my heart. I also need this troll of heal, Lynn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to restock. Right. She goes, Gee, unfortunately, we don't have those right now. It's quite popular if you want to wait. So you go back to the land of sand and you go to the shop that had heal. Da -da -da. <laughs> Man, crazy how having multiple access to multiple shops actually does this. So I'll show up four hours later if you guys want to do anything. Pair of spells. I've done it. Oh, oh no. Well, By the way, your name's not Lynn, it's Lan. I fucked up. Wow. So, I, I'll ask this. Do you guys want me to go there full dank, or should I just go as I am? Nope. Absolutely should. Let's go with the gambler here. Go where full what? Full tank. If you want me to do the, 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 the genie thing, uh, not avoiding saying his name out of character, that's how uh, I'm method acting. So, no, but uh, should I go full tank oh, where no. we wait oh. like three more days and we turn into a paladin? Guys, when we go fight KA double hockey six S, Kalis is like, mm. <laughs> he's like, I felt that felt weird. I felt that. One, You're lucky. I don't know what hockey is. <laughs> You're getting real close. Yeah. Um, I have, yeah. This this is how Coles be chasing you. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's been so long since I've seen that. That's an That's old like, fucking pair of too. If the worry is that he's going to cool. see prepare the wish and just fuck you up, you should, we should probably wait. You should probably no, it's thing. not. It's not to prepare the yeah. wish, Pedro. Is when we fight him, I have to send next to him. Oh yeah, that is. Well, well yeah. then yeah, you should you prob. Probably should. I mean, if you need to go tank, then you need to go tank. That's probably yeah. smarter. So yeah, during downtime of this, I'm going to buy a shield to do this. So and then it's a sixty-one. Because they they would correct me if I'm wrong. But just a buckler. Are you making? Are you? Are you, are you getting more than a buckler, or is it just like? Oh, just a I'm buckler? getting. No, 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 I'm getting it in Canon Mithril Buckler so I can use it in all of my forms. Okay. It just, it, I'm just future-proofing the gear. After Joe returns from the, the dwarf village. I go I guess while well, he's doing that, we still never found, um, Bluedry. Do you want it sanding in Twitter? Yeah. Can you send to her? Uh, We're sending Ludry. Where are you? I can't, but I can ask someone else to. Do it, I think. That's. I mean, they need to have seen her, otherwise they can't cast it. Oh, someone made a sure. fan board game of Little Company. Um. Does the uh? Or tabletop. Oh no, you're. You don't get it until ninth level because you're an oracle, right? Uh, for fuck's sake. Um, uh, I guess before I resort to buying a fucking scroll, I'm gonna ask like all around the place if people have fucking seen Ludry all around Safe Haven. No, someone. There's not in the actual city, then I guess I'll go into the dungeon and start doing the same thing. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'll remind you, in, for more that I don't want to help with this matter, I will remind you that my Asher, you know that my Asher knows sending currently. I thought you didn't get him to level 9. No, it's a, no, it's a 4th level yeah, cleric. Yeah, never mind, you get it at fucking 8th. Eight. I was thinking oh. that you were somehow delayed even further. The nope. Binding of Isaac? Not this uh, time. Board game? Well then, yeah, fucking... Ben Luder, do it, do it, do it. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe. I, I spent, like, the, the 12k for the, the things. 
Just just so we're like, telling time. everyone for the materials. It'd be fun to play. Or are you sending illusory? Let me ask if anyone else is doing a shopping trip part of the day. I don't think I have anything to do for four hours right now. Yeah, I just, if no one's doing anything, I just assume you guys are at like the coffee cafe, just playing solitaire and stuff. <laughs> the coffee given cafe. That, um, okay, given that I'll end up being like uh, going to safe haven, I'll probably just be like waiting around in the adventurers guild, fucking. Sure. Oh, hey, you, you guys actually go to the adventurers guild? There's actually something for me to talk about. Ah! Oh baby. Yeah. All right. When you guys go to the Adventurers Guild, <laughs> there are a couple of people clamored around a table, and they look like they have playing cards. Oh, not boy. like not like Jack and Ace and stuff, but like oh, you know, no. dual monsters. Oh, holy shit! It... Don't they know that that shit's like years old at this point? Okay, Can I David, go up to the table. <laughs> If we go up there and we play, it's we go into tabletop simulator and then we lose a card game. Yeah, right. My qu no, I just want to go there, look at the art, and, realize, and ask if that's Blade Storm's art. You, you, yo, so you, you go up, and you, you, yeah, you ask if it's Blade Storm or people kind of get quiet when you go up. Who? When Pedro, Pedro says he goes up, I said people kind of get uh, quiet. You go, is that Blade Storm's art, oh. right? Is that was your first responses? I went to go check. Basically, I just went there to check the car game and see if I recognize the art. Yeah. No, it it looks sure. more. Blade Storm's art, from what you see, is basically just Manawa, and this is like kind of almost photorealistic of like creatures and people. Hmm. What's all this then? Um. So one guy says. So if someone found it, and then the other guy goes, oh, I don't know, and the guy goes, I want to see something, and the other guy goes, well, come on, it's, oh, they're, you're just going to tell them in like a minute that the game, like there was a thing in the dungeon called like, Games Master, and somebody goes, oh, and the guy's moving through the cards, and he pulls out, he goes, hey, I've got a, sh uh, I've got a null, and he's just showing a, a fucking tiefling thing, you're, oh, sorry, are you an ASMR, Stephen? He shows an ASMR, mm -hmm. you're not a dragon in the picture. It's mm -hmm. an invasion of privacy. Wait, the Game Master created this? Didn't we run into the Games Master? And yeah, so we someone, ran into them. Someone's just like, oh, okay, and you, you guys solve them at that, that already then? That's something I'm asking you, not saying loud. No, I, oh, no you're asking me, not them. I, I, thought, they I, were, I, I won, thought they were that loud. Yes, I won the dance competition, but no it, one else yeah, wanted okay. to do it, so we just That's went back. That's who I assumed it was, I just couldn't remember exactly. Yeah. But I did ask in character, so the Game Master did this? Or created this? It was like a giant, oh. like, yeah. eye thing, right? Yeah. And then someone someone goes, Okay, so one guy challenged it to a card game, but they never specified what, and it, it made this. Uh, and, so, and so everybody started challenging him to the card game. Oh. <laughs> Did they win? Uh, a, a lot of the time, because they had a... They had a chaos in their deck. It's not, it's not cool. Oh. Is that the card where you need five parts and it assembles and auto-wins the game? Oh, that's the thing! We, everybody that gets your uh, deck from them gets your cards in it. And read, read this bit here. If these people are all on the field at the same time, you win the game. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking Exodia? Yeah, you're Exodia! <laughs> that's great! <laughs> what the hell? That's amazing, I love it. We're a gimmick tier 3 deck? How yes. fucking dare you? First off, we could tier 3. We could we we not tier 1 if all the draw power hasn't been nerfed yet. Yeah. That's the thing, I'm pretty sure after they someone's, say that... Someone's playing the Game Master. I play like Pot of Greed that allows me to draw 3 cards. The Game Master's like, that's not what that does. And then he picks up the card and he slams it down and then I play Pot of Greed. He goes, what? No. <laughs> yeah. We're in tier yeah, zero because of Maestro's ability to summon all of us to the field if we're in hand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is this is our card and our thing. Part of the greedier. Yeah. But that's the thing. I Sam would probably read this and like we're fucking Exodia. I just have. Where uh, did the I, picture come from? What the hell? I, I just uh, have a massive. I have a massive health pool, no attack, and slow start. Yeah. <laughs> I. I, I 
I do I do love the idea it's like no Ur's card is it's like so if Ur is on the battlefield you can only attack him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is I anyone mean, actually I, now creating copies of these cards or is it also love, from the game master? I, I do love some. Yeah, I love the imagery of it's just Sam, but it's it's like him right now in the start and then it's like a shadow of him as a cat girl in the back. <laughs> It's like, this That's creature can be considered cards. male or female for any effect. I'm like, bitch. There's probably a bunch of magic cards that are just those things. I mean, it's like one of those fucking Yu-Gi-Oh sets where it's like one character's like storyline expressed in like four cards yeah. or something. Oh my god, we're Despia. Instead, uh, instead of Karibo, we have a Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> a Bobo. But yeah, David, I'm going to ask him, is anyone making copies of these cards, or is it all still just a Game Master? Some Someone goes, okay, so someone tried making copies of the cards, but these things are like made out of like some kind of thick paper. So are people just... Is anyone selling a deck? Because I kind of want to buy one. Are people uh, just yeah. consistently all right. mad Start. to run D into the Dust, Game Dust pulls out his deck. Uh, don't worry, it's... That's, <laughs> and, uh... He goes, I'll sell you my deck. <laughs> yeah, David. What is it made out of cardstock? Yeah, it's actual cards. By how much? Yeah, I, mean, I mean, there can't be that many cards in existence unless people keep running into the Games Master and keep... Okay, so that. so one of them is going, see, that's what I want to tell you. The guy, the guy goes, shut up, shut up. And then Dust goes, yes, shut up. And then the guy goes, it's still open, people are going. And then Dust goes, what the fuck? No. Oh. <laughs> So somebody left the door open for it. Somebody oh. leave, somebody left the door open, and all people are doing is running in, challenging it to a card game, and running out with the deck. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> Thus goes, you'll never win with your flimsy <laughs> deck. What you want is a deck with is a real a man's card in it. And he flips, he does a little card trick thing, like he has his deck out, moves I it around, and he hits... Sam asks for a deck, it's not only the case that he's going to get a deck that wins, he's going to get a deck I mean, that can deck. never not win. I'm going to top deck Exodia. <laughs> Dust goes, Avengers. yeah, but I bet it won't have the best card in the game, and he pulls out a Dust card. Yeah, what is it? What does it do? <laughs> There's like 1,500. How come yours only has text on it and doesn't have an effect? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna, exactly. I was going to say, his card's just like a 1,500, 1,500 doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's, like, that's, that's, like, yeah. that's a decent satellite. Like, oh shit, man. Without any effects, uh, not that useful. No has two. No is a flip card. No, no, no. It's a 1500, 1500 five star. <laughs> 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 it requires two <laughs> If there's no other female monsters in the camp, destroy this card. Oh, uh, yeah. we, we need we need Raigeki to be called a Festus bomb. <laughs> Raigeki, a Festus bomb. Counter Regeki <laughs> dispel. So, uh, who would be Dark magi yeah. Magician? Would it be uh, Kieran's character? That's Kieran. That's the Kieran for sure. The principal of the, un of the university. Oh, I was gonna say oh, the the oh, sheer fuck. the what? sheer existence of uh, the counter spell being a card makes this more like Magic the Gathering than Yu Gi Oh. Just people are gonna have I a mean, blue no. deck of counter spells. Ra no, no, would there's just be Ra. I mean, I don't know. There's um. I mean, there's like the King's Edict or, or shit like that. I mean, there are some effects that are basically counterspell. Yeah. Some can even be Steven. by the end. Just need Steven. To to sacrifice something. Dark hole. Do you want to see so what you are, Steven? How this thing even determines, like, effects? Mm -hmm. Like, how does this guy know so goddamn much? Er, and then er, some er, guy er, goes, I mean, I... And some like one person's like, I guess that is weird that another guy goes, It's the dungeon, doesn't it like read your mind? Oh wow. Well, well, then like it's it makes like, stupid like, shit like you so have all five of us like, and then you okay. win the game. Like it's how does it determine like, who that should be? Like, I, was mm. I mean obviously HMP officers were the best. I mean everyone that's met you gets effects, you in yeah. the deck though. I guess. So what we're just like a a guaranteed mechanic. I mean, no, not everybody's we'll gotten you, but it's. I mean, we figured it out pretty early on. The only people not getting you mean? are people. What? 
<laughs> that was like yeah, Joe's at me. Yeah, oh, yeah they're, 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 that's just the arm dragon. Three uh-huh. people not getting us or who? <laughs> yeah, you're keep, you're looking at your friends like shut up. The only the guy goes we figured out pretty early on the only people not getting your cards are people that haven't like talked to you at all, like at all, mm. like anyone that's ever just said hi to you gets you. Now, the real question, are, are their decks worse? Mm, I'm going to say yeah. I mean, they don't have a surefire win option, so technically. The Chaos card is a, a bunch of horse. It's uh, It just says it kills other cards. What the fuck? Oh. Mm. Neat. So, I mean, the Chaos card some, turns, turns it into find something sh- that's unkillable. There's probably like a good answer for it. Chaos is just a pocket of four towers. I know what the fucking. Then, then there's a card, uh, uh, David. I can't wait till he plays. Uh, what's the 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 field before uh, of chaos? It's the what void? Chaotic void. Yeah, here's a chaotic void. Yeah. You seal of Orcalco. This this heel of Oi Calcos. <laughs> yeah. Seal of the Oi Calcos. Right, chaos. That's Joe. That's a uh, Joe's. Uh, there's a thing just called the T set. Yeah, that's an equipment. I mean, Not a. Yeah, yeah, I guess it would be yeah. an equipment or, a, or not. I mean, this is a skill that's like a skill on TCG where yeah. you get a trainer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Joe's our trainer. All right. I'm. Oh. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> But yeah, well, I'm now going to the dungeon to get a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. All right. You leave already? Yeah. All right. I'm going Pedro, with them. Pedro and Ur leave the Adventures Hall as they. I'm going to go get a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Uh, the other, like, as you guys are standing around after watching them leave, one of the people go, "Damn, they didn't even ask what floor it was on." Yeah. Oh no, somebody. We come back five you, minutes uh, later. What floor was it on? I mean, there's probably <laughs> people clamoring to the front of the dungeon that you can ask. To be fair, there can't be that many floors. Like, I hate this. Floor so. <laughs> Why does it look so good? We're looking for loot, right? You continue with that asshole face. Speaking of sending, send, send, do it, do it, do it. Send, 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 do it, do it, do it. Okay. I. What do you want me to tell Ludri? Where are you? Yeah, ask where she is, or tell, tell her to come back to the fucking yeah. hotel. In fact, no, wait. Ludry, where are you? We have cake. Go to the Adventurer's Guild. Go to the Adventurer's Guild to get cake. You're floor 17? No. <laughs> is that where the oh. deck is? Yeah, that's, that's where your deck is, I got man. scared. I was like, wait a minute, hold on, what? Does, does she respond 17. to that, David? <laughs> hmm? Does she respond to that? Adventurers Guild, we have cake. Okay. You get, okay. The, you get the message. Riveting. I'm I'm yeah, trying I to think. I was trying to think oh. of something. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was silence. You're like, how is she using emotion emoticons in yeah. the fucking? Yeah, how is she I was, using emoticons? I was gonna go. I can't log out of the dungeon to use the skip that lets me go right back to town. So I'm going forward still. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn, she's you smart s- enough to remember. You see, you see my issue kind of grab his head. Oh god. Can you tell you where she is? Vaguely. So, do you remember that we could log out inside the dungeon to come here? Sure, yeah. You know that doesn't work anymore? Well, yeah, of course, logging out. Well, Ludwig doesn't. Alright, well... I could send us a passport going... floor she's on. Yeah, this also, this also implies she tried sleeping in the dungeon to log out and probably just was like, Ow, what the fuck? Yeah, he'll kill you. <laughs> And then, and then she did. She killed them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send to Ludri and like, Ludri, what uh, roughly what floor of the oh, dungeon fuck. are I just saw you? That we only have three um, reservation characters on Star Wars. She, uh, give me a moment. 
32. Damn. 32. Well, yeah. You guys can take care of that. I need to go shipping. Oh, in the <laughs> he overground. doesn't take care of this. I'm getting the fuck out of here. He got past the hive. And the war chief. It is an insta kill item. I guess. But, like, even still, the hive is a pain in the ass. She can insta kill the hive. Yeah. I don't. Is it a fucking creature? Like, does the yes, insta kill work it's on an yeah, item? It's a creature yeah. that spawns creatures, basically. It was considered a single creature, the hive. It just had a bunch of minions that wouldn't exist because it spawns them over time. I'm wondering if it's better to go backwards through Natura so we don't miss her. I mean, or we can still so miss her because it randomly us. creates the rooms. I meant more so along the lines of so she doesn't outpace us. I mean, knowing that she can probably defeat Natura, like, it, it's better for someone to be waiting on the rest floor. Yeah, fine. I'll fucking wait on 40. By the way, when you look at your chat log of Ludri, her username is Azdafuaja. Right? I know. I know, I'm just reminding you. It's just a bunch of <laughs> bunch of bullshit. I guess then this for the next few happened. days I'll be waiting on the 40. Made it a bong. For the next few days? Well, oh, I mean, not really a day. I mean, I guess... But... This person. What's I mean? Are you guys yeah, actually waiting more than one day? Yeah. Well, the plan is to wait a day so, or wait a few days so that uh, is using it as a bomb. Joe can be a tanky boy. Okay. Well then, yeah. uh, Jason, uh, you and Pedro, Er and Sam, you guys are going to floor seventeen in the dungeon. You chunk your coins and uh, yeah. there's a crowd of people. Big I mean, pizza. The line, the... It's kind of a line like big pizza is like standing up and people are giving him some room. Oh. He's like waving his like, hey guys. What's up? Yep. What you doing okay. back there? I mean, you should be able to cut this line. And then some people are like, my man, if you say that again, I will kill you. Nah, uh, that's rude, man. You can't really yeah. become a version of right in May. This is what makes us worthy of hero LPS. Yeah. I mean, we have a few days, we have a few days to burn, so we don't mind waiting in the line for an hour. I, I would love for you to say this, and Jason to end his sentence, like, don't, don't worry, and as soon as someone comes out, Jason's just like, give me that steel maneuver. You, okay, you, I can't even know. While you're, while you're standing in the line, you see a few interesting things, but I think the funniest thing I could say is, like, you see one person, like, move up in the line, closing the door behind them, with somebody reaching in, crushing their fingers on the door, opening the door, grabbing that guy, and, like, six people start kicking the shit out of him. Question. Uh, Wait, the question Jesus just came Christ, to my mind, David. Why are these cards so fucking, uh, like, worthwhile to them? I do it's not, it's not really just because of the cards, but more like the insane like rudeness that that guy tried doing. So, this is... David, go ahead, go ahead. I just have an important question. Considering what they told about the cards, are people just coming up to us to say hi to make sure we show up as cards? That was literally oh, yeah. what I was going to ask. Oh. Yeah, I was going to get to that, but yeah, pretty much. Well, if, while you guys are watching people, there are just some people who are being like, Hey, my name is uh, Jake, and uh... Bye! And he just goes back into line. Bye, oh, Jake. Hey. Some people walk up to you and goes, Hey, do you guys know Null? Yes. No. Did you, uh... Did you no. get him? <laughs> <laughs> we are waiting in line to go get Steven, him. Steven, you're officially the ace card of our band. <laughs> We're waiting in line uh -huh. to get him. <laughs> oh, he love it. <laughs> I really just wonder if with my luck I'm just going to just check my, de my deck it's like, damn, I we are not in here and then it's just like ultra rare cards, all of it No, no, like, what What do you need me for? I, I open the you... deck, I just have every fucking uh, king of this uh, kingdom Kingdom uh, your, your deck is just oops, all chaos No, I have all of the fucking no. gods including the dark gods the, the, There you go, get, there you go, Steven There you go Obelisk the obelisk. <laughs> Victory Dragon. At, as you guys approach, you see the inner area of what looks like a casino through the door. You know, a, a dark, kind of dimly lit room with like a big green poker table and a roulette wheel on the side. And you see people playing fucking duel monsters on it. You know, one person walks up and goes, 
I don't need those hero decks. I've seen how your thing works, Games Master. Give me the monster deck. And the Game Master goes, generating a deck from monsters you have seen. And it just pull, like throws him a deck. And he like starts pulling out cards. He's like, a bunch of slimes and goblins. And the thing goes, I have top-drawn chaos. You lose. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's what's probably going to happen to it when I go to play it. <laughs> so yeah, he, what I'm happens to the people like, that lose? Do they fucking like die or something? Or? Same rules as before. Like you see him walking away without a deck because he can't take it. Oh. So you got to win to take your deck. Yeah, you have to win to have your deck, and uh, this is the thing. The, the, every time, just to remind you, since I guess you forgot, he goes, would you like to challenge me again on the conditional grind? The guy goes, no, 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 I'm just going to leave. Because it's the, you get one, and if you lose the second challenge, it kills you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. he, here you go, David. I think this is what the Games Master looks right now. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> yeah. I, He's not yet. I love the idea that the games master is just cosplaying. Yeah. yeah. Again, Bandai. This is legally distinct. Yeah. Legally distinct. This is dungeon monsters. This monsters. is legally distinct. It just has. It just shows the games master's eyeball, the Yu-Gi-Oh hair on it, as it raises it. It's time to duel. <laughs> it's time to duel. <laughs> Isn't it like? Hey, 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 hey! It's legal to stick. It's no bees. Yeah, it's it's time to enjoy a regular game of cards. I have a stutter. I know. Just imagine, like, I enter. He reads my memories. Like, okay, let's go to the actual arena and creates the holographic arena with the things in the arms. I'm sorry, Pedro. Fucking Pedro gets a duel, like the thing on the arm. Duel disc. For the people at Rocky Raccoon, don't sue us. Because Pedro just said we're dungeon monsters. I'm like, no, that's yeah. also a thing. Yeah, so, as you see, the the, the game's master's deck pretty much is just a whole bunch of horse shit. Because, like, it's yeah. main three cards, or, like, it either, like, cycles out chaos. If anyone is good enough to have a card that makes chaos go back in the deck or discard it or whatever, then... He just has something that puts it back in the deck, which he eventually draws. Or she fucking pulls out, like, a Logi card, which just says, this card cannot be destroyed, removed, or anything. Like, it just, it just, it stays there. So that's basically, like, an unavoidable annoyance. Or there's a Zakum card, which says, every time you play a card, you lose life points. <laughs> Sickening. Not, you had to say nothing against my Egyptian god card, Zacky Wacky. I mean, I can't wait till he plays. Oh, and so I guess uh, I'm just thinking that the Harpy deck would be Electa to Sephone and Megara. Yeah, probably. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Uh, Big Pizza goes up. He, his deck. He, he, Big Pizza dies before he can even yeah. do anything with his deck. You see his hand is just all food items. He's just like, I feel like I'm being stereotyped. <laughs> I, mean, I think there is a there is a lot of food cards. I'm sure you can make a food deck. Yo, Hungry Burger is now an archetype in the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. oh yeah, it is. Yeah, they made it into yeah. a whole archetype. It's like, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, big, big piece is like, I guess I play Hungry yeah. Burger. It's Chaos really destroys it. This is bullshit. <laughs> here, here you go. People are like, get out of here, Smelly. Wait, wait, all right, so. All right, Pedro, you you wanted to make a deck? <laughs> I don't think we need to actually play the game, but you want to make a deck? I mean, I'm oh trying to think what this my what would be better for me to just let luck give me a deck, or if I should. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you'll never win against Buggy. Oh, I get, when I build a deck, do I get access to every card, and I can build it, or is it also that random? You just generate. You've seen him just hand everybody a pile of cards. But they've cool. all seen them ask for like specific magic cards. Yeah, I guess I would build my own. You mean build your own? He hands you one. Did I misunderstand what you asked? Okay, Pedro, you go up to the games master, right? You you take the seat because you're next in line. What do you do to it? I mean, you need to ask him for a duel. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was gonna, like, the other ones, I'll just challenge him to a duel. 
All right. It goes generating a deck. It hands you a deck. All right. I'll check it. All right. Yeah, your ace cards are fucking Exodia, but you also have other interesting things. You have Dust, which is basically Celtic Guardian. Um, which one? My yeah, grandpa's deck. My grandpa's deck has no weak cards. Dust, it's just Karibo. I just look at him like, can I know, hey, card? I accept hey, anything. Karibo is freaking Bobo, man. Come on. Huh. He can't be an important card. Huh. Go, can he I can discard the... this? When you say, can I discard this card? The Guardian goes, you've already accepted the duel. Damn. My grandpa's deck has no weak cards. Yeah, you know what? Your card, your deck basically is just Gen 1 Yugi against Kaiba. Yeah. I'm gonna go up and ask from Pelia. Kaiba's play. Unfortunately, it's a shame. Kaiba's it's a shame. My memory is like, okay, so you have all of the dark gods. Yeah, I was gonna say, Kaiba's yeah, the problem is you're. a new version of the game. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, is fucking the, ga the Games Master's deck is fucking the three god cards deck. Yeah, uh, I hope that I mean, I it's what Pat's saying, really. Was lucky yeah. would give me the same thing, basically. I guess now I just have to top deck him. So, as you're looking through the cards, you do find some interesting cards in there. What's up? Uh, one of your cards is Yorn. Uh, oh. Who the fuck is Bjorn? You have uh, a master. You have Thor. Yeah, you have Master Azoku inside of your deck. Oh, no. <laughs> we've got some really, we got some good ones, don't we? I bet we gonna have some good ones. I mean, David, we've David, the everyone in the games. Okay. Where's, where's our build, big shield guard? Where's our pains? Yo, wait, hold on, Azoku. That means if you play Azoku, he can't kill you with chaos. It doesn't hit. Yeah, probably people. not. Zoku. The gods bring it back every time. Yeah, Zoku's card is basically uh, Steven, Zoku's card is basically your uh, your your skeleton thing where it gets shuffled oh, back yeah. in the deck. That should be goes back into your hand when defeated. Oh, yeah, that's no, that shit just that shit just resummons no, no, no. after you destroy it. No, he's, no, he goes, he's tree he's treeborn frog. Yeah. If he, uh, during your standby phase, you don't already control him, and you have no magic or spell traps, you can just special summon him. God, treeborn frog is so toxic. So is what? Azoku. Is I mean, I mean wrong, but he's gonna be 100, 100. It's like 2000, 2000. Isn't it banned? No, not anymore, man. Frogs haven't been fucking meta in years. <laughs> uh, yeah, I... nowhere, and they're just now discussing Yu Gi Oh in the line. Now, Tree Toad, that shit's fucking toxic still. It might not be banned anymore, but it's still toxic as hell. David, can you imagine a Malabringe deck where it has five oh, no, monster no, slots, but it's like, it thing. invokes 12 identical tokens, like, motherfucker. That's a generator. Pedro's deck know. also has some shit cards in it, like he sees <laughs> Billy, where the card says every turn generate a fucking <laughs> mackerel Please token. Kill this first before my adventure is <laughs> gone. <laughs> I'll have to trade. I'll have to try and trade some cards in the future. All right, catfish. Any? Every 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 turn, Bay Bayu makes a catfish token every turn. Any more interesting ones? It was going to be something along the lines of like the fucking archivist kids, like fucking. I'm doing AOE damage. Every so long. archivist, you can check one card of the enemy's end. In the enemy's end. Uh, have have an Avenazer card then. <laughs> Um, oh, it's... I don't know, I don't know use the other That's one. your... See, if you Dark Magician, that's your Chaos Dark Magician. Yeah, Ab <laughs> Ebenezer is like a, a zero zero with the effect, like, every spell that's been cast, add 1,000. Oh. oh that's Ooh. actually pretty good. Hey, at least this time... No, that, oh, I know what's our special summon card for, uh, for the Exodia parts. It's the summoning ritual. It's just Jules oh, summoning us. Yeah, that should yeah. be your thing. Yeah, there's you... Jules, there's Panzer, and all of, everyone What's else just there. Yeah, yeah Panzer, do you, want, do you want to top deck the, the lucky things then? Yeah. <laughs> because the thing's destroying you, you're like, my deck has no weak cards, Games Master, and you pull it, the and summoning besides... circle! <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking thing, like, you can see it. It, like it doesn't really make expressions, but it like you can hear it gasp and move back. Uh gasp. Ah, <laughs> uh, gasp. I I'll play the I'll play my sick 
Oh, I know what's I our fi- I know what's our field uh, our field car. Exodia Necros. Exodia Necros is just a rat trip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just imagining the uh, or like a uh, field is like the guild where we can do two normal summons. Count down to <laughs> obliteration. That, that that's the summoning, and the one that allows us to like yeah, special summon further damage is just called limitless. Oh yeah, so if someone won Exodia Necros. God, Exodia Necros is fucking garbage. Yeah, it's, it's just like Ratchet. <laughs> <Trip. laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Pedro, did you actually want to like? What do you, what do you want to roll to play your game with the Games Master, or do you want to just cheese it? I'm gonna cheese it. So you take your deck and you start going. Ah, 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 and you start running out. Some pl- some people are just like he's really brave. <laughs> I may be lucky, but I'm not going to oh, risk no. it. Bender pulls out. Bender pulls out this bastard's like, while well, you were playing chess, I was playing checkers. All right, Pedro, your your cards combust into flames once you exit the barrier door. <laughs> hey, didn't people say that you could do that? They Did it change since then? Yep. You know, I, I, I think Vincent would probably be mimicking man eater bug. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, it actually wor- that, right? Oh my god! Actually, yeah. Pedro, you're you don't know the he's flames. there. You're not destroyed you yet. don't know he's there until he flips and kills you, and then you can't kill him. <laughs> Wait, what, David? I said his scars combust into flames. I didn't say they turned to ash. Please oh. tell me the 23... Uh, what now? Put it off. Put it off. Yeah, I, would, I would say put them out rather than just stare at them. Hey, I probably <laughs> say... Uh, yeah, I just have to put them out. Or like, can mend them. them. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a login thing. It's the, them, instead of being... You can make hold. No longer in mint condition. How about you, Jason? You were standing next to him when he started running. Do you run away with him? Who's running? Pedro. I run away with the deck. Instead of dueling, I'm I'm letting you. I haven't gotten my deck yet. Oh, Jason's yeah. paying attention. <laughs> yeah, me neither. So I'm, I'm waiting in line, man. Oh, I like that. Noel came in. You see him combust the cards. You putting them out. Noel's in the back of the line, going coward. <laughs> <laughs> coward. I'm assuming I'm next since I came in with Pedro. Yeah, yeah, you're next. Yeah. Cool. I go up to him like, I want a stun deck. I want to make this painfully and slow. You hear the game I'm master. Sorry, well, you hear the game. You hear the games master. This fucking giant, like ripped creature with an eyeball for a head. Just say gulp, and it generates you the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Even it was like, ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna make this thing excruciatingly slow. It's gonna be great. It's, yeah, it's... I'm just there at the entrance, putting out the cards, thinking like, God damn. No, I wish I was ever. I wish I. Right? I wish I had been dead into Yu Gi Oh. I can't My believe deck, either Coliseum, Teak Boo. Uh, your, your, your deck is pillow fording, hand attack, and like fucking. Oh, this one. I'm playing it's... Final Destiny. Oh, oh, no, okay. I'm, play, no, I'm playing no, Final no, Destiny deck. No, no, I don't even think you're playing. I mean, you might. I'm just thinking like you're playing that one deck that's supposed to just deck out your opponent completely and totally. Like, you don't get to play any cards. Uh, so dry <laughs> Oh, you mean uh freaking uh um empty jar? Yes. That's, that's not exactly. excru- that's not excruciatingly so, but yeah, that is a great deck when it was legal. Because <laughs> the, the when it becomes excruciatingly slow is when you brick one of your rolls and instead of being able you're both just drawing one card a turn. Uh, Jason, as Earl looks through the deck, I assume you're looking through the deck and not just playing it blindly, right? Uh, yeah. You you are, like, your deck is like 90% spell cards. You only have two creatures inside the deck, which is Empress Caitlyn and Emperor Norman. What do they do that makes them a part of this stun deck? <laughs> they can uh, be on the field at the same time. Em- Emperor Norman is a flip face up, destroy all special creatures. And uh, okay. Kate is cannot be destroyed by a battle with a monster. Hmm. 
center and defense mode called a day. I Basically, thought, I things thought, things that go in stun decks. Everything is mostly spells and traps. I thought exactly. there was, I think, or would they have, uh, like monsters like this in his deck? The folding chair. The wooden chair. I I don't play Rush Duel. I don't know what that one is. Yeah, me neither. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I I got it here. This one has worse quality. I I don't quite. This is the thing. I bought a Rush Duel game just to see how it is. It was 10 bucks. It's funny enough. I'm looking at a stun deck. Jason, your deck has two Hephaestus bombs. <laughs> two Raigekis, that's pretty good. God, of man. course it does, man. That's just how stun decks are. They're awful. I love yeah. them. Oh. oh Jesus Christ, I'm looking this. at this. Your deck is like seven pot of greeds. There's so many pots on here. Exactly. The whole point is to make it so the other person can't play games. Yeah. Not so that I can't play. <laughs> His cards don't even hit the field. He goes, I play this card. Solemn warning. Yeah, let's let's give you like a dimensional fissure. Any monster sent to the graveyard is instead banished. Which means you <laughs> actually remove chaos. <laughs> The Games Masters. Oh, what? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. The Games Masters going, are you going to play me, or are you just looking at this deck? Oh, I'm just <laughs> going through to make sure I understand it, because I don't want to be sitting here for like 10 minutes trying to figure out what a card does while we're actually playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead, I'll make you... I'll explain it to you for 10 minutes, and then you'll <laughs> wish that uh, that was the extent of it. Because then you'll be in the next 20 minutes, you yeah. won't be able to play. We, we begin to play and go, go and draw! I just, I just imagine Ur's fucking neck stretches towards him. He's like, I'm gonna make you hate this game. You, you see, a, you see yeah. a couple of uh, cards that are essentially just polymerization, but you have no fucking monsters. Oh, shit, did I get Fragacrinius? Hmm? Fragacrinius, uh, Claw of Hermos, yeah, I have to Mias, they let you oh. actually fuse spell cards and spell cards and certain things. Well, Maybe. Yeah. It's, not, it's not like you have an extra deck that you know about. Hold on. We, 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 we about to go fucking uh, PlayStation 1 Yu-Gi-Oh! and just summon Thunder Dragon by fusing two cards oh, together. Yeah. And <laughs> Pretty much. You want to play him, or do you want to run out of your deck? <laughs> oh, no, oh fuck no! I'm playing this. I'm okay. Playing it through. Um, because I mean, if you want, we can make a deck, Jason. But I think we could just roll some stuff if you'd like. I'm fine with just rolling some stuff. Yeah. What, what do you want to roll? You want to like use your intellect, or you want to go like by the heart of the cards and you roll charisma? What do you want to do? I'll use. I'll use. I'll use my intellect. All right. Yeah. Hard. Hard on that. I'll use my painful intellect What's, to make him. Not once I'm told anymore. about this. I, I really want my to just tell him, tell him, give me a weird yeah. deck, and I'm going to get a place out of milk. <laughs> yeah, oh, the, the, the text is like, the text is actually just like wingdings, and I'm like, yeah, that yeah. tracks. Give me no, 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 but you, you get milk, and it's, those, uh, it's the guys on the paper airplanes that uh, like combine to make you come have 3,000 attack. And that's yeah. It. That's all they do. Uh, do milk. you want me to just roll straight intelligence? Yeah, you use, yeah, use your end mod. I, it's not like you have a fucking check called, like, card... So you, you tell you what, if you have, like, a profession, uh, like, card player, I'll give it to you, but otherwise... I, I do not, you know. Yeah. That's what I got. I got 18 total. Alright. Which is not bad, all things considered. You, you draw out some good cards, but, you know, none of your monsters, so that's not great. Though most of your cards are just fucking draw. You, you know. Um... <laughs> Fortunately, you have to. You know, do you want? Did you want to go first, or is the golem thing going first? Uh, do you, so. My deck is a setup deck, so I'll go first, so that way I can stop him from doing anything. All right. <laughs> that's you the whole point. That's the whole point. Yeah. Fun. You go first, yeah. so that way they can't act. You thought you were gonna play the game. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, right. you don't get that. Fair. Fair. Uh. Jason, I don't want you to say, like, you know, I definitely pull this card, but, like, what, what do you do when I say most of your hand is, like, draw cards? Like, I, I mean this in the, like, you have some freedom, I just don't want you to go, and I obviously draw the heart of the cards and get what I want. Like, would, wait, like well, just give I me mean, an idea what you do. I mean, if I got draw cards, I draw until I have enough back row that I'm certain that anything he does on his turn, I can just straight up stop or destroy 
Okay, so I mean, that's just... what I'm doing. I mean, like, I mean right. it's basically set by the game. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, if your idea was more like, you know, I'm just going to try and use all the draw cards to get something good, or I'm I'm cycling, or whatever your, like, lingo would be. Well, I'm trying to figure out. Norman I know there has to be, like, a win condition in the deck. Yeah. I'm assuming it's, like, a final destiny, right? Type deal where you uh, survive a certain number of turns you win. Isn't your win condition literally going to end up being, I need to mill him? <laughs> but then I wouldn't have so many draw and cards. You may have a card that says, I'll deal... X amount of damage by this situation. Yeah, like there's mass driver, which you know, after a certain number of turns, you just destroy it and uh, destroy his life points, that kind of thing. So which I is, guess I'll draw until I until I have a funny because you a... you looked at it and you didn't see any win conditions, but like I said, you have some sort of weird ritual like combined monsters card. Uh, then that's what I will do. I will oh combine, and Let's I got two. All right, so what I guess. You combine the only monsters you have. Yeah, yeah so what I'll do is the I'll just... Emperor and the Empress and get the kids. Yeah, I don't want to be a dick and be no, like... No. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be a dick and be like, I just draw them. Kids. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just well, that's what I was saying. Don't, saying. don't say that, but you can. You have freedom to just say stuff. Sorry, sorry Jason. I'll say I, I, I draw some stun, and like I don't get the Emperor, but I got like the Polymerization and some stun cards in hand. Just enough to, like you know, hold them off for a turn. Yeah, and I'll I'll respond with the like he fucking like turn one draws chaos, but he's like, and I'm going to destroy you immediately. And you're like, no, 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 shut the fuck up. I have instants. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like you know, solemn this, judgment. Yeah, exactly. So he's just like, so uh, chaos eradicates solemn judgment. Next turn, then it's your turn again. <laughs> All right, I draw. Uh, I guess at this point, I'd probably get like one of the. Uh... Monster cards, you know, it's it's a it's an anime duel. You got to go back. And yeah, forth. yeah, yeah. That's fair. Oh, so which one do you want to go for? Like, I'll let you pick. Think about the the effects they had again. <laughs> so he uh, flips face up, destroys all special summoned. Does chaos get special summoned? Yes, chaos is special summoned. All right. Um, so I get I have like a wakabu, and a fu- yeah. and freaking uh, the emperor. Mm-hmm. So when he attacks, uh, Wakabu stops the Emperor from being destroyed, but also ends up destroying Chaos, for at least for the turn. Alright, alright. So, you know, he, he draws some more cards. It's just fucking stuff to summon Chaos, because that's really all his deck is. He's like, alright, now you die, and you go, no, 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 and he's like, motherfucker. Alright, so the eye's staring at oh, you. <laughs> you know those old red eye ads? Yeah. I need that outfit right now. <laughs> All right, it's my. Yeah. Like, I, I got. I'm, I've run out of gas. I've got like. I've got only you like the emperor polymerization. Yeah. You gotta be like, part of the cards. Part of the cards. Turn three. We're we're playing you, you brother. We don't go to turn four. Yep. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a level ninety. Reaper. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens when the emperor and the empress are uh, fusion fusioned. All right. Oh, fucking bullshit. What is this like space port a portal thing? Jeez, shake my hand. I uh, I just really like the fact oh, that you imagine it's again? going to summon like um you think it's going to, to summon low, but it actually just summoned jewels and like what the fuck? Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say like, you know, the brothers in Golian is spawned and their special like they have like no fucking attack power. And their special effect is if attack, summon jewels. Grandpa, <laughs> <laughs> oh, help. I feel small. If attacked, bitch to granddad. No, it summons the creator. It summons the creator of freaking Dmod. <laughs> no, too powerful. Summon Emmy. Banish, it, yeah, summon creator of Dmod. Banish target opponent. Yeah. All right. So, uh, like, as those sit on the field, you you just like see the guy like you know shuffle cards around. And he puts chaos back down, and he doesn't attack you. He's just like your turn. Okay, I fusion. So I fusion the emperor and empress. What, what the hell do that, they do? I guess that's what I'm saying. We went through that. You actually summon Luna. Uh, uh, okay, so th- he just can't attack. Because he's. I mean, yeah, it says I he, you, he can attack you, but it says it summons jewels. Now just give it. Now just give it an equipment so you can start slowly killing him. 
Oh, uh, no, even even better. I freaking out. Uh, what's that one card? There's that stupid card that forces your opponent to attack. I was like, oh, what the hell is this in the deck? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, now just, I know. Just, uh, just to play yeah, you, Urge of the Murder, Hobo. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. like, you play a card. Suggestion. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Battle Mania. It's actually called Bandit Mania. Yeah, Battle Mania. Why not? All right. No. All right. Your turn. <laughs> Fucking dumb. All right. Man. So yeah, you 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 just kind of like harass him. He puts down like uh, Zakum, so every card you play will slowly start killing you. But this is where you're like the heart of the card. You get Battle Mania and you force it out. Jesus Christ! All right. Or do you or do you do that thing where instead of forcing him, you first just start killing yourself because you're a jackass? <laughs> Steve, remember that hey. video of the guy that killed himself because the guy had those effects and he just kept playing cards? <laughs> yeah. Jason, yeah. do you do that? <laughs> no, I actually know how to read. Okay. I'm like I'm like ninety percent of Yu-Gi-Oh players. I can actually read cards. Okay. I'm pretty sure they can read it, they just don't want to read essays er, every time er, they draw. Er, draw. pulls out another heart of the cards, flips it, everyone's just going like, oh god, Er's doing something, and you go, I use my power of literacy to... With my weights, impossible. Because what this, this is the not cool part, is Er goes, hold up a minute, and leans in, and pulls up the card, and oh, hold on, he's like, you can't touch that, he's like, I'm reading, I'm reading. This is bullshit. And he puts it back down. The game's masters are like, yeah, pretty much game set, Matt. You're like, battle of meaning. He's like, son of a... <laughs> I act like it's a hard decision. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I can't... Wait, because... I just imagine if I was having to deal with this thing, it would be my deck is all centered around like this no. very weak Maestro <laughs> card and a bunch of your throne. cards and me Step playing off. shit like Inspire Courage that gives everyone a massive buff. Like Bestow Luck makes it so they're not killed by abilities. So you're just playing Mar you're playing Marincess. Yeah. So Jason, right. I, it is your it is your go, by the way. You... Oh, yeah, no, I mean, that's what I thought I was doing. Battle oh, yeah, you're Battle Man, yeah. Attack. Okay. He has you... attack, Jules gets summoned. So, yeah, you, you force them to attack the, the, the kids, and it's just like, well, Chaos has so much damage, so obviously you're going to lose. Just you fucking, the card I'm flips over to show Jules, and it says, clear the dungeon, exile all opponents' cards. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way. Hey, Master right. goes, sounds like we're in eternal. Yeah. We're in eternal Master goes, draw. It's a tie. You're not permitted to continue. They should have just given Jules I mean, tie, like one attack point. Oh, so yeah. You'd I have mean, to attack him four thousand times to win. I mean, that's the thing. It's he still gets to keep the deck. So yeah, yeah. I mean, that was my main thing. Right. I reach out my hand yeah, to shake his. That's not there. I'm assuming, I mean, like you know, just like it's like a. A friendly sportsmanship yeah. thing, even though I was playing a bullshit no, when, deck. deck. When you go to like shake his hand, the uh, the creature's like eye like lowers down the fucking big Oculus it has, and it goes, "Are you challenging me to something else?" No, I was just trying to show respect. I'm out of here. Goodbye. No. Good Fuck you. All right then. <laughs> I I just no. I just... Speed Wait, is it Joe? No. Is it you? No, 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 no. I'm not here for now. I'll do. I'll... Like, Master will do this later. By the way, right. Steven. As you, as you show up close to me, I'll just say, so I'm not going to duel you. Steven, <laughs> as, as the line moves up and you, uh, you're you next up in line to crossing the boundary, the guy tries to shut the door behind him, either out of habit or assholishness like the other one, who knows. What would you like to do to prevent this? Fist him. I mean, Mister's dick. He's trying to inflate the price of card stock. Twist his dick. <laughs> I'm gonna yell at him to not close that door, or I'm gonna twist your dick. 
I almost tempted it for like out of the fear he would have is to close the door. He's like, I gotta make sure you don't follow me. Oh god. Like I know your face. Yeah. I know where you live. So the the door closes and then immediately he opens it. He's like, Alright, you, you still see it? Yeah, I'm just just, just gonna hold the door open. <laughs> Come, come on in, guys. <laughs> He's just holding it open. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you know I probably did that. And then I turned back to the guy and I go, "He's like, he's like, oh, it's been a long time since I've played it. Since I've played a card game like this, me. Parents. If only so, I could brush off my medals. Where is it? It's here. So eventually, Noel gets up. What's Noel asking for? Goodbye. He's like. Mm. He's like, give me, like, I need an equivalent of Elemental Heroes, so I am like, give me uh, Great Knights, please. <laughs> okay, you ask for Great Knights, you get Akame, Kulain, uh, Panzer. Victor Panzer, and Rem. Rem. Honestly, that yeah, sounds like a pretty good no. deck. Yeah, no. It's, it is not about at all the kind of deck you asked for, but it's a deck. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is element to heroes. All they have, they have a bunch of, uh, they have a bunch of cards that are basically just fusions of these two cards. And then finally, their ultimate fusion is the Great Knights. <laughs> no, the fusion is just like a new creature. It's just the two of them working together. I mean, would yeah. it be more like the Noble Knights archetype? Yeah, they're just more you know, like the you gotta basically, basically, it starts playing Justice, Justice Knights. Justice. Victor, Victor Panzer's shit ass card be like. <laughs> No, he gets a uh, he gets a uh, what's that one? It's the uh, one where you get to add your defense to your attack. Yeah, probably. He uh, probably uh, he probably has a card called Shiltro where oh. you attack with your defense. I have I have a bunch of the skill. I have Mo Grace and a bunch of skill trainers as tutors and draws and different ways to fuck with him. Yeah, I was he's a super ask, heavy samurai. What what do you think you have in the deck that stops a fucking like? I mean, the chaos card is just a kill card. He basically like turn ones half the time. Akame, she assassinates. <laughs> she assassinates. Uh, Akame is like when he attack. If you attack Akame when I have her face down, it immediately assassinates that card. It's just man eater bug again, <laughs> but better. <Yeah. laughs> Wouldn't that Akame be a hand trap? Yeah. Yeah. Hold yeah. on. Way better. Akame yeah. assassinates from the hand. Oh, hold on. She's fucking. Uh, she's a delinquent duo. Oh shit. He might have drawn. He might have drawn chaos, but he's never getting played because he goes straight to the fucking graveyard. <laughs> All right. right, what do you what do you, what do you want to do yeah, for your like uh your 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 check on roll in here? Yeah. What did Earth, or what did you do? Uses int. And use int or charisma. I mean, you can do something else. Something else you think it will, yeah. I'm just saying, like you're you you're try, free you to just do, fans, it over. You can cheat. <laughs> It's a fun. Yeah, you want to try cheating? You like use your dexterity to cheat your cards out? No. Use your strength well, to cheat. Ow. Yeah. You, you, use use sleight of hand to cheat. Like mm -hmm. actual Yu Gi Oh champions. Mm -hmm. Two healers. Damn, that's damn. That's fucked up. Hold on. <laughs> are you checking to see if I'm telling the truth? I've heard about sages. If not for the fact that the cards are probably you know, indestructible, I'll just say use your strength. Rip the so enemy deck. Grab the carpet. That's, that's oh, super yeah. far. Hey, you I can't believe I'm more, literally. I can't believe I'm gonna be playing your jammers. I'm gonna use my knowledge local. I know these characters. I know these guys. Alright, sure. If you're about to lose, just grab everything and run. Let me? Thanks for the guys. Goodbye. Um, uh, hmm. um, it seems that consider compared to what I rolled for it, since you went for a skill check, the DC technically went up because you know difference of things. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm, like you rolled a good Steven, but compared to my roll, I feel like you got the kind of thing where you're looking at your hand and you're like, oh, oh, we're allowed goals, also, right? Add, also add also add on four because I forgot the T, so twenty five. Okay. That's fair. Really I'm just thinking of you being like, we're not a mulligan hand, right? <laughs> Let me just quickly do this. I could have like just I'm... intimidated him by this. Alright, I'm gonna win this battle. He's like, hey, yo. Yeah, yeah you wanna bluff? Isn't that a bluff? Oh, hold on. 
it's um, level of intimidate. Like I'm imagining you have. I'm imagining Steven has all the strongest cards in his hand with no means of summoning them. They're all special summons. I can't pull off. I don't got pull off. What do you mean? All right, yeah, give me the intimidate if you want. Be like, I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna send you to the Shadow Realm. Can't wait till like, I get there. It's like I'm gonna bluff him. Like, oh, if you play Chaos, I win. Oh, I'm right. saying PG thirteen. This isn't PG thirteen. We can just send him to hell. Good. <laughs> I'm. Just... I'm, we're activating this into a Shadow Realm game, yep. the fucking eyeballs, like it already one. is. You guys ready for me to roll a 1 on this fucking uh, Intimidate? Oh, nice. bro, yeah, if, you, if you lose and then you challenge it again, it becomes a Shadow Realm duel. Yeah. You rolled three times, yeah. then you said. Yeah. Uh -huh. It doesn't seem scared, but also it is just an eyeball, and it's hard to determine what it looks like, considering it doesn't even blink. Which is true. <laughs> Oh god. After a short pause, the thing goes, I put Chaos down, like he just fucking shuffles the cards, puts Chaos down, and it's like, your turn, because as soon as it can attack, you're dead. Yeah, just not the name. The Chaos deck is just a bunch of Link like summons that you shuggle or okay. shuffle oh, around. <laughs> Wait, you know what should be in those cards? Skill uh, issue. Uh, if you're about to lose, win instead. All right, Steven, because you rolled rolled like good comparatively, like you know, twenty five and stuff. Although, bro, I hit him with a dude. I I fucking I grab a. Uh, I know. Where to go? I fucking I summon chip. Search, search for a kami. Kami to hand. Response. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Go to next turn. Wait for him to attack a kami." <laughs> Response. In response? <laughs> Go on. In response to you, in response to you not going to the, uh, then be attacked, I immediately put hands off the field. <laughs> and am I the one being attacked? Because I don't see any. In response to an attack where I survive, yeah, the Panzer goes to the field. Yeah. I just Panzer realized that field? mirror, uh, not mirror first, uh, those tubes that reflect the attack back is the best counter for chaos. See this. Oh, wow. A million damage. I put my field spells. Safe haven. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Put safe haven now. Steven is like killing you would be a crime. So Pauline comes out. <laughs> I sacrifice everything. Chaos, oh, I win. The yeah. <laughs> they, they, he slaps the Logi down. I play Mogris. <laughs> okay, what you do? Uh, it's, it's a picture. Makes a copy. Makes a copy of your Logi. <laughs> okay, is that what she does? Oh, because the camera is that what she is? She takes the yeah. picture. <laughs> <laughs> Take the picture, you get the, the monster. I stacked, I stacked my Logi for a rim. <laughs> I think you're just gonna make. <laughs> I'm gonna I sacrifice think... God. I, I think I thought you were just gonna make the two Logis kiss. Yeah. <laughs> the, the two Logi cards get me up. <laughs> I play uh, the polarization. I play fusion. Okay. I now have the four great knights on safe haven. On safe haven. Response. Response. <laughs> <laughs> the game's master deck is just the three god cards. That you, as you know from Yu-Gi-Oh, the three gods deck isn't really that cool. It isn't that good either. Yeah. yeah. I tribute I mean, a god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tribute a god to what he flies my dragon. <laughs> the the fucking NPC, the NPCs are looking at you like how Ashira is when you do that. I sacrifice Logi to summon Rem, bro. What? <laughs> no, no, wait. I, what's really clear is that like, technically the resurrection is technically the spirit of his like ancient, you know, girlfriend. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Fucking, I'd be like summon Rem, tall girl supremacy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He looks back at Noel, and for some reason, David, this is what I love about having a hat of disguise on. I now have a Rim t-shirt on. <laughs> yes! Hold on. I'm seeing, I'm seeing your hat of disguise turn into the Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist hair. <laughs> rim shirt, yeah, no, we took I am the protagonist with the Rim shirt on underneath the coat. Yeah, um, okay. So you can see it, because it's open. Yeah, it's open. I mean, so. I'm just, the amount of belts on your arms right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's going to be real fun. David, All right. it's just a bitch. Oh, God. So, no, go, 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 you go ahead. It's just I was thinking the funny thing of like just the bullshit I would pull to win. Yeah, I was gonna ask so if you com if you're combining the knights, what the fuck do you want them to combine into? 
because I can't think of anything. I don't think they should combine into things. That he, I can't the think. Of, there's no. Nice. It's literally it's a card with all four of them on it. There's actually Yu-Gi-Oh cards, cards with just like five that. people. I didn't know that. I didn't. Yeah, know there are cards that are like that. Like there are cards oh, when you fuse them, they, they just turn into groups. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, Penguin Brave. I mean, yeah. I guess I guess there's things like this, right? I can't believe Steven summoned the four great knights to turn them into the fucking four two for one I mean, team. Like there's there's I, I just shit. Had an idea. There's also sh shit like this. Damn. Dragon Master Knight, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is so cute. I can't believe you pulled out the Team Seven Kakashi card. Jesus. Please no. Oh, the brush. I will make business partnership. Yeah, I guess, I guess if you could, if this, if you want yeah, to be completely just go there with the idea, like, uh, what's it called when you tra <laughs> trademark it, I guess, and that? just get someone to. It like, shows I you. The, I saw them the idea, basically. It shows you descending into the prison cell as Cutter's just oh. like, I knew you'd be back. Is he's like, again. as he like raises and you see his like weird deformed face with all his tech on it, and you go. I need you to make me something. He goes, what makes you think I would work for you? Yeah, I need no, you to make dual oh, monsters. Oh, yeah. And then just immediately like cuts to cut her for a dual disc with like a battle pose. He's like, real <laughs> shit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's probably someone else besides Cutter, but I do like the image. Oh, David, I know what the great night. I know what the legend. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, Steven also posted that. I'm just imagining instead of that, we go more... Um, oh, hold up. Funny. Hold up, I just funny. Cutter right now. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. The, uh, the I, I really. Yeah, the, I really. Hey, Guardians Fusion. The, 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 the Dark Magicians. I love that card, man. This whole section, I'm just gonna name. It's time to duel. <laughs> I will do it. Send there. All right. I mean, well, yeah, like we were saying, Stephen. What's what's the effect of the four great knights then? <laughs> the four great knights when in pain and safe haven begin the dungeon delve. <laughs> he says, in two turns, you lose. Okay. Shuffles out chaos again. <laughs> Even your brother laughs at your misfortune. <laughs> Dude, idiot. You know, it's yeah. my face down? Schrodinger's Bobo? Schrodinger's Bobo? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Bobo! I can't forgot! <laughs> Ex exile, 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 uh, exile chaos. Another chaos from the deck until Bobo returns. <laughs> There's no way the card's that specific. <laughs> it's probably just a target and you chose chaos. Yeah. It's a target and I chose yeah. chaos. It's a target. Well, I chose it. Yeah, right. I, I you can't can wait to there, use... Give me a chance to use it. <laughs> my, my trap card is going to be Bobo with the Gat, which stops you from playing a <laughs> monster. <laughs> he shoots the fucking guy for real. <laughs> Schrodinger's Bobo, too strong. Alright. So yeah, after harassing him for a while, just like, preventing her from making any turns, you, you win the dungeon delve, right? Things like, mm. you, you can pass. Mm -hmm. Cheater. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know what, he says fucking cheater, I'm like, next time. I thought you were gonna go, what was that, nun? <laughs> I guess I should ask at this point, David, because this game also came to mind. In He's this like, casino, is there any cards. place where we can spend money to gacha roll cards? No, oh my Maybe god. Maybe if you guys didn't play these GES Chaos cards, you'd actually have fun. If, if you enter the room again, the, the game's master says, if you intend to duel me again, or actually, if you intend to challenge me again, you must accept the conditions. Of death. Don't do it. So, is that for me to enter the room, or is that if I enter, I need to accept? You entered the room and it said that. <laughs> David. But it, just giving a quick glance, is there the thing I asked? Is there a place to actually roll cards? I mean, not that you see. There's also a couple of people outside at this point saying, like, you guys have had this open for like two days, so we need to close the door and actually make a passable. 
I'll go back because I don't see I'll I'll leave that for next time. Next time we find it's funny the, game master, I'll do all... the, the best part is just we, if we have fucking Pedro open it, he can just keep doing it until he gets it again. Yeah, that's the thing. I can reopen. Uh, I can reopen gate, uh, game master and get a. A fresh oh, one yeah. to try and kill me just because I am. You know what? I, I want to win against him, David. Oh. Is he plays chaos and I play this? I'm here with the. Wait, where are you two? I'm trying to see. Oh, I see Cinder. Super Paul. Oh, oh I did kiss. Yeah. Yeah. He stole you, still chaos. No, 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 yeah. Yeah. I play chaos, the ultimate form, and it's just like actual chaos with the way the devil and angel way. Oh no, so that goes for the, <laughs> oh. the, 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 the I just imagined the the the, um, the fucking dungeon culture is like basher. You Pedro, you uh, oh, oh. God damn it, where is it? You you use uh, gonna... super polymerization of chaos and you fucking you pull out one of these fucking bastards. <laughs> He'd be mad. <laughs> oh, David, so. I yeah. was gonna be like Joe. Fucking, he's called me, he said, call me a cheater because I pulled out a fucking, I'm, I'm that first oh, episode geez. fucking of a new uh, oh, protagonist, I pulled out a fucking Xyz monster, he's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> he's like, it doesn't have these type of monsters, it did when I fucking got here. Yeah, you, you know, at one point he's like, chaos attacks and ends the game by killing you, you go, scrap yard, scarecrow, he's just like, I didn't even put that in your deck, and you're just like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you snuck in an actual Yu-Gi-Oh card? Schrodinger's no, that, that, I was gonna be like that. There's Schrodinger's Bobo, and then there's fucking uh, Bobo in the ball, and that's him. This, this Remember is Joe, the I, fucking ball. I yeah, I like if I roll a natural twenty on bluff against this thing, I'm just gonna start inventing oh, with my cards too. He'd say <laughs> oh, so yeah, six, just, not... <laughs> No, Joe's gonna be playing magic. This motherfucker, he's gonna be like, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, why do you mean? Joe Joe I Magic. Five Joe, in one turn. Yeah, Joe oh, rolls up against a, a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh player and he pulls out a blue white deck. Why do you mean yeah, you, don't have a, you don't have a five card limit in the field? Uh, Joe's because, a yeah, because you don't have mana, yeah. you actually can't go through my ghostly prison, so you can't attack yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you're playing checkers, I'm playing chess. And how was that one? Oh, again against me. Alright. So, oh, Steven, that's... you need to ask him for a buddy fight game where you just pick up your hammer and you start hitting the damn thing. <laughs> so, no, as you're being told that you pass beyond the door behind him, uh, you don't, if you ignore her and you're just going back towards the front, there's a growing crowd of people that are, like, entering the dungeon again and being like, I can't believe you fucking keep, still have this door open, like, argue. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to get, let this path go through pretty soon. We're still arguing, like, I didn't get my deck yet. He's just like, it's been two days! People are enjoying this, man. So, yeah, people are enjoying this, and some people are going, yeah, but I have work to do. Important. And some people are being like, you're just salty because you didn't get a deck because you lost. He's like, that's besides the point. <laughs> that's besides the point. Like, salty, salty, salty. We can say. What do you I mean to go, go back to I need to, go to I need to go to restroom 5 and start doing there, because I'm sure in that rest floor there won't be that many people. <laughs> or if there are, they can probably lose more time. Like so, uh, are we. Are we, we can, yeah, I was about to say, we can't let children have access to you, yeah. You're in fact as. Because, like, just imagine, like, can you imagine a child enters, like, gets to do this fun thing that they really shouldn't do a second time or they'll die? And Yo, it's, they, they make it dick. Like, Joe, can you just bluff and fucking do it like Pegasus did to fucking Bandit Keith? <laughs> you write down a bunch of shit and then he's, he's the, the fucking thing actually is like, how the fuck did he beat me? What the fuck? Oh, uh, I guess, yeah. Literally, my deck is just Toon World. <laughs> I play Toon Chaos. It's like, yeah. what? The, the, the thing just goes, what? He's like, what the fuck is this? So, what I do you play guys... Toon Games Master. What are you guys oh, doing? Because hey, I assume Steven I can't stay in this room forever. What was that, Steven? Yeah, and also, I, I'm actually going to leave, but I okay. actually have to go. I need to put away my computer. Because I have fine. to get up in the morning to get on my flight, so I'm like, I need to actually start putting more stuff away. 
That's fine. We were going to table it soon anyways. I was just trying to push you guys to the summoning cholest or whatever, and we could start on that. Gotcha, but I got to go throw away some stuff, too, so I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Yeah. See ya, man. Steven gets his Yu-Gi-Oh deck and fucking balances. Typical player. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Wins one Yu-Gi-Oh game. Can we have a, a retry? No. Alright, so what are you guys doing? Um, besides buying my shit, like, unless during the week I remember something fairly important, I don't have anything else to do. Lost my chance as magic cards because I had to prepare for the fight. So I do your cards. I'm actually going to do what I wrote. I'm going to the land of steam. Okay. So, right here. Pedro goes to the land of steam. You are, what, looking around for engineers to make you a dual disc then? Uh. I'm probably going to ask, uh, was it that we talked to, was it, uh, Emery last time? Or no, uh, I'm trying to remember who was the inventor that was with us during the confusion. Oh, um, I think it was... you, you're talking to the man show. that, so, it was Emery. I thought so. Yeah, I'm basically going to Emery ask if he knows anyone who can do... I guess first, I'm going to ask if there's a... I think it's patent that you say in English? Like, to make a patent? Patent? I mean, you... Yeah, I mean, I guess... What you should probably do, Pedro, if you actually want money... Oh, I don't. I just yeah. want to... I more than one just want to actually have... People with dual discs around dual limit to... I want to no, make no, you hit people. Okay, let me let me with my business acumen, Pedro. Let me help I, you out a bit. Sure. Before making I, people have dual discs, make them invent the technology to mass print these cards. Oh, I, I take that. Fair. I, I guess they can. Absolutely. Actually, they said they tried to recreate and they couldn't, right? Because they don't know what card stock is, Pedro. <laughs> Well, right, yeah, because they complain about the material, not the actual, quote-unquote, magic stopping it, yeah. I take that. So, yeah, like, if you do that, and then you kind of... You can just copy those cards after that. You can also, I'm... if you want to enlist people into this endeavor, you can enlist Mogras to take pictures of other people's decks, so you can have cards for the future. He's gonna get yeah, real fucked up. Hmm? He's gonna get real fucked up when she copies Steven deck and finds out that he's like, she's like one of his best cards. Yeah, it's gonna be real fucked up once someone under, like reads yeah. fucking Ur, 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 Ur's deck and fucking throws <laughs> up. Joe. Honestly, Margaret is gonna be start flirting too... with him. You are one step yeah. too close to fucking creating chaotic. <laughs> yeah. You are yeah, just giving to infiltrate the cast like the picture of Jules because it's the best card for your deck. Yeah. I I really man. Yeah, I'm just thinking about stupid shit my back would be. Yeah. But I guess to do that, since I don't want to actually do every single step, I need to get in I need to get a sponsor then. <laughs> what do you mean you can need to get a sponsor? As in, I guess someone to actually do the job for me. So basically, I'm selling the it's idea to someone. It's not a sponsor at all. Yes, you I was literally... the actual word. The opposite. You're being the sponsor, right? Yeah, I guess, yeah, because I can pay them for them to do it. Yeah, I mean, I guess just pay an inventor to invent cardstock first, and then we'll go on to printing. Yeah, I guess I'll still talk with Tamari since he should know, he should be able to point me to people who would be down to accept a job like that. Okay, so you go to the line of steam, pay your coin, and you go yeah. up to the, the police area to talk to Emery. Yes. Right, so you return. walk into the guard station after asking for Emery and everything. Uh, you know, they, they direct you to the area, because why would you be asking so? Enter his little lab as he's like, oh. Store. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, 
around for a bit. He's like, hey. I will uh, farm Palace of the Dead until I get... take a minute of your time? I suppose. What's, what's this all about? I thought we had dealt with... Yeah, it, it is dealt with. I just wanted to ask you something. If you get transported to a, through a military mm -hmm. compound, it's like, this is fine. All right. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to look for, I guess, people to hire for an invention. I want to know if you have any advice how I should go from this, uh, where I can cool. find... The hire is it as a for an invention and Emery's thinking in my head like, well, I suppose I'm pretty you know anybody? He's a motherfucker. Yeah. No, okay. to do this is I was then describe what I want. Right. Be a quick what do you describe? Card saw? I was I guess I'll pull out the I'll pull out the card and basically say I want to A get someone to be able to recreate the material. And then B and I guess it would be trying to explain what a dual disc is. Right, so I'm gonna grab the card from you. I'll give him dust. Okay, you give him dust. <laughs> he, he looks at the card, feels it up, flips it around, rips it in half, and he goes, This isn't even magic, son. This is what? This isn't even magical, son. Hmm. People said they tried to replicate it, they couldn't, so. Gives you your two halves of dust. Yeah. What? But. Not you, just Pedro. Why? Just because someone can't replicate it, why, why did you think that means they were magical? Because they also came from the dungeon? I I mean, dude, our, just, we're all pretty smart. We could probably figure out how to make cardstock. So, as you're asking him, if he can make cardstock. Yeah, I suppose I could if you wanted me to, but I have better things to do. I could redirect you to some people, but I mean, it's just, what, cards with funny words and pictures on it? It seems like an awful stupid endeavor to do. Boomer. I mean, this, this has only been existing for two <laughs> days, and there was a line in the dungeon stopping dungeon traffic because people want to get cards. Stuff's from the dungeon? Well, yeah, of course. If fucking a, a pot pie shows up inside the dungeon of everyone, like, before everyone fucking shows up. Through. Adventures aren't what you call the, the smart... You know, most adventurers aren't what you would call the smartest people. Can't complain, I mean, but this is getting popularity, and I... The most I mean, known adventure being just... I just want people to play the game. I love that the fact that the need to correct yourself, because it's like, the, the, most, the most known adventure is the smartest man in the world. Okay, so... Yeah. Well, he's the most arcanely talented. I mean, I meant because his intelligence is, uh, poof, high. Yeah, but when you say smart person, I'm like, I don't know, cut her like a plus, like, hundred check and stuff. I mean, fair, but well-rounded. Yeah, is probably... but where's Cutter at now? <laughs> yeah, well, where's Cutter sure. at now? Hey, yeah, but you know why he's there where he is now? Because he got into, he got involved with adventurers. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, he still There's made his bad decision. Yeah. The, 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 this is the thing, Jason. There's only one thing that can beat smart, and that's stupid. So yes, that's so, true. Hey, so he had an opportunity. He had the opportunity to surrender. Memory's going. So, I look. I, I don't know why you're taking my time here. Why don't you just go to any factory? They should be able to replicate. What, what is it? Cardboard. Mm. Sure. I don't think so. All right, all right. I'm gonna get. Out. I'm gonna dip you guys. You have a good night. Yeah, that's fair, Jason. It's because Pedro. How dare you? Again, we're just trying to get to the. You guys are going to do the. Work, Sorry. So you're not. You're much. good. You're good. Have fun. Okay. So yeah, Emery's just saying this is stupid, but he go just go to any factory if you want. Well, thank you for your time. Bye. I guess I'll leave and go look for a factory. Well, and Steam, they're everywhere. <laughs> I'll look for one that looks... I'll find the ones in the middle of the pack, because it's the one good enough that can probably do a lot, but not so good that those will be like, that. So that's, that's below us. I mean, is Ruby's thing a factory? 
Wait. We don't know if that's still if that's a thing already or not, but I mean, I mean I, I'm I'm allowing you to check. Yeah, I'm saying if you wanted to check, but uh technically. Not like she has I mean, workers I can go though. Back. Okay, you you go to the, the mansion. Doesn't seem to be sputtering out anything. Hmm. I'll probably just keep fizzing until either A, I found, somehow found out she's there, or B, I see something new, because I don't want to break and enter again. Yeah. Yeah, there's never, never has stopped the party before. Pedro's like, but Ruby cutie. Um, so yeah, you just go to some middle factory, I guess. And yeah. you, like, you start talking to the gnome, you're like, I want to start making this material. Uh, and the gnome goes, what for? To create a card game that will use the next thing I'll... Get someone to invent, or get you to invent if I accept. Okay, the, the gnome being a businessman goes, this is interesting, but we would need to charge people enough to make it profitable, and I don't know how much replicating this material is going to cost. Well, I can give you the investment for you to try to replicate and find out how much it costs. He gives you an eye, like he's looking at you, he raised eyebrow, like, yeah, go on. I guess what's the best way to calculate? I don't know how... I don't know how you guys do your science. So give me a budget for what you think you'd need to disassemble this and replicate it. Yes, Joe. We are doing that. Yeah. Oh. The birth of Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. After explaining some things, which granted your Pedro and your character at the same time, I don't think I need to go into them being like, well, first we're going to be do, we're going to take it apart, see what it's made from, and then we're going to try and put it back together, essentially. Which, yeah. you know, worst case scenario, we're just using, you know, mending to fix the mistake to constantly pair it apart. And then after, even once we make that, we need to figure out how to print on these in the same manner. And then, talking about a dual disc or something? Like, we're talking about uh, an illusion spell for every single card that it's going to recognize? So, a uh, couple billion? I always forget how many billion it is in terms of zeros. It was okay, million billion. It's it's nine. Yeah. Not zero. Okay, but just for the start of the cards, because may as well go step by step. That many. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but what's about just for the starting with the cards and the printing? I don't know. I mean, we're from. Thousands of hundred thousand. I mean, I can't tell what it, how much it's going to cost until we figure out what it's made of. Fucking five copper. If you let me just tear it apart and not fix it, I'll just look at it. Give him the dust card, Pedro. It's already worked in half. <laughs> I know. You can already see the inside, David. And they command it. You got a point. Hmm. I mean, you could, I'll, yeah. You... I'll go talk with my associates, and I guess we'll prepare a contract for an initial investigation, and I'll give it to you Absolute. once it's done for you to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for you're you to gonna. <laughs> terms. That's right. You're gonna get a fucking woke up to reality, Pedro. Once you fucking, it? they say that it could be from like. Thousands of gold to tens of thousands of gold for the duel. This no, just for the car's mother. Fuck. Mug, get out. Mug. They're also <laughs> guessing because he's like, "Give me a price." He's like, "I literally can't know until we are working on it." The, the duel this they can give an estimate because you're talking about like an incredibly magical item I, that's going to be able I to identify every card. I think he's just a bad at making quotes. So 
Could be, yeah. Joe says, look, Pedro asked for a middling guy. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure if I go to a bigger one, they'll just say uh, making cards under them. Probably, yeah. Although I guess I could check that for the disc. They may not mind doing the smaller job if the disc is something that interests them more. Oh. You guys want to skip Pedro as he just runs around the city wasting time? I mean, or do I mean, we, we want to keep this in watching? Times is it? It's not like it's super important but, in these three days. Yeah, I mean, neither was the cards. People were just doing stuff for funny. It's just there's a lot of pauses as of you trying to consider what to do next. This is the thing. We just need to turn this into a game of the rich, and yeah, make every think... deck there need to be like this. I mean, in my case, I'm just going to be ending up waiting. Though it is also the case that I am on a good enough sleep schedule that I am like falling asleep here. Yeah. So I should probably, honestly, just head on out. Yeah, fair enough. Good night. Yeah. I'm going to be collecting Lugery and sitting at level 40 or whatever. Okay, you're just sitting 40. at level 40 for the next few days? Yeah, till she gets there. Or if she doesn't, then I guess I'll raise the alarm bells. All right. Uh, we can discuss that in downtime then, since I think they're going to go pick you up to uh, summon Coleste beforehand. Yeah, probably. All right, well, I'm going to head on out. Sorry. That's all good. I'm just... You guys want, we can table it here. It's just I don't want us to have the weird, like, well, since we're not going to summoning the Clest yet, we're, let's have another four hours of Yu-Gi-Oh! antics. No, I mean, I think the next session will start with us summoning Clest. It's more of the thing that the, the things we need to do in the middle are just Wait, background you. things. That's fine. How about this? You guys want to do waiting. the we are doing down, downtime stuff, but officially we're starting off the you gather everybody and you're going to summon Clest. Yeah. Okay, there's just two questions then. Uh, when are you doing this? Where are you doing this? Cave of Wonders in three days, I guess. Okay, are you actually entering the cave again then? I mean, yeah, because when we explained that the with the wish thing okay. is, they kind of need to be. Yeah, we need to be in the cave. That we're are you doing, that we're turning to the cave of wonders? Are you regathering anybody? Like, are you getting Avanazer for this? I mean, there's no reason to, but you might want to. I don't know. I guess not. It's Sarissa. I mean, uh, I think, yeah, I was going to say we should get Sarissa because he seemed a bit adamant about that. Uh, At least I mean, making sure I the guess... lamp is safe. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll call out to him when he's in the spot he disappeared earlier. So, so you, you go to the cave, call for Sarissa, and he doesn't show up, and you're like, well, try it. Yeah. Oh, it's a debuff. Okay. To be fair, we have a gate directly it, to him, no, so... I was like that, because it seemed a bit too fast. We could have fast. grabbed him before we travel all the way here. For it to be an attack. Oh, I forgot I need to be level good to be a pal and bitch. Alright, well, after failing the call for Sarissa, you guys are going to descend down the thing and begin rubbing, right? Or would you spend time to go leave this location to go get Sarissa? I don't think we need them, especially because Sarissa is considered like a level 5 out here. If I remember correctly. Also, just something I said, just to give a guess on it. You have no idea. You don't I guess it will also depend how the things turn out, because... I yep. guess that maybe if we succeed at this, we may just go back to Tom. This I was like, well, I guess I'm going to move there to protect the entrance now. You know, Sarissa is strong, but also Sarissa was strong when you were a low level, and you guys were capable of cheesing by standing between a rock and him. Granted, that was the video game and AI being garbage. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I don't think we need any nails, but I can add everyone here just to see if what people want because we're only half the party. Yeah, we could just add them saying that there's downtime and then we're doing this. So correct them if there's anything changed. Most of them just confirming some things. You can table it. You guys can do your downtime beforehand. Yeah, I mean. Living and, 
Should we bring chorizo? So the thing we can technically do the day before we go, so after two days, is just do a setting saying, hey, we're doing this tomorrow. The cargo is pointing at me, Cinder, by the way. Why is Evan Azra spelled correctly, but chorizo? <laughs> yep. Because only one of them rejected me, David. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Fucking get a fucking. Yep, that's a good chorizo gif. <laughs> and I'll never get it because he rejected me. Alright. Well, then we'll be tabling it here with the assumption that you guys are starting next session rubbing the lamp and doing. You should make sure you know what wish you're doing, because I don't want to start the session with... All right, before we rub the lamp, what were we wishing for again? It's in... Actually, it's we should written. probably copy it somewhere. Well, I know it's written. I'm saying just make sure you're actually going to have that ready, as opposed to going, what if we change our minds? You understand what I'm saying? I'll just copy-paste it somewhere, just in case, uh, for some reason, Roll20 gets spammed. Right. Let me close the fucking genie sheet that's been open the entire time. Out of character, them making cardstock shouldn't be too hard once they once they figure out what it is. It's just that you know it's yeah. weird for it to be on like a printed card and everything. Like they have playing yeah. cards. It's, it's just hard. not like nice. Like card song, like it's like Yu Gi Oh cards. You have old cards where like you can really cut your finger on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, it was the thing I was saying. Like, hey, no one will, because I was thinking too much step. I was like, big companies probably won't want to make card stock. I was like, oh, but if I tell them this That's is the step to make something to a lot more skills. interesting, they may be willing to. The guys, the guys, the guy's thing we're talking about the dual disc probably is a billion coins. Because from his logic, it's we're going to make it so it only casts illusions. Of official cards, which means it has to have programmed in it every card. I mean, the thing I'll ask is, like, can't you actually just have the cards tell what the illusion should be? Well, then you have to enchant the cards, which is still just the same thing, different, you know, same price, different method. Obviously, so it's either yeah, you make I an expensive that's... dual disc on cheap I cards. Guess the is I'm thinking too much in terms oh, of pro uh, programming, because in programming yeah, it would be easier can. the opposite. It would be easier for the cards to give instructions than for the... The this, this, is the, the this is the big issue, Pedro. It's the same amount of spells either way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is the big issue, is... If you want to simply put it on the cards... What is going to happen is you're going to have, like, the... Online games where it's a static image that will fight something, or, like, it moves slightly. If you put it on the dual discs, the image can interact with each other. Yeah. I was gonna say, why not just so, make it so, like, just fuck the dual disc. Just make it so that when you put the card down, it like makes a little hologram of the thing. No, I know, but like, if, if this is the thing, David, if we want to make like the VR games, that's okay. But if we want to go full dream when it's like the anime, it needs to be a thing that basically j harmonizes the illusions, kind of thing. What if you play an equipment, your warrior will actually pick up the fucking sword. We don't. We don't need like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We need the old Yu-Gi-Oh cards where they were like made out of like fucking sandstone. Remember that shit? Yeah. Oh, people have been making them out of wood, and they look pretty good. Oh. Also, uh, David, you said a thing of like, oh, just place the card down. Couldn't you technically place the card on the disc and just have it project the spell X space forward kind of deal? Would that be the same result? I mean, again, it would, that would still be cheaper than making a dual disc that can recognize the thing. Because yeah, the main thing good. is the... So if we make this card stock, and then people... We have to make, like, a printing device to, like, print these cards. There's got to be, like, a million different kinds, which means different printing sets everywhere. Because they are at the... The Steam place is at the level of factory. Like, you know, they have people... Remember... Do you remember what Kidney's job is? Kidney's job is to attach yeah, right, like, yeah. finger to bot, and it goes down the line. Yeah. 
Like they're they're like they don't have machines fully doing okay, everything. So you're talking like a lot of manual labor making all these cards. Granted, they have the technology to still like make printing presses to like sh- like spiel this stuff out better than like fucking you know friars manually replicating Bibles. They're they're past that point, but yeah. it's still a lot of work. And then they have to deal with the fact that all right, so we have cards. Somebody is balancing them because otherwise it's, there's no point in having the game. If everyone just runs chaos decks, because obviously you're able to stop it with some shenanigans. So there's some sort of balance. There's, you know, the, all the production cost of it, and then you have to make sure that if, if you made it so the duel just just made an illusion of whatever the picture was, you would have things where like Noel just is like half a body because of the way the picture is of him, yeah. as opposed to being a full picture of Noel. Or you have to have a program to understand that this is what this card looks like, and then you have to do that for every card. Or if you just have a kind of like fill in the blank thing, then you have someone that can just take the card stock, draw their own bullshit, say it's a million bajillion points, and then they put down their cards. And then you have fucking forgeries being the issue. So there's a lot of bullshit going into this. I mean, that's kind of why my show is going to tell you it's not great to come into this business. It's also like a fad. Like, I'm sure these people aren't going to care in the long run. <laughs> I mean, it's entertainment. Well, yeah, it's entertainment, but I mean, let's think of it this way. Some some adventurers take out their, their Yu-Gi-Oh decks and they duel, right? This this goes on for a few weeks. If someone has a shitty deck and someone goes, hey, you want to play some from Dungeon Monsters? The guy's going to go, no, nah, I think I'd just rather play some poker. You know what I mean? If you want entertainment, it's probably better to try and make uh, in a a crowd arena where you get fighters and then the and then people from I'm the crowd the can pay to tell them what to do. <laughs> would it would be it would be cheaper and easier sports. to do that than to make a trading card I'm not going to make game. the blood sports. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot oh. we have magic. They can just make the arena, you know, not kill its compo- opponent. Yeah, do you it's not remember the uh, whiny? I said, do you not remember the arena literally does that in the land of sands? Yeah, he does forget does it, this. Wait, does it still do that here? You does make it, it Pedro. <laughs> I'm. At, I was asking David if the arena is talking about the existing this version of Demon. I don't know. You've never visited it, you fucking coward. You haven't. You skipped Liliquay until you guys happened to see her in the wild. I didn't even remember there was a dungeon at all. Uh, not a dungeon, an arena at all in the Land of Sand. Well, that's your fault. You guys skipped all that to go straight to Heaven, Azer. Yeah, it's also not like we actually played this game for five years with all the lore. Right, but like you're asking me, is it still like that in the real world, quote unquote? You know, real world, quote unquote. Yeah. In which case, I'm going to go, I don't know. No one's checked. But it worked like yeah. that in the video game. <laughs> Yeah, I was just, I'm mostly pointing to the fact that until you mention it now, I didn't at all remember there being an arena. Well, there's magic. obviously items that mimic limit breaks. You've seen, I was going to say two of them, but you've seen one of them. You have one of them. Yeah, right. it's That's a relic. We have one of them. Yeah, you have one see, of them. I so... doubt it will be that easy no, to just find had. one that replicates the dual uh, LBS. Well, oh, yeah, you, you're right. You had, wait, no, no. What did you do with the other one? No, it's, I mean, what do you mean? Just, we never uh, had a, we only have one LBS item. But Joe, Joe keeps saying had. Yeah, we, we sold, sold it. it to the, to the elven country. Oh, yeah. So, for some reason, I'm thinking you stopped trying after uh, you tried selling it to White, and he's like, I'm already lucky. Son of a bitch. All right, so no, yeah, I remember it's, it's we had the country. problem with the head of disguise and everyone forgetting that we had it, that we, that Joe had it on. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. fucking elf is like, is that you? And you're like, whoops. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Okay. I guess I'll just say after three days of trying, I failed to get the cards going. Then. I mean, it shouldn't be like I said. It shouldn't be hard for them to make card stock. They just have to tear it apart and yeah, realize, are... oh, this is just hard card with soft card between. Yeah, but the, here's the thing: if I can't make it full with tool discs, my cards are lost the interest. Yeah, by the way, anyone that wants that's to the correct thing, me, I'm aware of that. I can just go to the dungeon and keep opening the door until I find that room. 
But if I can't make a dual disc, I've lost interest. What does what does your hope of the game have if so if I can't make virtual creatures pop out of the cards? This battle game is garbage. <laughs> it's not as garbage. I just lost the interest of trying to make it into bigger than it is. Okay. He's do, he's trying to make a dual disc when all he needs is a wand of illusion. Yes, but everyone's going to keep spending 500 gold on a wand to me. use. Okay, uh, you're trying to mimic oh. a, the oh, production of a spell. That. And you want to make it into a dual disc. Do the math. I like the idea of you making a dual disc that's like a wand, so after so many cards are played, it dies. Batteries are a thing. <laughs> but then people just won't be using the dual disc. They'll just play the exactly. fucking card. You just have to replace the wand battery or whatever. <laughs> Do you know what David just said? People won't refresh. They'll just play it with the cards as they are. Exactly. Just... So you, whatever you're doing here is useless. <laughs> Pat, I literally just said, okay, I'll stop. Why are you saying that? While well, you give me ideas, to just can go. Yes, it's useless. You should stop when I already did. <laughs> Jesus, this is I so didn't dumb. give you ideas. I just told you, you what you were trying you to do. Oh, you just want to have this one. It's like, no, I don't. And you start defending why I wanted it. I found the old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> I can play those bad boys. Through one of those at Vincent. Oh. I All guess right. it worked. <laughs> well, anything else you guys want to add, or is it until next time? Next time. Until next time, probably. So glad that Yu-Gi-Oh is still the destroyer of friendships. I never, I almost never got to play it with friends, because I had none. Well, I'm, I mean, we, we played. I'm, I'm waiting for that one guy that's going to be listening to you at the end and be like, "Yeah, no wonder." This is actually from a Yu-Gi-Oh scene, apparently, but I swear that just looks like regular hieroglyphs. Yeah, I mean, it, there were regular hieroglyphs in Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, I swear that it just looks like something from a Baxter, picture. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like uh, anime. It's just, I guess sometimes fair, anime really do look stylized like that. that they may have, have just taken a picture and drawn over it kind of deal. You better Maybe. Played speed duel. I mean, it's fucking funny to me that this looks really real, but then you see Yugi Moto's fucking hair in the corner there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I mean, until yeah. next time. Yeah. Just if I can see Dark Magician right there. Yeah. yeah, it's the thing is summoning. If you notice, 